suit by the Honorable Dr. Mikbo. And where in the suit does it seek to injunct Parliament from approving the deputy ministers who are now made ministers? Okay. Where in the suit does it injunct Parliament from approving Honorable Wokoboy, who has moved from NHI to Ministry of Health? Maybe today, so, maybe today there will be that suit. Parliament is, is re 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 reconvening when after Easter. Uh, but maybe no, I, I mean, maybe today we'll see we'll another, see another suit, suit. So, honorable, to injunct. Honorable but that's what happened. Honorable Minister but that's what happened. We had, we had the president preempt a, a possible suit so in, when he in, released in his case, statement. The suit hadn't gone so, so, so clearly you agree with me that it's a power play. No, I'm because just there saying hasn't that. Because there has been any suit before Parliament or the courts, I any courts in I the country. I use the word maybe, maybe because we have so, seen it. So clearly he's preempting what is going to happen it tomorrow. It could be. The reason why he didn't. He, oh, let, 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 let's look at the effect of it. What's the effect? Those who are made ministers or and are called to be ministers and are vetted. I'm sure they can't act in certain capacities because they don't have the final approval by parliament for the president to properly swear them in, into office. So clearly their daily activities and whatever they need to do in their respective ministries, they can't go to a certain extent because they don't have the final approval by parliament and the swearing of government or the central government or the president. So before your preempted suit comes to you and the court interprets such suit to give you the green light or otherwise for it to go ahead, what happens to those ministries? Mm. And what happens to the activities of those persons? What happens to the various things we are supposed to discuss on yesterday? The climate change action we are supposed to discuss on to appropriate some monies to certain quarters to work on climate change. We are all complaining of the hot weather today. Even in Hamatan, it was raining. It shows the extent of, of damage we've done to society. And the president has been very vocal and very vociferous when it comes to the fight or the, the okay. action on climate change. Yet we go to parliament, and because of power play, we go to parliament, and because someone's ego is hurt, the person decides to throw cautions to the wind and starts to act arbitrary. Okay. Let, let, let me ask Openyi Kwame Chantua it's, if... It's, it's, it's quite... It's quite Unfortunately, it happened yesterday, mm. and it really doesn't augur well for our democracy. Okay. Let's stick. Let's stick to our, our functions and let's work independently of each other. Let's not look at what someone is doing to inform us to go. But on why the wrong can't path. that someone do what it will be democratic as well, where you have the citizen? I'll come back to you though, mm. but I'm just asking where you have what the citizens are asking for being done because. Um, in the morning, you wake up and you hear, oh, if you go ahead and you sign this bill, Ghana stands a chance of losing a certain amount of money that we are going to World I don't Bank think, for. I don't think the president has I, cited I haven't, any, let me, any let me, reason let me of land. financial replications to let the reason why land. the bill let needs me land. to be taken and let the me land. parliament needs to wait for before any action is That taken. is not what I said. And so that's why I said, let me land. I but, said, but, we but woke the up in the morning. People who are calling on have not given such reason. Let me talk eh? You let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not calling on anybody. I'm just saying that Ghanaians woke up in the morning mm. and there was a message, actually it was in the afternoon, where there was a, a statement mm. from the Ministry of Finance mm. uh, telling us that if that bill should be signed, mm. we are awaiting a certain amount of money mm. from the World Bank and we stand a chance of losing it. We also stand a chance of seeing a CD depreciation. Mm. Some hours later, we saw a statement from the president saying that, okay, the international bodies are calling on him and all of that. He has hurt them. He, he's not going to really hurt them. Mm. He also spoke about the fact that somebody had already approached the court, but that person actually approached the court 24 hours later. And also, uh, he said that, okay, he will sign the bill at the right time after the court proceedings are done. Mm. It looks like our democracy is being played with. But, but, but the president by, by, has not cited any financial reasons as... I never said he cited. I ne you see, that's what I didn't, I never said. That's why I said, let me land. Mm. Because I never said President cited. I said, we woke up in the morning mm. to see a statement. And this statement came from Ministry of Finance. He is not a president. But didn't they say that it's a burden on the consolidated fund? He's not a president. Didn't, isn't that on the financial president. side? Didn't they say that this LGBTQ uh, plus uh, bill is a burden on the consolidated fund. Mm. Because one of the things they said... Open, do you think uh, our leaders are actually playing with our democracy? Hey, because MP one, one time you're hearing Speaker of Parliament say this, the next time you hear the President say this. And actually, if they both don't sign, it affects all of us. MPP, from Timikasa, when the shoe is on the other foot and they don't want, they know how to use words to talk. They know how to use words to talk. Hmm. So the speaker says he won't sign. It is in his jurisdiction. It is in his jurisdiction. If that is what he feels he should do.
The president is mandated by the constitution to do his work. Nobody can instruct the president from doing his work. Nobody. The constitution is the highest law in the land. Nobody. Nobody. But are so, we, are you telling me, if the president goes on to do his work, eh, and there's an interoperative injunction in court, the Supreme Court can hold the president for contempt of court? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what we are saying? That he'll be held when he's doing his mandatory work according to 106. Eh? So do what you have to do. Tell us reasons why you won't sign. Because let's, let's, let me tell you, this is a bill. Mm. It's not an act. It's a bill. So far as we're concerned, it hasn't been put in as a, a, a law yet. It's just a bill. So far as we're concerned, we don't have an act for LGBTQ plus A. So you, the president, do your work. Stop playing chaskeling with the Constitution. Now, when you read this letter, mm -hmm. eh? When you read this letter, and I ask myself, my good friend Nana Bediu to Asante, she was my schoolmate in primary school. I was two years ahead oh, of really? him in primary school. He's saying that, and the impression is that this letter is from the president. No, so. Mm -hmm. Let me read something to you. And I, I could. He says, Honorable Chair, Transmission of the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2024. It has come to the attention of this office, which is the office of the president, that while, listen to this, while the president and other senior officials of the presidency were at Pedriase for a cabinet retreat on Thursday, 14th March, 2024, you attempted to submit the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2024, the bill to, to Jubilee House, for the president to signify his assent or otherwise to the bill while the president was somewhere yeah. else. So it is not coming from the it's president. It's not coming from the president. And if it's not coming from the president, who is the secretary of the president to tell parliament, parliament that in the circumstances you are kindly requested to cease and desist from transmitting the bill to the president until the matters before the Supreme Court are resolved. So the Supreme Court now determines how the president does his work. Is that what we're talking about? Let's go to 106. Mm. 106 8 says, when the president refuses to assent to a bill, he shall within 14 days after refusal state in a memorandum to the speaker, A, state in the memorandum of the speaker, any specific provisions of the bill which in his opinion should be reconsidered by parliament, including his recommendations for amendments, if any. So the president has the chance to tell parliament, I don't agree to this bill. Rather, I want A, B, C, D, E, E, Y, X, look at it and see how we can amend it. B, it says, inform the speaker that he has referred the bill to the Council of State for consideration and comment under Article 90 of this constitution. And this should be within the 14 days. 14 days. He has, the president has the chance to say why he doesn't agree to the bill. Has he done that? He's pushed it onto what? The courts. But then, the courts... The Constitution might have a lacuna mm. in terms of injunctions and the president, but I don't think anybody can injunct the president. Really? No, who, 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 he's you, doing his work, you, especially according to his work. You can he's doing, I said he's doing his work. His work is spelled out in the Constitution where bills are concerned. It's okay. spelled out in the Constitution. Right. Act on it. Don't say because there's an injunction in the Supreme Court, there's an injunction in the court, you're not going to act on it. I don't see how that comes in. But did he not? Mm -hmm. eh? With the, with the, 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 the I, I think it was Charlotte to say his case. Yeah. Where the, the, um, the court ruled that the president cannot be injected in performing his duty. Eh? That case. Then you have the case of um, the Auditor General. Auditor General. Agent. What did the Supreme Court say? He went ahead. It wasn't the, uh, the president's right to do what he did in terms of telling him to go on, on leave. What the Supreme Court said? He said he, it was unconstitutional what he did. Then the E-Levy, what did he do? He signed it, although there was an injunction in court. So there are examples of him being able to sign. Nobody should tell me, oh, he's now listened to the people, so this is what he's doing. He should go ahead and do his job. W what surprises me about this bill is that 
The president goes to church. Does he? He's an Anglican. He goes to the church. And they try to tell me that the priest in the church, they cannot question the president, give a sermon on it. We hear they the cannot. Christian community actually speak about it. Yes, they are dead against it. Can they not, can nobody go up to the president and ask him, why aren't you signing this? Hmm. Anybody, when he goes to church or in public, can't nobody go up to him? Well, Is it difficult? Security won't permit Oh, you please. Who put him there? Yeah, but you know security won't permit but, you. But uh, look, 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 look. We, I, I remember seeing the president and I tried to take a picture and they stopped me. Why? So, yeah, I wasn't allowed to. Security why? stopped me. Why? No reason. Is he a special person in this but country? I was stopped. He is there to serve us, not us to serve him. But the president is making a fool of our constitution. The president is making a fool of our constitution. What the constitution says is what he should take. But he's not. He's, he, he's acting as if, okay, I'm the one in power. I will do whatever I want. But it's wrong. So is that why we're having the Speaker of Parliament? Well, saying? the Speaker of Parliament is in his jurisdiction. And he decided that, okay, me too, if that is what you think you can do, then me too, I can do. Look, listen, there is a separation of powers, isn't there? Mm. Where the executive and the, the legislature, the legislature mm. they have their own powers. Look, the president assented to the bill is administrative. The president does not make bills, does not make laws. Mm. It's administrative. So that if there is some George or there to show that the governance system has agreed to a bill. Because... If the president doesn't sign and doesn't give his reasons, parliament can still pass it, can't they? Even with the injunction? Yes. No, I mean, if it goes to, if the president doesn't sign and they feel that they need to pass it, they get to test the, majority, yeah, they get, they'll, they'll yes. sign it. But with but the injunction, see, can see, they sign it? Ah, with the injunction, yeah. why not? They can the, still go look, ahead. Look, has the court... Has, I, I don't understand the law. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Has the court come out to say, parliament, you cannot do your duty? Hmm. Have we heard from the court at all? Okay. Has the Supreme Court said anything at all? So far as I know, the Supreme Court should act and say there is an injunction against this bill. Hmm. Parliament, hold your horses. Executive, hold your horses to decide. Has it happened? It could even take two, three years before Parliament looks at this, uh, before the Supreme Court looks at it. Mm. If it's not in their line. So then, um, my question here is, if Parliament can go ahead and pass it, if the re President doesn't pass it, after the 14 days, yes. why do we have to be wallowing in this whole conversation? Why can't we just have Parliament pass the bill after 14 there is, days? There is, there's, there's, there's an administrative side that the Parliament should take. Okay. But the Parliament, the President hasn't done his duty by going through the law. Okay. This is what the, par the President should do. He should take it. I don't like this. I don't want it. He should take it back to Parliament. And Parliament will decide, depending on the amendments that the President wants to happen in the bill. But the President can't just blankly say that because there's, there's an intellectual injunction, I'm not going to do my work. Oh, can you please help the layman out there who doesn't understand law? I'll come to you, Metal, very soon. Just give me one minute, okay? I just want the layman to understand. So, since the president hasn't done the administrative aspect of it, does it mean that still Parliament cannot pass it after the 14 days? Well, if it comes back to, it's, it's come back to Parliament. Parliament can decide, say, say, say um, the quarter majority, to pass this thing if they get that majority. Okay. Because the, the president hasn't what? Hasn't acted on what he's supposed to act. Mm. He's brought it back. He hasn't even looked at it. And if parliament feels that, no, we need to push this thing, they can push it with the majority. After the 14 the days. Thing, the thing what I don't understand is that when they decided, when they were voting on this, and they asked, is anybody in favor of this bill? What did we say? What did we hear? Everybody said yes. yes. Is anybody against this Nobody bill? Nobody said Nobody yes. said anything. So why are the parliamentarians on the other side, the majority, now saying what they are saying? They should be the ones questioning the, the president. Okay. Uh, let me bring you into this conversation again and back into the whole law thing. It looks like uh, the, the Hank parliament uh, is actually making things us realize. I don't know if I should say it, it's making us understand the whole, you know, uh, governance very well because initially we did not. We thought when this happens, that happens. Because but they had, when the majority had the numbers. Well, majority is majority, yeah, yeah. We just passed it. But now with the hung parliament and seeing, you know, position of being the speaker of parliament, it looks like everybody is letting us understand that this is my power, this is my authority, don't cross the line.
But it looks like we, the citizens, are the ones who are going to suffer at the end of the day, right? Rosalind, uh, thank you. I don't think the citizens are going to suffer because when you look at the rule of law, uh, there's a good reason why we have the principle of separation of powers. You see, when you look at the historical background of how this principle developed, and you look at the early democracies and the kind of things that we're doing, you would realize that the lawmaking power, the implementation power, and even the adjudicating power resided in one person. When you trace back to the uh, uh, England, okay, mm -hmm. resided in the in the in the queen or the the king at the time. So at a point in time, the ordinary people felt that they needed to have a say in the lawmaking process. That mm -hmm. is why we got the House of Commons. So if you look at the House of Lords, most of the kings, uh, chancellors, and the um, elites within the United Kingdom, they made up the House of the uh, Lords. But until recently, even the House of the Lords, where you have judges, senior judges in the House of Lords, they've moved them out of Parliament there, and then they've formed a Supreme Court for them. So clearly you see that even the English are drifting to the principle of uh, having separation of powers, where Parliament uh, does the duty of making laws where the executive does the implementation because it's, it's, it will be very dangerous for us to wield all those organs, the powers of those organs, into one particular person mm -hmm. or one particular arm of government. What I see happening is that all these things happening is um, no matter how you submit truth, okay, it will come out. No matter how you hide pregnancy, it's definitely going to come out. We've maintained time and over again that the MPP and His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufuadu, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, are against the passing of the anti-LGBTQI bill. And when we say it, people think that it's just a normal politician. But it's not politics. By their actions, you shall know them. By their actions, we are knowing them. One, the president, mm -hmm. even before the case was sent to court, was saying that he wasn't going to assent to the bill because there's a court case. And at the time he was speaking, there was no case filed in court. It was the next day that the case was filed in court. So you could see that they try using legal processes to frustrate the passing of this bill. Now that has failed. The secretary to the president, the secretary secretary to the president, writes to the clerk to parliament, not even from uh, the letter, the wording of the letter saying that the president on a, a, what, a retreat or something in yes. uh, uh, Pediasi. Mm -hmm. So you can see that not even from the president, but he, on his authority, is writing on behalf of the president because he knows the mind of the president, writing to the clerk of parliament for, to prevent them from transmitting the bill to... Maybe he had a to, discussion with the president. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, reading the mind of the president. No reading, maybe there was or a maybe, conversation. Uh, but he should have said it. He should, he should have, have, said have written this on behalf of the president. Yes. He should have stated. I don't assume because it's not in the letter. So I'm saying reading the mind. But if he said on authority of the president, I would have known. But again, in uh, administration, he could have written this letter without getting the consent of the president. I know that, but I'm just looking at the wording of the letter. What is the process of passing such bills in parliament, the legislative process? Clearly, if you read article... Sorry, did you say he could have written this letter without the consent of the no, president? No, he could not have written this letter uh -huh. without the consent exactly. of the uh, president. president. So again, you can know that the president is in the known of the letter. Now, the legislative process of passing the bills, article 1067, 1068, clearly outlines the process of passing uh, such bills. Not uh, most importantly, you see, Parliament went through the winnowing process mm -hmm. of this bill. You know, remember the bill was called back and they had to uh, do some amendments and changes on the bill before it was finally passed. Finally went through all those processes. But the Parliament have done their job. And when this is done, the clerk to Parliament is supposed to transmit the bill to the President based on the Constitution. I have to go one six seven because of time I'll not go into details. And the President must assent to the bill. Now the reason why it goes to the President is that because we do not want to give all lawmaking powers completely to the hands of the legislature, sometimes the, when the bill is passed, it needs to go to the president for him to also look at it. Just like counsel said, then you would also review. If you have reasons why you think you're not going to assent, you write them and state them, and then maybe it gets back to parliament. But it doesn't mean that 
even your reasons that you are going to give to Parliament is going to be. Uh, they're going uh, to uh, take it. Yeah, they're, they're going to yeah. take it. It's not compulsory, not compulsory for Parliament to even take it. If the president has not signed, assent to the bill, mm. it goes to the Council of States. It will come back to Parliament. Whatever reasons you are giving that you are not going to assent to it. No, but but the president has to refer to the Council, Council of State. Council of State. State if, he if he doesn't sign, if he doesn't, if he doesn't sign it, yeah, he refers to the Council, Council of State, State for their for their, their advice. advice. If and they then also brings it back, back to oh, Parliament. So now that he hasn't done that, I just still want to know. Can Parliament still go ahead and pass this bill? Parliament can go ahead if you look with at the say, processes. Yeah, but say, then say, I'm coming to the, 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 the issue here, yeah, to test the majority, when it comes back to Parliament. Yes. That's what I mentioned earlier, that even if the President writes his reasons for not assenting to the bill, and it comes back to Parliament, there's no compulsory for Parliament to take it. Now, the issue of the injunction, the pendency of interlocutory injunction itself does not mean that the injunction has been, uh, has been granted. Okay, now listening to legal luminaries in the field, there are two schools of thought. Some school of thought feel that anytime there's an application for an injunction, that Im and um, what you are, the application seeks to injunct you on, and the other party proceeds to go ahead with it, which would also affect the, or prejudice the injunction, then that means that as soon as the injunction is applied, that means that you must hurt whatever it is. Another school of thought, um, Amongst the legal uh, fraternity are of the view that when there's an application for an injunction, it does not mean the grant of an injunction. Now let's look at the president. court has to grant it. Yeah, the court has to grant it. Okay. So one school of thought feel that when there's an application and what they are seeking to injunct you on, and you go ahead to do it, and it's going to affect the release being sought, then you must halt the process. Mm. Another school of thought are of the view that that mere application does not mean that it's a grant of injunction unless. A competent court of jurisdiction grants the injunction that will only be the time to hurt you. There's been situations and instances, looking at precedents, where there's been application for injunctions on the president from doing certain things, then you went ahead to do it. Yes. Examples are issues of the yeah, E-Levy yeah. e e uh, issue. There was an application for injunction, the, the president went yeah, ahead uh, uh, and did it. The president took it to court, right? Yes. And he won. Yes. Yes. And he won later, later. but the president had already removed yes. him from office. And so, the Supreme Court said it was unconstitutional what the president did. Yes, yeah, so looking at the uh, school of thought that says that when there's an application of injunction, does not merely mean that it's a grant of injunction and the uh, person who is seeking to be injuncted can go ahead with it. The president has exhibited that already. Looking at the Electoral Commission and the NDC, when we were going to embark on the limited registration, we went to court to seek an injunction from the Electoral Commission from proceeding with the limited registration. What did the Electoral Commission tell us? The mere application of the injunction does not mean the grant of the injunction. And the Supreme Court set a date for hearing of the injunction after the registration was done. So you see how those two schools of thoughts feed into this scenario. But let's look at precedent. What the president, he himself, has done with the issue of uh, uh, levy with the uh, Domlevo issue, Electoral Commission um, not heeding to the injunction and went, going ahead mm. with the registration process. So what stops you? If you think that you are a strong Christian, if you believe that you share the minds and thoughts of Ghanaians, that this gayism and lesbianism and uh, uh, queer... Anti-LGBTQ uh, uh, class. Things, ...is going to affect our society. Ghana is a secular state. We have three main religions in Ghana, Christianity, Islamic, and traditional religion. All these three religions say they are against it. Mm. And just uh, today, one of the countries, I'll talk again, have even passed the anti-LGBTQ oh, uh, 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 bill. You get it. And you believe in the thoughts of Ghanaians. And you believe in protecting the sanity of our culture and our, uh, our, our living and our future mm -hmm. generations. Mm. Why don't you follow your own precedent <laughs> anyway. and go ahead and assent <laughs> to the bill? Well, so clearly, you can see, in concluding, in concluding London, clearly, you can see. And the leader, current leader of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia Alaji, in the month of Ramadan, and all these things are happening. He's not even coming out to make a statement and advise the president. He's not telling us a stance on the LGBTQ Ghanaian. Right. I can clearly tell you that the MPP, the Nado Baumia administration, and even their parliamentarians look at their stance today. 
after unanimous passing of the bill in Parliament, look at their stance today. Then people is clearly behind the uh, Anyway, uh, on that note, I want to read some comments and I'll, I'll come and take everybody's comments on this one. Please project the comment for me. This is specific. This particular situation is specific because there is responsibility in the Constitution that the President should do his work. It is specific. Mm. It's, it's, it's quite specific. Let, can, I, can I get the messages? I'll, I'll, I'll take everybody's comments and then we can go. Let me read some messages, please. See, the messages are so many. So please let me try and get um, some of them out of the way. Yesterday, I got my, okay, now this is it. Okay, um, this one says, the National Cathedral versus LGBTQ plus shows their dishonesty and hypocrisy attitudes they exhibit, shows they think about Ghana, but them, they don't think about Ghana but themselves. MPP never, Kwame Obwase, uh, okay. Madam Holt, Kufuado has met his, his, Waterloo yesterday when the speaker met it out a guarded response to the president because Ekufado is lawless, uh, despotic, and autocratic by showing gross opprobrium to parliament. The addiction of the letter written to parliament and signed by the Santi Bedrieto was an affront to parliament. It has become a hallmark of Ekufado to disrespect and emasculate all state institutions and he will go down as the most incompetent and corrupt president in the history of Ghana. Kudos to the Speaker of Parliament for marching Ekufado boot for boot even though Mat Mahamat, Matma, sorry, Mahamat uh, Gandhi said, I for an eye leaves the society blind. Good morning, Madam Chow. Charles, Chalpo. Charles, you write good English. Oh, wow. Today you've taken me to the dictionaries. <laughs> good morning, Rosalind. Tell the MPP man that we are further, further up with, okay, we are fed up. We are fed up with the pathology uh, liar Baobia. He said Ghanaians were suffering in 2016 and we are worse off under him as the head of the EMT. We are not paying our debts yet to the exchange rate, inflation and interest rates are skyrocketing. A bag of cement in Tamale is now 110 Ghana cities, which used to be 25 to 30 Ghana cities. So that mean man is like a cancer in the Ghanaian economy. He has a total rejection and their parliamentary candidate Alasia Al Hassan Yakubu from Tamale. Good morning, Roslyn. Good okay. Good morning, Rosalie, and tell the NPP panelists that I like him being a doctor, but I don't like him, supported everything, because if he's conducting surgery, he will not like to do evil on his client. What will be taken away from him if he speak the truth? Ghana is not for NPP. And if this is how Kufuor Mills and Mahama govern this country, will Nanado come and continue? Nanado is a wicked president, and he shall remain in our minds as such. Are you sure you may your mind as such? I don't know why Ekufado is still in the office uh, drinking tea. Why is the security watching him? This man should be arrested and put before court. Why are you putting, <laughs> putting him before court? What does it add? This one is a bit long. I'll read just a little bit of that. Good morning, beauty. Trust you're doing great with the family. I'll continue to advocate for the young and Ghana at large to vote for Alan just to set the pace for a new Ghana where we, new policies and ideologies from new parties will determine how we, you, we should go as a nation carefully look at the life of the teacher today and yet the NDC and NPP in Parliament are advocating for new conditions of service I'll come down here and I'll read let's agree and make the right decision and put both NDC and NPP out and let Ghana work thank you George Trito George please as much as possible try and keep your messages very short so we can read it but we are grateful that you could write to us. Good morning to uh, Mr. Janto and the NDC man. Please, is the president serious at all? Kabila inside. Kabila, why are you asking this question, though? Good morning to my beautiful Roslyn. The normal practice has always been the leadership of the House, led by the majority leader, Guy Sachar, in the conduct of business of the House. On this occasion, the leadership of the House had prior agreement on the agreed on the number of businesses to be taken, that is tax waivers, the laying of papers, consideration of bills, and outstanding IDA facility and approval of ministerial nominations. I'll come down here and read because we don't have that much time. But if the president, uh, Kufado, likes it or not, he will sign the anti-LGBTQ plus bill in Ishala, Ghanaian Charles. Ghanaians against same-sex marriage. Abdul Aziz Jibani, Joy TV, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Thank you for sending your message. Mm -hmm. Samboa Chasaman Kese says, kindly tell the NDC propagandists that they can go around and do their mischievous taxes. Come in 2025, Dr. Baumia will win never again to NDC. Regards to Honorable Charles Echampon, the Deputy Minister of Communications and Digitalization, and MP for Asaman Kese and Frank Siedu Bokoy, a.k.a. <coughs> Kotozwa. 
The NPP, Dumso is back with vengeance, but we are being lied to by the NPP government. The president has failed. Okay, that was, sorry, the NPP government and Balmia want to take Ghana to hell like Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, we won't go to hell. Good morning, Rose. Thank God for the speaker we have now. Please, if you want to know the moves and the political strategies of my MPP government, watch Game of Thrones. Playing the Lennox test uh, in the movie, where are the senior citizens and fathers of the land, the royal gates in Ghana? Are there no men with balls to speak truth to the president in Ghana that we are watching on him on him rule as against our wills and aspirations as one people under God. They are selling state assets and ruling us with impunity. Everything in the Japa document is manifesting in broad daylight, and we are not showing anger to the president. Why? Ghanaians wake up, oh, Nana Kwesi Odami in your name. I think that will be all with our messages. Today I've done so well. I've managed to read all the messages, so I'll take... So you don't, you don't want trouble? Oh, let me, let me see. I don't want trouble. I think we have some comments on Facebook. Let's see if we have some comments coming on Facebook. But let me, as I go on Facebook, I'll take a... Is it cool you want to say everybody's final... Once, once again, oh. Nunu went on a propaganda spree, and I'm quite disappointed. He didn't speak to the actions of the Speaker of Parliament and what the effects are on our democracy. The fact that we couldn't get ministers approved to continue on the issues of governance. Nunu is not concerned about that. The fact that tax waivers were not approved to enhance business operations in the country, Nunu is totally unconcerned about that. The fact that the outstanding IBA facility and the bills for consideration were all not heard in parliament mm -hmm. yesterday, Nunu totally unconcerned. And he went once again on the propaganda spree if there is any political party at all in this country which has released any communique to state its stance on the LGBTQ plus issue, the New Patriotic Party, the party is on record to have stated that the party does not in any way accept such practices in our society. Mm. The president has met with the clergy and he's made his, his voice heard. He's told the Ghanaian people that, of course, should that bill be passed at all ever in this country, it is never going to be under his presidency. And you are calling on the vice president. We understand the obsession. So why is he not signing? We understand the obsession with the so vice president. why is he president. not signing? And the fact that you feel you need to rope him in, in everything you people say. Yes. It's not propaganda against him. But you cited very well that we are made up of three key religious fraternities in the country. And you mentioned the Islamic religion, mm -hmm. which the vice president is espoused spouse Islam. Mm -hmm. So if you believe Islamic practices and those practicing Islam do not approve of LGBTQ+, and the vice president has staunched is Islam, then clearly, what, 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 where lies your argument? <laughs> but the sponsors of the bill, once again, let's go back to the sponsors <laughs> of the bill. Yeah, 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 the sorry. Sponsors, you, you, the, sponsors, the, sponsors, the sponsors So you of have, the bill you have just a minute. had known MPP figures. Mm. At least we can mention the Honorable Intim Fojo, the MP for Asin North, being part of the sponsors of the bill. And the bill, once again, in Parliament was passed unanimously, both sides of the House. So where lies MPP supporting what, and then NDC supporting what? You clearly want to propaganda okay. and fetch your political one capital out up. of it. The president had your, your his one vision and up. everything. I'm sorry, I have to go uh, to open the open your one minute to please. Parliament um, is clearly uh, uh, is it all? Your time is up. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Your time is up. Thank you. Open your one minute. Has this president passed any private members bill at all? Has he? Initially, did he not talk about this being a private member's bill and actually should have come from the executive? Mm -hmm. So he doesn't seem to have any intention of passing it. And he's, he's talking with two sides of his mouth. One thing he's saying to others, the other thing he's saying to uh, others. And he wants, he does not want to satisfy Ghanaians. He wants to satisfy those foreign countries because he called them. They met, didn't they? Has he spoken to Ghanaians on LGBTQ? Has a president come and said what he wants to say, the way he, 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 he was talking to the foreign dignitaries. Has he said that to Ghanaians? Who voted him into power? This is the foreign dignitaries who voted in power. Then the Ghanaians voted in power. But you have one minute. Have we heard from him? So let him go ahead and play chas killing with our constitution. Very soon, he'll be gone. Anyway, he's a lame duck president. It's up to Vice President Baumia to tell us what he feels about it. He can tell us what he feels about Ilebi, can't he? Yeah. He should tell us what he feels about this. Yeah. And let's hear what he has to say. All right, your time is up. <coughs> Thank you, Rosalind. You yes. see, when the organs you have to, everybody had two minutes. When the so. organs of government fight amongst each other, uh, it does not bring cooperative uh, governance. So I think that 
uh, the president's letter from the executive secretary to parliament was in bad taste. So we must condemn it in all uncertain terms. Mm. These are some of the effects that we get from uh, such uh, things. So you are, you are and in concluding, in concluding, you see, I'm a strong Presbyterian, uh, trained from Bethlehem Presbyterian Church. You don't just say, Epistle of James, letter total fit and works. When you say things, work towards it. You don't just write a letter and then you do things contrary. Today One in Ghana, more. today in Ghana, we have no street lights. They are not working. Our streets are not working. Traffic lights are spots, portals are turned into manholes all over the road. Doom saw everywhere. No water. People using kufo gallons everywhere, and we are suffering. And the president, in addition, wants to bring a curse upon Ghanaians by allowing uh, LGBTQ in the I mean, in, in, I mean, in the country. I mean, we Ghanaians, we Christians. Uh, Islamic religion, traditional religion, entire Ghana will make sure that this does not come into the, time the society is up. in Ghana. All right. Yeah, um, the I president will, says he will he will sign once the I court will, makes will, a decision. So with that, we can't say we can't <laughs> say that. We'll come up with another excuse. Until yeah, then, yeah, yeah, until then, we'll come up with another excuse. We, we don't know we any know case him. that we'll is coming on Ghana yet. There is no case coming on Ghana. Women, women, women in Ghana should protest. The president wishes Ghana well and would not want to see Ghana go down. Let's see some messages from Facebook and then I have another conversation. Can I have a Messages from Facebook, he please. He will sign. He will sign. So he actually he says he will sign. So let's see. Uh, teachers have been taken for granted for far too long in this country. Being a teacher in Ghana is almost like a curse. In fact, many people or many persons are in the teaching profession today as a result of lack of alternative and has no doubt that Ghana will run out of teachers in the near foreseeable future. The teacher also deserves the best of national kick. Daniel Akmaliok from Sandema. Art Lenzo says, you see the NPP guy talking, I saw him at Tantra Residential and he was quietly yawning and very hungry and he came to the television to deceive the, to deceive the nation. Time will tell. <laughs> Somebody saw your, your way coming up. Honorable Letitia <laughs> Puyo Life says, good morning. Good morning, madam. Assume <laughs> my uh, Banda says, <laughs> good morning to you, madam host and your panel members. Members. It always saddens my heart to hear people opting for NDC as an option other than the NPP. Is it not the same NDC which during their era couldn't pay teachers what to do them? Are they not the same party that cancelled teachers' training and nursing allowances? Thank God I myself is a beneficiary of, um, I myself is a beneficiary of, I'm doing, I've, I've lost it here. Hey. Baby. Also, this government uh, took power. We have seen improvement in salaries and government workers, all like the previous government. And I want to say in, on authority that if Ghanaians mistake and bring back the incompetent NDC back to power, then there's going to be more unemployed graduates association because they have no capacity to employ and give better conditions of service. Thank you, Rose, Asuma there's Banda there's from There's a message that said that you won't read a certain way because I think they've taken it off. Oh, please, can I have that message back? Please give it to me back. No, that's not it. I've read this uh -huh, one. This one. Uh, Mark Afui says, Chairman, if this your message won't be seen by the host. You don't waste your time. Which one was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just read it. Mark Afui, I have read this message that you, you actually commented on. So you see, I have read it. <laughs> okay. All right, so this one, Ayaba Zakaria says, Ghana Beyond Aid is afraid of losing aid. In fact, I'm a happy man uh, this morning because from JHS to SHS, I have really witnessed separation of power, feely, feely. Well, that's true. This is my first time witnessing it too, so we are all happy. Um, abuse of guess, power. Uh, no, no, not separation of power. It's an abuse of power. Who is abusing which power? No, so both, power. Both, are, both are actually abusing power. power. Both. But you both have sides. to see the president doing it. Speak of the president is doing it. I think I've, I've read this one already on, 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 on uh, WhatsApp, so we can move to the other one. I've I've read this one too, Daniel Akpaliok. I've read Daniel Akpaliok. I've read uh, Art Lenzo. Art Lenzo is the one who saw Ezekiel yawning. <laughs> It's, All it's right. Logical. So I, thank I, you so much logical. for watching uh, New Slide segment this morning. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Open you Kwame Chanto represented the CPP. Dr. Ezekiel Ajekum represented the NPP. And E.A. Metalmunu represented the NDC. My name is Roslyn Feli. Up next is What's Trending. Do stay with us.
This coming Easter Monday is Love FM Family Party in the Park. First April 2024, Rotary Park, by the day. So start putting plans together and let's have the biggest family picnic experience ever. Where are my bubbly little kitty bobs, neck and bones, puppets, OPT? We will make available all the kids' playing items trampoline, bouncy castles, electric train, merry go round, stationary airplane, horse race, face painting, TV games. For all the adults in Kumasi, get ready for the adult corner. Get your dancing shoes on for some electrifying live band music. Date is Easter Monday, 1st April 2024 at the Rat Trap Park. The Nyame rate is a cool 10 Ghana cities, 8 a.m. sharp. The love of a family party in the park. Easter edition. We simply can't wait. I fell in love twice in my life. The first was here at this little piece of paradise, Bota Hotel Akosombo, where nature welcomes me with carefully crafted experiences. Where the perfect panoramic views received me, no matter where I cruise to, go swimming or party with friends, nature smiled at me and touched me just the way I needed. A vacation is what you need in this little peace paradise. Bota Hotel. Experience nature. For bookings or enquiries, contact us on 054-435-7705 or sales at botahotel.com.gh. Daddy, daddy, <sighs> this tank is Yes, that's true. It can store a lot of water. That's so true. Wow, it has a working surface on it. Mm-hmm, that's so true. I can see S-I-N-T-E-S. Vincent! That is so true, my daughter. When it falls on it to swallow. That's not true. But why? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Syntex was the first to introduce double layer tanks in Ghana. Syntex again was the first to introduce white inner layers in Ghana. Syntex gives you the biggest warranty seven years. No matter your water needs, Syntex is the answer. Syntex tank. Are you strong? Are you tough? Dive into a new era of news consumption with MyJoyOnline.com, your go-to destination for cutting-edge journalism, giving you the most credible stories from business to politics and from sports to entertainment. MyJoyOnline.com introduces an upgraded news website meticulously designed to empower you with an enriched browsing experience like never before. Experience the future of news browsing with myjoyonline.com. That's about. I am grateful to be rectified at this moment and accepted as part of your traditional culture and have a father who is a king in Yendi. I have embarked on a journey to be a leader. I can't be on this journey alone. I become what I become because of you. And anyone that thinks for people is successful. Start to think for your people and everyone will grow. I have embarked on this journey to be able to move with the youth of this country. Your voice really matters. And I think we should skip the noise and obey the voice. Your problem is my problem. I've already seen it, and I'm coming with a solution. I am coming to put a one million cities on the university challenge for the 10 universities, and UBS is one of them. We have to invest their money into that business that is presented. We will guide them until they walk on the path of success. It's money, keeping it, and making sure it's spread it right. Remember, I'm investing in you. Thank you. Own your moment.
experience in South Africa, this is the holiday. Explore new holiday deals at SouthAfrica.net. Come journey with us. Playing Swiss Ghanaian talent manager and scout, Stella Larby, is Switzerland's Thai model agency, first hair broker of color, commends Switzerland's very first hair, makeup and styling artist management agency. The fashion world has transformed my life. I was able to rub shoulders with celebrities, travel the world, open a business, rub shoulders with beautiful people. It is an amazing industry. Her clients include French, Italian, and German Vogue, Elle and Marie Claire, featured in commercials such as The Get Campaign with Claudia Schiffer, makeup, hair, and hair creative shoot with the original supermodels, Naomi Campbell, Christy Turlington, and Linda Evangelista. In Africa's Model Scout, she draws on the expertise of globally respected industry professionals to help her select the best girl and provide invaluable training to help push the aspiring models to be the best they can be. This is a show about chasing your dreams and embracing challenges, but only one of the models will have the chance of winning our grand prize an international model contract with boss model agency Cape Town, South Africa. Only the 10 girls showing the most potential make it through to the casting round in which they are faced with challenging test shoots. This is a journey and it's going to be a journey of discovery. Africa's Model Scout shows every Saturday at 7 p.m. only on Joy Prime. Hi, hi, everybody. Good morning. How you doing? If you're just tuning, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us right here on Prime Morning. We are live on Facebook. Don't forget, hit the show button when you get on Facebook. Everybody needs to know that we are currently live on your screen. Now it's time for me, Essie Adua Akumia, to bring you all the updates and all the stories that are trending on social media. Now let's get right into our very first trending story. Now, Vice President, who is currently the presidential candidate for the New Patriotic Party, is trending on social media because he has said something pretty interesting. You know that right now, they are bringing out their campaign promises, what they will do for you and I, he voted into power. Now, yesterday, this particular uh, one is trending because it has to do with business owners and some individuals. He's saying that the year 2025, we are going to start on a clean slate. A clean slate. Now, here's what exactly he meant by that. And so, uh, tax amnesty would be introduced for business owners and individuals. That's what Vice President Mahamudu Baumia is telling business owners and individuals that from 2025, tax amnesty would be introduced. Uh, I know you're, some of you might be wondering what it is. 
Uh, but let's take a listen to exactly what he said, and then maybe I'll try and give you uh, some understanding to what the tax amnesty is. Take a look at this. We are going to start with a clean slate in 2025. And that is why in 2025, we are going to grant a tax amnesty to all businesses and individuals and start afresh. Afresh. All businesses and individuals will have a tax amnesty and we will start afresh. Right, right, right. And so that's what your vice president, who's currently the presidential candidate for the new patriotic party, is promising business owners that tax amnesty would be introduced. And so uh, if he's saying that evil didn't power 2025, uh, taxpayers are going to have some level of opportunity to uh, write off some taxes. And so and that they would end up paying a defined amount. You understand what I'm trying to say? And so it depends. If you do have any ability, what exactly uh, the tax waiving would be or the writing off of the tax would be, specifically. Right, and so let's move away from that. But before, let's read some comments from you. Huh? Do you believe what he said? <laughs> All right, so Kabra said, he said all businesses and individuals. Yes, that's what he said. Why are you laughing? Huh? Denai says, the worst is yet to come if he wins. Oh. Uh, Black Paul says, they are laughing in their heads. They look confused. <laughs> oh. TJ says, how will he run the country without tax when he promised taxation to production in 2016? What happened? Ooh, well, well, well. Olamide says, coming from the man that promised the country off from taxation to production, but why do we see now? But what do we see now? From taxation to robbery. Lump Oil says, all those there clapping are supposed to be educated or enlightened. Yes, they are celebrating this. Oh, you're heartbroken, isn't it? <laughs> and says, my goodness. Mm. All right, so that's what some of you posted or shared on social media after chancing on this video. Right, so let's move away from that to the next friendly story. Now, yesterday, Wednesday, in the big interview seat was well and highly celebrated veteran broadcaster, radio host. I mean, we've listened to him for years. Kwame Sefakai, yes, he was in the seat of the big interview and it was spectacular, the things he shared. But one of them that is currently trending on social media was he saying that he got offers to leave Peace FM. <laughs> but he said money is not everything. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, have you received offers in the past 24 years? Yes, please. Plenty. Yes, please. The money was good? Oh, there was one that was damn good. <laughs> damn what good. What you to say no? Money's not everything. Seriously. Uh, money's good. But it's not everything. Mm. But as I say, <laughs> be sure you're earning some good money before you start talking such nonsense. <laughs> I like that. I'm yeah. gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah, you say, oh, Charlie, money is not everything. Uh, that decrease. <laughs> but be sure you're earning some good money before you start talking such nonsense. Uh -huh. It's, it's, it's. One, one of the offers was damn good. Mm -hmm. But I asked myself, yeah, now it ain't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What am I going to prove? But you never know. Never say never. Maybe if you make me an offer that is so juicy, mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay, let me use this as my retirement package. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I probably would do that as my retirement package. Ah, uh, let's see. Well, that's what uh, Kwame Sefakai shared. That's just a bit of what he shared 
doing the big interview yesterday with Rosalie Feli right here on Prime Morning. Now, let's move away from that. Let's go to the next trending story. Now, a Ghanaian actress is massively trending on social media currently. Her name is Pearl Odake. Uh, she's trending because in an interview with Adinote, who is a director, movie director, movie producer, um, he's an actor himself. Uh, in an interview, this lady shared that when she was preparing for the second coming of Nkoma in December, um, that stage play happened in January. It happened as well. Very beautiful play. Now, she said that when she was preparing for it, the role that she played in that stage play or that drama, she was possessed and even Omar Sharif Captain had to come in to, you know, be praying with her and all that. It seems that there are so many things that goes on behind the scenes for these actors and actresses. Let's listen to this. I know people do characters that after the stage performance, they are not able to come out of the characters. They are so involved and engulfed into it. Has this experience happened to you before? Yes, um, several. My very recent one was um, the second coming of Nkrumah. That role got me. In the beginning, I just thought, you know, just come. I mean, I call me a day. That is what I said in Chi. I call me a day, like trying to, you know, make chant and do some incantations. It's not really a big deal because I'm acting. And then when I, what what I felt when I did it during the second of Nkrumah as the, um, the, the God in the thing, I was like the spiritual leader. It was something else. The, twice I got deep, and they had to bring me. They, they, they Omar Captain was backstage with me. He was praying with me. Yes, they were all surrounding me. I had a mad headache. My eyes were red. I was shivering. I was crying. And it, and the thing is, I ha immediately I finish, I have to go backstage. So they have to get me out of that mood. Before you I want to say, say, I come me. Me. I was reciting words and I was I was bringing things down. The whole place felt it, and and actually um, even my birthday wish recently, like to the, I mean today, someone actually wrote that you know your small witchcraft thing that you did. I'm like oh my god, <laughs> so you know it, they felt it, and it was impactful. So when, when well, it seems that so many things happen in preparation towards bringing you nothing but the best of everything when it comes to acting. So many things goes on with these actors and act actresses. And so uh, most of the times we need to keep them in our prayers as well. And then we shouldn't be too judgmental of certain things that they put before us on our TV, on our phones and all of that. Well, uh, thank God she's doing well. She's fine. We praise God for that. Now, move away from that. Hey, hey, hey. See, yeah, when it gets to news like this, the way I get excited and I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just dancing in spirit and it's a fury physically. I love it when people are being joined together in holy matrimony. I just love it. Ooh. Writer, producer, director, actor, Pascal Amanfo, you know him. He's very popular. Well, he's rocking the internet by surprising us with some wedding photos of himself and his wife. And so, hmm, for those of you that were thinking he was already married, or for those of you that were thinking he wasn't married, well, 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 wedding is soon. <laughs> wedding has happened. And a huge congratulations to Pascal Amanfo. Jesus, you were seated on the throne. When nobody fit to serve my kiss. When he be like, say, my life to wish. My assurance is I'm not alone. Jesus, you are seated on the throne. I know that.
Well, so these are some videos and some photos that we've seen on the internet in relation to Pascal Amanfo. But questions that some people are also asking that, uh, could this just be behind the scenes of one of his movie projects that is upcoming? Uh, could this just be something in preparation towards 1st April? <laughs> you know what 1st April is. But, uh, well, let's <laughs> hope and see what comes right afterwards. Let's move away from that to the next Friday story. Now, socialite TikToker Asantua is trending on social media. Now, this is a lady who, she has been on the chopping block of Ghanaians for months. In fact, ever since she came into the limelight, people misunderstand her, misconstrue her sentences, and say all kinds of stuff about her. But she seems to be one person who is highly unperturbed by what you at home would think or say about her. And she still runs her life, does whatever she pleases. And, well, she has broken the internet yet again. Yesterday, she surprised everybody with some very beautiful photos of her maternity suit. Now, mind you, uh, just about a month ago, about six, yeah, so it was last year, about six, seven months ago, a lady uh, commented on one of her photos, uh, accusing her of being barren here and there, saying a whole lot of things about her, and saying a whole lot of things about her marriage. Uh, but uh, Santua kept a very good composure in relation to the response to that particular uh, comment. And thanks be to God, she has surprised everybody because um, she has brought out these very beautiful maternity shoots. And uh, there are some videos, yes, so there you have it, so do enjoy this one. At this point, all we can say is congratulations to you, Asantua, uh, for, you know, this beautiful gift that God has given you. It's very exciting being a mother. Right, so that's it for the trending stories with me, as you do, Akumia. But once I'm a phone, say, uh, you should know that it's time for me to do birthday. So let's get started with our birthdays for this morning. Uh, okay, so the very first one. We have we, the PhD class, which Professor Mahmoud, A. Mahmoud from the Department of Marketing and Entrepreneurship at University of Ghana Business School, a very happy birthday. Your guidance, mentorship, and support have been invaluable to us throughout our doctoral journey. We are grateful to your leadership and honored to have you as our supervisor. Yes, to another year of success, happiness, and fulfilling achievements. Happy birthday, Professor. Birthday to Melody. It's your birthday, and God bless you for me. I love you from DJ Incredible. And it's a belated birthday going out to Lord Gideon Glow. Lord, yesterday was your birthday. A happy, happy birthday from myself and every single person at Crossgates Ministries. Uh, hope you enjoyed your day and had a blast. Happy birthday to you, Lord. Joanne Kwashi, today is your birthday. A happy birthday to you, dear. Wishing you long life and prosperity. This is from the members of Crossgates Ministries. Happy birthday to Big Sissy Dockers AUC from your brother Sammy and the entire AUC family. It's your birthday, and on this day, may all your heart's desires come true. May Isaiah 60 verse 5 be granted in your life. Happy birthday, darling.
Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating your birthdays today. As I always say, if you have an upcoming birthday or a loved one's birthday is coming up, kindly send your picture a birthday message to our WhatsApp number. And now we are ready to celebrate your birthday a little more segment. My name is Estia Jua. I'm the still fine morning. We have some updates in the world of sports for you. Today, we, today is a birthday and a relationship talk. Today we are going to talk about that when birth arrives, okay? So every single thing that you can have to know about this. And yes, we have some entertainment. There's a musician that will be coming into the wilderness also. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. This be me, Kobe, aka Kobe Boga, KB for short. And this is my sweetheart, Obahima. Today, I get big surprise for her. <laughs> Charlie, one of the days I couldn't spoil my girl. Now, I'm engaged to the woman of my dreams. Don't just look at my success. To get here, I had to follow the process. Out of nowhere, I lost my job. Hmm. But I believe in humble beginnings. I got an idea that I knew I could grow. I started from a small setup, then invested in growing my own coconuts. I then grew my product lines. Now, I sell to many supermarkets in the country. Fellow young Ghanaians, trust the process and keep hope alive. Take advantage of Acre business through the Ghana Grows program. Ghana Grows, hope day. Salvation, healing, miracles. The Accra Sports Stadium is about to witness the unmistakable power of God. Be healed. Be healed of weakness. Be healed of diseases. Be delivered from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills is here with us again. Mark your calendars. It's 29th March, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yes, the Good Friday Miracle Service this year is happening at the Accra Sports Stadium. Experience the power of the cross and the efficacy of the blood as we come together to mark the great sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills, 29th March 2024, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Be there. Welcome. To the sizzling world of Big Chef Season 3, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with their innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship and the joy of cooking together. And that's the true recipe for pure happiness. Tune in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 5 p.m. And follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together. Big Chef, good meals by kids. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Talk Cooking Oil, Endomie, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Aromic We Lights. We know the dream is big. We know the passion gets you going. And you have the potential to make great strides. The Chartered Institute of Market in Ghana has always been an avid supporter of industry excellence and innovation. 
This is why we are excited to announce the CIMG Professional Marketing Qualifications. CIMG has designed practical courses to help you make that dream a reality right here in Ghana. We are geared up and ready to support you on this journey to becoming a world-class professional marketer. Register today and be on your way to greatness. For more information, call us on 055-274-6592. Visit our website www.cimghana.org or email us on info at cimghana.org. Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana. Working for Ghana. Has entered my palace too. Ah, yes. Ojuala. Ojuala. Yes, my lord. Bring the children here. Yes. Have I been sleeping? If so, then I am sick in the head. Ah, Only yeah. a madman would go to sleep with his roof on fire. Ah, yes. Now, look. Look at them. Eh? Sit. See them. See the mucus in his nose. Eh? You, feel him. You, go on, touch. Yes, you, feel him. That one cannot even stand up. Look at her stomach. She has not tasted food in three days. Oh. Hunger fills her stomach. Sickness will not allow even the smallest morsel to enter. Anything she puts in her mouth. Ah. Hey, pity yourselves. Oh, the land is bad, you cry. Oh, we suffer much, we die. You moan, yet each of you sits in his own small hut and does nothing. Now, tired of doing nothing, you have all come here like lobsters, carrying your large heads of complaints to my doorstep. Well, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, the ruin of a land and its people begins in their homes. If you, in your own small hut, are so helpless, so crippled, that you now come to me, a single man, expecting magic, then let me tell you that we shall soon all die. Hand in hand, in yeah. one big grave. Ah, yeah. Hand in hand, I say. Smiling at each other's eyeballs. Ah. And smelling the rot of our gross, corrupt bodies. Oh. Yeah. 
If you need help, seek for it first among yourselves. Don't come and open your noses at me. I cannot help. Why? Because I, Odewale, son of Ogundele, I am only a person. Human. Like you. And you. And you. There's a blood that gives life, even eternal life. Yes, there's a blood, a red that washes and makes white, in accordance with God's grace. There's a blood of sprinkling, one that's speaking better things above all else. Oh, the immense privilege we have to be partakers of the sacred blood of the Lamb. This March, from the 25th through 31st, 2024, the World Wide Word Ministries, the Hill City Church, presents the highly anticipated Blood Factor Feast, featuring the Lord's anointed witnesses, Prophet John Anochi. Inside Jesus' blood is his life. So if Jesus, his body was not raised by God, he would have been there until now. The body won't decay because the body is not an instrument of the earth. You feel within you my health. Yes. You have some faith that God will do it. Yes. It's even affecting your performance. Yes. In every aspect. <laughs> Today, Jesus has removed it from you. Amen. And Prophet John Taylor Anochi. The Bible says, now the Lord is what? Spirit. So what you feed, if you want to remain in Christ, must be a food that has life and spirit. It must be his word, nothing else. Because you cannot feed in abomination and filthiness and still be part of Christ Jesus. You'll be cut off. So then what is their aim? Their aim is to cause the people to move away from Jesus Christ, to bring them to the outer court, make them filthy again. But the blood has already sanctified them. It's a feast of the stainless, spotless, and the most precious blood of the Lamb of God. The time is 6.30 p.m. every evening at the Ritzy Hill City Auditorium, number 14, Boundary Road, East Ligon, Accra. Or connect with us in real time on our diversified online platforms. Ready for the mysteries and a proof of the life that is in our blood? The vision to possess the nations rests on the vibrancy of the local church. When Jesus said, I will build my church, he hinted that the church is going to have an opposition in the devil. So if the church is going to have an opposition in the devil himself, then the church must be built to be strong. This is where real practical ministry and congregational life exists. Our members are our greatest resource, and in their strength, we find strength. Welcome to Pentecost Hour. A religious broadcast of the Church of Pentecost that seeks to strengthen the local church through the word and prayer to be strong, cohesive, and impactful. Pentecost are God's timely word for our dying world. The Royal House Chapel International presents Power in His Presence. suggest to you that what you are going through it is because there is oil on your head and the devil can't do anything about it clap your hands and say i am going somewhere to a new dispensation where the sting of a strike the stroke of a spike and the caress of a punch this the squeeze of a rim and the pressure never stops this is sports zone where the rush of the action gets the coverage it deserves every monday at 9 p.m only on joy prime Sports Zone 
is sponsored by Hunters. Syntax Tank, are you strong? Are you tough? And I, I don't know, I think this is my favorite tune for this month, all right? So I think probably I'll use it as my ringtone. You're still watching Prime Morning. And of course, I'm not here alone. It's here. Do I seated with me? I love the uh, Yes, I love it. And you're the, and you're the, and you're the, and you're the, ah. Well, well, well. And uh, Nathaniel Latro is here as well. Hi, yeah. Nathaniel. Hey, good to see you, ladies. Good You're looking lovely you. as always. Thank looking you. lovely as always. Yeah. This conversation about Ghana and Nigeria mm. will never, ever go away. Ghana, Nigeria, the Jalov conversation, the, you know, the Cocathon conversation, yeah. the football conversation, and now the sprint conversation. Mm. Unfortunately Ooh. for Ghana, <sighs> we had to play second fiddle to Nigeria. Before yeah. you go into that, let me actually talk about Down Syndrome Day. Today is mm. World Down Syndrome Day. Well. And then we go into our highs. And so it's us, you know, highlighting that Down Syndrome is not something that we should even term it as a curse. It's not at all. It's not a curse. It's just, you know, um, it's, it's more or less like a, a health you know, problem, a yeah. challenge. And so when it comes to Down syndrome, please don't tag it as a curse. What do you know? Let's talk a bit about Down syndrome. Yeah, so um, I know that this year, um, not every year they have a tagline. And uh, when I was reading a little bit about it, I noticed that, well, they say that the awareness for Down syndrome is still not as high as they expect it to be because people are still, you know, doing this whole discrimination and trying to make people suffering, or especially children, suffering from Down syndrome feel a little bit out of place, which is very sad. And so that's the reason that we need to celebrate days like this. And so this year, uh, their theme is health and well-being, mm -hmm. access and equality to all. That is this year's theme. And so we should stop the discrimination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's let them feel yes. a part of us. They yeah. deserve to be loved. Yeah. It's not a curse at all. And you know, they are the sweetest persons you could ever Very meet. True. Persons with Down syndrome are so sweet. Very they true. exude love wherever yeah. they find themselves. Yeah. They are always laughing. Yeah. They are bubbly. And uh, this time around, we are saying we should actually include them in everything that we do. Yeah. And so today we are celebrating everyone who has mm -hmm. a child with Down syndrome mm -hmm. or we, have, we are celebrating mm -hmm. one who has a Down syndrome as yeah. well. You know, abroad, some of them actually do get married. Yes, they do. Yeah, they, they, do. they do. And the education quality there is top notch. Matt? Yeah. Um, well, so um, for me, the very key thing that you mentioned here is about, you know, people with Down syndrome getting married. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it's the care you know, so that our healthcare system can properly embrace it. Right. Yeah. And there's more awareness, there's communication, especially from our end, I mean, because of the role we play in the whole development mix of society. Yeah. So that there's good enough communication so that the children who are growing up are very aware of this condition. Yeah. And then it is able to go down to uh, the minimum. When I'm saying the minimum, the places where you don't find people who are most literate, so that mm -hmm. they can understand that this is not a curse. You know, yeah. within our traditional society, people see some of these health conditions as, mm -hmm. as, curses, as curses and, you know, yeah. treat these people uh, very unfortunately in different ways. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's the education, it's the awareness, yeah. and people embracing all of these people who unfortunately are afflicted with this health condition. Mm -hmm. And then also creating that fine mix where we have a good health system that can embrace them and there could be good care here. So people can just live, you know, normally and... Uh, you know, go about there every day. Very uh, true. You know, yeah, yeah, Very yeah. True. And you know, you know, uh, speaking about, this is just by the way, but you remember um, some months ago last year, we did a story on a disabled boy who was, who fell from the staircase. Right. Well, unfortunately, he's gone back to school. Oh, great. Yeah. That's great to he's hear. He's gone back to school. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great to hear. The students seem to have really, you know, they love the fact that he's back in school and are welcoming him very beautifully. It's lovely. It's lovely mm. to see that 
the students are beginning to accept situations like that. So, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Mm. Right, fantastic. so today we are including <laughs> yes. persons with Down syndrome yeah. in our society and we are hoping that we can give them a better health care so that they can be just like us or have an improved condition. Mm. Now we delve into the world of sports. Yeah. Well, oh. and uh, just wrapping up on, you know, on Down syndrome, parents yeah. are, are playing a very key role in all of this. You know, uh, parents need that psychology to have that extra patience, that extra heart, so they could take these children through, show them as much love as possible. And talk about parents. Benjamin Azamati's parents mm. were there in the stands. So every athlete has different forms of yeah. motivation <laughs> yes. to get the job done. Yes, and I was and, screaming <laughs> from the house for Benjamin Azamati. And, and you know, and on that uncle leg, <laughs> I think that Benjamin Azamati did a great job. I have yeah. loads and yeah. loads of friends yeah. who drove by the stadium mm -hmm. to, to watch this, to watch the race, and everybody uh, commended Benjamin yes. Azamati for his leadership and actually closing the gap during the second leg. It was yeah. something else. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. something yeah. So let's, Listen, let's, we just, we just yeah. needed, we needed like, you know when they say 100 yeah, seconds? Yeah, so it was, we it was like two seconds. 100 and, it yes. was micro two seconds. Under, so under, did, under, yes, yes so point two, two seconds. seconds. Yes. So we needed like it to be like, instead of 100 meters, it should have been 110 minutes, <laughs> meters, or probably 109 meters, you know, would have beat them to it. But unfortunately, it's not <laughs> like that. Uh, well, two seconds, yeah, yeah, that makes a very big difference. So let's just go by it. But of course, what we should be looking forward to is that conversation with Benjamin Azamati's parents. Before that, we'll take a listen to the athletes themselves. We'll take a listen to Joe Paul Amwa. But how did it all happen? Let's go back to the highlights. Wait for the gun to go. The final of the men's 4x100 meter relay. And off they go, there's no turning back now. The final of the men's 4x100 meter relay. The Nigerians are going very strongly. Edwin Gadai is already being caught by on their back straight for Ghana. Is uh, Benjamin Azimati, but Nigerians, uh, Okon is also running really well. Look at Botswana, two, very well run. Oh, uh, Solomon Hammond is being handed over by Benjamin Azamati. Hammond is going up against Alaba Olokule of Nigeria. This is it now. The El Collet is Oh, the Ghanaians have. Oh, it looked like they were dropping the baton, but they did it. It's Shorishi against uh, Jason Paul Hammond. It's a race for one and two. Ghana, Nigeria. Nigeria have got it. She's on the line. They have exacted revenge on the Ghanaians. And the gold medal will go to Nigeria. It's a sweet, sweet, sweet revenge for Nigeria. On home soil, they have shocked the Ghanaians. Ghana will have to settle for silver. But there's a bit of controversy. Wait for it. What's happening? Well, the, oh, Nigerians it's have it. the Nigerians have it. The Nigerians have it. It was a bomb storming run from JP. However, there was a lapse in the change here. And for a moment, JP hesitated, and that cost him a few seconds. Ichiriki with an almost perfect handover. But watch John Paul from Ghana try to complete and try to close the gap. He almost overwhelmed him at the line, and it was not enough. By microseconds, and by milliseconds, I should say, the Nigerians have it. And just look at Ichiriki, focused, moving towards the line. He saw the Ghanaian at the corner of his eye, but he just focused on his race with every sinew of energy that he had within him. He took towards the line. And he fell. And he fell in the process. He had to That's dip. just how determined he was. He had to dip. And at he the finish of dip. the race, he wasn't even sure whether he had done enough to win it because of the sheer acceleration that the Ghanaian came into the well, Nigeria race finally had their revenge. A sweet revenge. Ghana got the gold in this event in 2003 in front of Nigerian fans in uh, Abuja in 2003, and the Nigerians have done exactly the well, same thing. The fever, and they will celebrate. You can see how much it means to them. Um, the race was okay, it was good. Um, to be able to run 38.43 in the match, I think, um, it set us up for the world release and hopefully qualify access for the world release and then we'll look at it. I can't say much. I think the time will tell by itself. Um, but I think uh, it doesn't really matter. Now that we are able to run fast and win ourselves a medal. But are you guys disappointed um, not lifting the gold and then leaving the one to Nigeria? It would have been nice to defend our title, but we can't say we are disappointed. We are able to get a medal for our country. So we are happy with it. Well, what I can tell you is that this you exercise patience. Everything is patience. Everybody has his time. When the time comes, what they are expecting will surely come.
Well, so that uh, is uh, Benjamin Asamati's father, and uh, you heard his mother as well. The blessings of a mother you cannot ever, ever uh, go against. So there it is, uh, Benjamin Azamati's mother there, uh, assuring Ghanaians that what we're looking forward to will come, only that we need patience. Okay, so um, a few more options to qualify for the Olympics are being explored by the sprinters at the moment, and uh, we will now throw the focus on the ladies. Now the ladies had to settle... They're away, the final of the 4x100 meter relay, the Ghanaians are off to a really great start, but so are the Liberians as well, and for Liberia, it's Ebony Lee running really well, the changeover is smooth, the Ghanaians are coming through from Mensa, Mensa is running great, but so is Nigerians or Lajide as well, but look at Liberia, strong changeover, oh the changeover is not smooth for Liberia, but the Nigerians are off on the inside lane, right now for Nigeria, it's Fohan, Fohan has the lead, She's running incredibly. Hands over to Toby Amusan. There's no catching her. Paul Holiday of Ghana is chasing shadows. Look at Liberian arm collect. It's Carrie Josephine and Paul Holiday for second. But Nigeria takes the gold. Liberia with the silver. Ghana settles for bronze. And Toby Amusan, the Express, has brought Nigeria home. That is how you run an arm collect. Barely one hour after, after her individual uh, gold medal in the 100 meter hurdle. She's Uncle Nigeria Hall, aptly named Toby Express, and she has brought them home. That is world class running. But for the Ghanaians, this is Patty, Patty Pupin at his best. And he's, you know, it all came down to the smoothness of the Nigerian transitions and how they finished it. When Toby Amusan got this battle, and there was no doubt who was going to win this, win this race. And she simply piled past them. And the real race really was between Ni Liberia and Ghana. But Horse simply did not have enough to append the Li Ni Liberians. And take note, the Liberians almost had an incident at the point of changing the baton. Absolutely. But they still recovered to run the final leg. But the Nigerians, undisputed, and they could not be contested in this race. They got their technique right, they got their changeover right. And when you have a world-class athlete like Toby Amosan, even when she had run just about an hour earlier in the 100 meters hurdles, you have no doubt. Well, we'll take a listen to Hoha Lutier, who was part of the sprint team. Of course, some um, the baton changing and uh, the pace was a little faulty for the Ghanaian team, uh, meaning that they had to drop to third. Well, let's take a listen to Hoha Lutier now. Hey, join me. Uh, because and the support, the motherland, the people, everything, the way they support me and my team, I'm really happy and I'm glad that we made it. We made a medal. Well, Ho uh, Haluti there. Now, let's throw the focus on the um, 800 meters men. Um, uh, William Amponsa tried so hard, uh, pushed so hard, but was unable to get himself into the medal zone. Uh, let's take a look at the final lap of the performance. This is going to get really frantic very, very shortly. Is, uh, this is a test of true endurance and speed. The 800 meters is what they call it. It's the best test of both speed and endurance. It is uh, the Botswana Nkapetubo who is taking an early lead. But look at the Ugandan as well. The Ugandan champion Tom Rodriga is coming on the inside. As they approach that, the men in the first 300 coming on to the home straight of the first 400 meters is the Botswana in the slight lead. The two Kenyans are also battling their way onto the front. The Ghanaian is in the middle, but look at Nabil Osama as they hear the bell. Nabil Osama is coming out really strongly as well. He's a bronze medalist from four or five years ago in Rabat, so he's not going to stand and watch the, oh, well, the, uh, the Moroccan, but it's still the uh, Boswanan in Capetubo in the lead at the moment. Look at the Ugandan, he's keeping up as well, the Drake at all. Uh, it's, uh, they're increasing the ante here, look at the two Kenyans, they're kicking really early, Cheminengwa alongside Kipingatich. 
Kevin Gatic is going really strong, but that is the Ugandan Rodrigo Tom who is going really strongly on the inside lane. But yet the again, uh, Kipping Gatic is kicking really strongly. Kipping Gatic is above everyone, but his countryman is coming. Chabilungwa, oh, what is it? Chabilungwa against Kipping Gatic. Well, it looks like Chabilungwa. Chaminingwa came through in the end because for the last 20 meters it looked as if Kevin Getich had snatched this. But his colleague who he finished side by side with in the semi-final just seems to have picked him to the line with perhaps in carpet humo taking. All right, so let's now throw the focus on uh, Ghana's um, long distance runner who uh, placed fifth in that. Uh, competition now Alexa Mankwa has been speaking to the media after that performance let's take a listen to him a very strong run in the final there how do you feel uh I'm, I'm disappointed honestly uh, I feel like I could have finished top three but I didn't have it the last stretch um so yeah it's disappointing but you know I'm happy that I made the final this is an inch closer to the Olympics which is the ultimate goal and the support that I'm getting from Ghana is like incredible what does that mean as opposed to Ghanaian? Everything. Like, you know, I, I, I'm disappointed in myself because I felt like I could have done more, but everybody's coming up to me and congratulating me and showing me so much love and so much support. Like, it, it's, 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 I can't even describe the words. It's amazing. Uh, a few of us have had the privilege of watching you out, following you out there. I was in Oregon with you for the, the World Champs. But yeah, you're running in front of your very own people. How is the feeling like? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I can't, it's a lot of pressure, but it's, it's good pressure, you know, like they motivate me, they push me to come home strong, and, and you know, they, they, they bring the best out of me, and, you know, I'm in front of the home crowd, so I want to show my best, uh, just because this is where I'm from, you know, so I, I love them, and they show me so much love. What next? Uh, I'm going to, I might do the 4x4 four four tomorrow or Friday, and then after that, I'm going to go back home and rest for a little bit. It's been a long trip. Well, um, Alex Mankwa spoke to um, Muftar Nabila Abdullah of Joy Sports there. Of course, we'll be expecting some more between today and tomorrow. Boxing, where um, Samuel Techi finds himself in the medal zone, uh, could win a gold or a silver. Same um, could apply to Joseph Komi, and we'll be bringing you all of those updates as well. When, when it comes to uh, women's football, the final will be played at the Cape Coast Stadium, and it will be a Ghana-Nigeria final. And uh, we'll be looking forward to that. And, of course, we need to talk about the fans and, and the stands who have honestly made uh, the electrifying atmosphere that is required, especially for uh, our, our you know, competitors, the athletes, and everybody who's also watching from a distance. So it's been wonderful so far at all the venues, especially since the local organizing committee uh, put up that policy of free gates. Now, this is the situation now. Uh, Egypt will continue in their dominance. And it's 167 uh, medals in total, 90 for Nigeria, 97 for uh, South Africa. Algeria have 98, 66 for Tunisia. And Ghana is in sixth place with, uh, with 49 medals. Do remember that um, it's the number of gold medals that uh, you know, gives you uh, the good positioning. So Ghana, for instance, has uh, 10 gold medals, 23 silver, and 16 bronze. So Ghana in sixth place uh, as we get ourselves towards the uh, finish line. Well... It's been a very interesting story so far. Tomorrow we'll be having a major conversation with uh, some of the journalists who've been covering this uh, tournament so far. And uh, we'll be taking a look at uh, what has happened in the African Games, look at Ghana's performance and how uh, things can be done better in the future. All of that will be coming up. Uh, so the uh, show continues. More to come here on Prime Morning. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow to bring you uh, the weekend conversations uh, here on Prime Morning. My name is Nathaniel Atto, and I have love for sport.
would be prepared to be captivated by magic as the biggest play in the history of African theater makes another stop this March. The, the gods, gods are not to blame. blame. Mark your calendars for Thursday, 21st March, 7 p.m., Friday, 22nd March, 7 p.m., and Saturday, 23rd March, at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. at the National Theater. Tickets are selling now at only 150 cities at imageburrowgh.com or dial star 714 star 11 star 21 hash. Don't miss this rejuvenated rerun of the epic tale of Odewale. Ola wrote me the gods are not to blame. Supported by our media partners, Neplant Car Rentals. Produced by Image Bureau in partnership with April Communications and the National Theatre. And proudly brought to you by the Ghana Tourism Authority and the Beyond the Return Secretariat. Because all lizards like prostrate. How can one tell which lizard suffers from belly ache? businessman I am today because I scoured the world to find that feeling my clients want to wear. This country makes it its business to inspire at every moment. Own your moments in South Africa this Easter holiday. Explore new holiday deals at SouthAfrica.net. Come journey with us. Dive into a new era of news consumption with MyJoyOnline.com, your go-to destination for cutting-edge journalism, giving you the most credible stories from business to politics and from sports to entertainment. MyJoyOnline.com introduces an upgraded news website meticulously designed to empower you with an enriched browsing experience like never before. Experience the future of news browsing with MyJoyOnline.com. Welcome to the sizzling world of Big Chef Season 3, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with your innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship, and the joy of cooking together. And that's the true recipe for pure happiness. Tune in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 5 p.m. and follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together. Big Chef, good meals by kids. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Talk Cooking Oil, Endomie, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market and Aromic 3 Lights. There's a blood that gives life, even eternal life. Yes, there's a blood, a red that washes and makes white in accordance with God's grace. There's a blood of sprinkling, one that's speaking better things above all else. Oh, the immense privilege we have to be partakers of the sacred blood of the Lamb. This March, from the 25th through 31st, 2024, the World Wide World Ministries, the Hill City Church, presents the highly anticipated Blood Factor Feast, featuring the Lord's anointed witnesses, Prophet John Anochi. Inside Jesus' blood is his life. So if Jesus, his body was not raised by God, he would have been there until now. The body wouldn't decay because the body is not an instrument of the earth. You feel within you my health. Yes. 
you have some faith that God will do it. Yes. It's even affecting your performance. Yes. In every aspect. <laughs> Today, Jesus has removed it from your image. Amen. And Prophet John Taylor Anochi. The Bible says, now the Lord is what? Spirit. So what you feed, if you want to remain in Christ, must be a food that has life and spirit. It must be his word, nothing else. Because you cannot feed in abomination and filthiness and still be part of Christ Jesus. You'll be cut off. So then what is their aim? Their aim is to cause the people to move away from Jesus Christ, to bring them to the outer court, make them filthy again. But the blood has already sanctified them. It's a feast of the stainless, spotless, and the most precious blood of the Lamb of God. The time is 6.30 p.m. every evening at the Ritzy Hill City Auditorium, number 14, Boundary Road, East Ligon, Accra. Or connect with us in real time on our diversified online platforms. Ready for the mysteries and approve of the life that is in our blood? See you. Welcome to a new dispensation. Where the sting of a strike, the stroke of a spike, and the caress of a punch, meets the squeeze of a rim, and the pressure never stops. This is Sports Zone, where the rush of the action gets the coverage it deserves. Every Monday at 9 p.m., only on Joy Prime. Sports Zone. Is sponsored by Hunters. Syntax Tank, are you strong? Are you tough? Total late night entertainment. The vision to possess the nations rests on the vibrancy of the local church. When Jesus said, I will build my church, he hinted that the church is going to have an opposition in the devil. So if the church is going to have an opposition in the devil himself, then the church must be built to be strong. This is where real practical ministry and congregational life exists. Our members are our greatest resource, and in their strength, we find strength. Welcome to Pentecost Hour, a religious broadcast of the Church of Pentecost that seeks to strengthen the local church through the word and prayer to be strong, cohesive, and impactful. Pentecost Hour, God's timely word for our dying world. You're still watching Pride Morning, and uh, like we told you earlier, we did promise you that uh, it's Ghana Month, and of course, we ought to talk about our traditions. My name is Rosalyn Feli, it's here to what? No, what we're about to discuss is something that I've been yearning to learn. I've been yearning to learn a lot when it comes to the Ghana twin birthright. What is the reason behind What's the history behind it? Because, you know, in some societies here in Ghana, Having twins is like an anomaly, and so uh, it looks like there are certain rights that need to be performed when you have twins. Mm. And so today we are going specifically to the gods. 
what exactly do they do? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's quite special, I must say. <laughs> and, uh, you know, twins are special. Yeah. We wish to have twins uh, all yeah. the time. Yeah. I think it's almost every parent's who dream to have twins. So those who get twins Very are true. always a blessed. <laughs> to help us with this conversation is a man who knows so much about the Ghana tradition, Ni Ade Mpa. Ni, good morning. So your thing. Ofane wo yo jogba. Amen. Amen. Um, we sold you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been sold to the God. <laughs> Uh, well, um, I, let's start off with understanding what the Ghana tradition really is, especially yeah. where the Ghana came from, and that is how we'll be able to understand the whole, you know, twin rights celebration. Yeah, when we say Ghana or Ghana, we migrated from present-day Egypt, between Egypt and Israel. I think there was a fight between the Israelites and the Egyptians, so they have to move from there through the Nile River settled somewhere in Ethiopia, from there migrated through Congo, down to uh, Egypt, uh, back again to, they, they, were, they were on the Nile River, so they were moving through where the Nile River was, then from there they settled all the way from Congo, then to Nigeria, then from Nigeria they moved back then to present day Ghana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so by those Nigeria. are Egyptians and Israelis? Yes. Oh. But they are the, the black Jews, when they talk about the black Jews, oh. Ghans are part of the black Jews. Somewhere settled, also moved back to Abyssinia, Ooh. which is uh, present day Ethiopia. And is that why you have a place in Accra called Abyssinia? Yeah. Oh, makes sense. And we have names which are replication of the Egyptian names or Jewish names. Like which ones? Like Amon, oh. Ashai. Okay. And these are all names written in the Biblical Testament. You know, I, I, would, I would think for a very long time, I used to hear um, as some Ashantis and some Gars would say that, oh, Ashantis are from Israel, and then Gans would try to banter it out and say that, no, we are rather from Israel, but I never really understood. Initially, all black people came from that source. Oh. Until reading present day migration, and they just spread across different places. Right. Okay, interesting. Well, okay, so now that we understand that Gans are Egyptians and Israelis, Israelis. Yeah. now we can talk about <laughs> how the twin rights came about. Yeah. Initially, the twin rights was not part of the Gan cultural setup because they were then seen as abnormalities or hill head. Mm. So they were killing them. When they give birth to twins, they will kill them mm. because they were then seen, they were seen as a, a taboo. Why? Because we are supposed to have one. Why do you have two? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So the ten around came. The ten around came when the Dengbisi Manche. In, in Gamash, we have seven quarters. Made mm. up of Asene, Otublo, English, Alata, Sempe, Abula. So this formed the seven quarters of Gamash. And one of the chiefs over there by name, New Kanja, mm -hmm. the first. Before Neo Kanja ascending the throne of Bisi, he was then used an exchange, the collateral, the exchange of gunpowder from the Dutch to fight the Aquamus mm. in the year between 1730 and 1733. So he gave birth to very vigorous and identical male twins. Being having love and compassion for these children, it was not pleasant for the children to be killed. So he have to connive with his uh, kinsmen savages men and some of his guys around to abscond with the babies to present day central region. So it was there that they were living there, it was providing them with shelter, security. And until a time came when they wanted, uh, they became teenagers. Mm. So they, went, they wanted to come back and come and visit their, who their father was. They want to see their father. So when they came, the day they arrived in Gamashi was on Friday. Mm -hmm a day before the climax of the Omoa festival. Mm -hmm. So it was there when they had a series of, a series of consultation with the deities and that of the ancestors of the land. Mm. So it, later it was revealed to them that the killing of twins must be stopped. Mm. 
Okay. Because when they came around, they were being loved by all the traditional leaders around the various traditional leaders within the, that traditional area. Mm -hmm. So it was there that uh, the, the, the oracle said to them, stop killing the twins and replace it with a yam festival by rewarding them with a yam festival. Oh. That's how the twin festival came into being. Oh, okay. Uh, so no more killing of the twins, but rather yes. the gods were accepting the yam yes. instead of the blood sacrifice. Spice. Ah. Uh, so the gods said, the gods said, the gods or the deity said, prepare yam fest or replace the killing of the twins yes. with the yam festival to reward them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's come then to uh, how the whole rites happens. Is it something that happens from birth, right? When uh, a woman gives birth and then it's two babies, how does it take place? What exactly goes so on? So now that the, uh, uh, the system, uh, the uh, the, it has been accepted, mm -hmm. the first time they came from uh, present-day central region mm -hmm. to Gamashi, mm -hmm. they prepared a leaves. It was a 14 species of leaf. But right now, because of urbanization, they couldn't have all the leaves now. Okay. So it is limited to seven. Uh -huh. So these leaves were prepared as a means of, then the lagration were, were poured on these leaves as a means of purification or to cleanse them. Uh -huh. So by right now, in modern time now, when you give birth to twins, mm -hmm. what happens is they first have to they go back to do a series of consultation with the deities to find out they are mission here on earth, what they, can, what, what they are here to do on earth, the do's and don'ts, what they like and what they don't like. Mm. Okay. okay. The parents of the twins, yeah. they go behind the scene to do this series of consultations. consultations. Okay. To find out the children that are being given to them. Mm. Because they, they believe, now it is now accepted and believe that twins have some special, or they believe they have some special spiritual blessing, yeah. bless, blessing and characteristics. Mm. Okay. So when they arrive, uh, when do they actually go do this consulting? Do they do it the first day they arrive or they do it, they have like a day? Because you have the Kojemo. Mm -hmm. and Kojemo is what, one, the f first week, right? The first day, one week, week, exact yes. week. Yes. Is that a day that they do the consultation? Immediately they are born, then they have to go and do that consultation. Before Kojemo? Before Kojemo, they have to go and consult them first. Okay. They consult them spiritually. Okay. Okay, so they console them spiritually, and then the gods will tell them what they have to do with, you know, with regards to the twins that have been born, right? Okay. okay. Right. And uh, also, um, so what's the name of the festival? The name of the festival is called Aji and Yele Yeli. Huh? Aji. Aji. Aji means twins. Okay. Then Yele Yeli is uh, the Yam Festival. Oh, oh Yele Yeli. Yeli. Yele. Yele. Yele Ye means yam. And eating. Yes. Oh. Yele. Yele. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Because uh, the day they arrive, it was accepted that they have to use yam. Because yeah. the day uh, after that one is the more, which is more on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the more is a corn festival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most deities and stools in Gamashi, during their feast, they use yam to celebrate their feast. Stools and deities within the Gamashi enclave or Gandango setup, mm. they use yam. Right. Now, we are still on uh, this uh, conversation with regards to the twin festivals that are celebrated by the Gas in, you know, Greater Accra region. Of course, it's not every tradition or it's not every tribe that celebrates it, but the Gas actually have a special celebration. And so they treat them so well. Uh, the, what, how do we call twins in Gas? Aji. Algae. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when, Penny is what? Uh, yeah, so when they are male, they are mm -hmm. two males. Two males. Mm -hmm. Identical males, whether they're identical or not. We say mm -hmm. aquete. Aquete. And aquete. Aquete, okay. And aquete and aquete. All right. And the female aspect is uh, aquile. Aquile and aquoko. Aquoko. Okay. But when they are on both sex, we mm -hmm. say uku. Oko, oko means is the only male, the only one. Oko will be. Okay. 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 So oko, and the, 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 the female one is aquile. Oh, okay. So oko and aquile, aquite, aquite. So every oko is a twin? Yeah, every oko is a twin. Oh, wow. I never knew. Yes, every oko is a twin. Okay, now let's talk about what actually happens yeah. during 
the celebration? So during the celebration, that's why I said previously, first they have to go and do this consultation. Mm -hmm. Yes, so after this consultation has been done on the D day of celebration, the first person who have to do this, perform this rite is the Nai Ulomo. The Nai Ulomo is the chief priest of the Gan state. He does his own first before any Gan household can also start from. Mm. They have to do this, yes. So the Nai Ulomo, to, before that, they have to go and uh, we have these species of leaves. They prepare them in a traditional basin, which is called the chisi. Is, is that what's on the screen? Yeah, exactly, the traditional basin, but it's made up of wooden pot. Okay. But right now, because it's expensive and they can't get, they can use maybe this aluminium one yeah. or a uh, hand. Yeah. Yes, they can. So, so, so what are they doing? They are bathing uh, uh, some dummies in there? Yeah. So these are the purification method, the leaves in there. Mm -hmm. So they, they add all these ingredients, all these traditional herbs into made up of the nyanyina, the hiyamba, yele ba. Which is the seven leaves, types of leaves you mentioned earlier. Ex exactly. Okay. So they put them in the basin, they pour libation on it, mm. recite various, all the canticles on okay. it. Then they have to cut the fowl. When they cut the fowl, the fowl have to lie back, which is being, it has been accepted by the deities. Mm. If, it, it been, if it lies on the bare chest, then it means they have not been accepted yet. So oh. they have to continue, cut another one too. Until it lies on the back? Uh, yes. Then you know that it's accepted, accepted by the gods? Yes. I see the fowl behind the lady. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, so this is the, when... A, so that's the fowl. So what do they do the, with the blood of the fowl? They have to put it inside there. They, they, they just put a small drop inside the, the, the traditional list that they have been prepared. Okay. But in some houses, they don't do that. Why? That's where I say, I previously I say, when they are being born, uh, the, uh, the twins are born, they consult them. Okay. So it's the, the spirit of the twins, who, which is going to direct them what to do, the oh. do's and don'ts. Okay. okay. We like this, we don't like this, we don't like so that. So some twins might not like the, the head. They, they, they will still like it, but they will not tell you to put it inside the, inside, okay, the, 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 the basin. Yeah. Uh -huh, or the traditional concussion mm. which is being set up. Uh -huh. Okay. What do and the dummies stand for? Yes. So when they are born, after uh, the, uh, the series of consultation, uh, the consultation is being held, the first ram which is being caught, they use the the uh, the mm -hmm. own. It is the own which is being shared to them. They share the horn of yes. the ram <laughs> so the, to, to the twins. Yes, it represents the uh, the, the first initiation. Oh. Some two doesn't use on, they use the dummies. Ah. <laughs> so the dummies that you see represent the engine, the ko and aquili, or aquete and aquete. Mm -hmm. And some two, when they cut the ram, the ones to represent the twins. The twins. So we say mm -hmm. anji and koji. So when, when they are done with this, do they give the dummies to the parents to keep? Yeah, they keep them. They have some wooden structure, a small wooden shelter where they put them in and wrap it with a nice calico and they go and place it inside maybe a compound house or the traditional house or their but room. Doesn't it make it a god then? So every year, that's what they believe in, which you cannot not take away from them. Mm. Ah. Yes, so that it is their belief. Like a shrine. No, believe in. And this is what we have been accepted to. Mm. Okay. Yes. Wow. So they go and worship it every year? No, they, yes, so every year they have to bring it and go and come and buy, do this purification method mm. for them and they will go and after that, they will send it back. So how long does the rites go on for? Till they leave this earth? Yes. Every year till yes. they die? Till they die. Some, some do it till they die. But some, when at, a, at a point in time, mm -hmm. they can go and go back and consult the deities. Oh, we are tired or we oh. are, or maybe we want to end up here. So we are going to do it for the last time. Oh. oh. Yes, and maybe then they will, that's why they are serious of, of consultation. We mortal human beings cannot, I cannot de demystify all yeah. these processes here. Mm. So in a situation where as time goes on or as the years go by, maybe the horns or the, the dolls that were used, maybe one gets out of place somewhere, one gets missing or something, do you easily replace it? Is it easy to replace them? Yes, but that's why, that's why you have to go back again and go and do these consultations. First, yes. and just be sure. Yes, well, after the consultation, we'll give you directions to do. Mm. 
I see. I'm just wondering, you know, uh, let me start off with a consultation and then we, I go into my next question. The consultation, if they go consulting, they say that the child's future is not that bright. What do you do? Or the child is, you know, a child that does not belong, you know, or will not live long. What do you do? That's why in every society, there are some things that needs to be pacified. They need to pacify the girls. So they have to maybe through that, another direction can be, can be given to them. Then, oh, no, we know this child cannot live long. So these are some of the things that you have to do A, B, C, D okay. for the child to survive. Mm. Yeah, because okay. they believe, uh, they, it is believed twins have some kind of uh, spiritual background which normal human beings doesn't have. Mm. What if you're a Christian? Yes. Now or you and, find Christ on the way? Yes. So I know some IG or uh, twins which they don't do that because they were born typically into a Christian home and they think uh, it is not right for them to do these things. So their parents, initially when they were growing, they say they don't do this, they don't go through these rituals. But what if, what if I started you know, believing in this. And along the way, I found Christ. I've also seen another kind of uh, situation like yeah. that. So what happens? You, do you still go to the deity to tell the deity, um, I found Christ, and so I can't come no. to Christ again? So, so they also take directions through from the church, and the church will tell them what to do. Wow. Either to abandon them or to go and throw them away. Or I see. I, and, and this is quite interesting, I must say, Shedua, because, yeah. um, like I said, it's not every, uh, you know, society that practices the same thing. So it's quite, um, it tells us that our traditions are quite diverse. Yeah. And every tradition is beautiful. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the question that you asked, I wonder if it would be easy for the family to accept. I guess you have twins. You find Christ along the line, like Rosalind mentioned. Would it be that easy for the family to say we are going to, it's not easy? From a typical yeah. uh, traditional okay. society, because they will tell you, also, you know, at a point in time when you are facing difficulties mm. in life, they will tell you, you know, you are supposed That's to That's the reason why. That's the reason why you are facing this predicament and yeah. things are not going well with you. Uh -huh. mm. I know some parents, too, when they give birth to two, instead of, going through this ritual, they abandoned it. Mm. And later on, the man started drinking and there was a consultation. They said it is the twins which, the rights which they abandoned us causing all this predicament. Okay. So they have to go back and go and do it. And whether it stop or not, these are uh, the belief of okay. the parents. So, so, so these are some of the consequences? Yes. Right. So the steps are you go consult, you go ahead and start the rites where they, they put all these things in the pan and all the bath and the, the dummies. And then what's next? So after that, then they prepare a mash yam, which we call the otto, on that very day. And then they have to share the otto with the egg. Oh, the that's egg. where the otto came from? Yes. Mm. So the otto, otto mostly are food for the, the gods. Baby. Yes. But normally they do the one that they mix with the red oil and they mm. do the one which you don't mix with the red oil. Mm. Yeah. So, so people don't, who don't know, for the sake of people who don't know, they'll be wondering if otto is the same as pepe. No, otto is different from pepe. Okay. Otto is prepared with mash yam, while pepe is prepared with corn. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. And the egg that you see also start, is standing for fertility. Yeah. Mm. Because, because, so during this, uh, festival, people come to have a covenant with them. Oh, really? Yes, people come to have a covenant with them that, oh, I'm not working, things are not going well with me. So as I bath this water, I hope by next year, by this time, there should be a breakthrough in my life. I should also have uh, twins. I want to have twins like you people. Okay. And they put a small token in. Uh, yes. And this money is for the children? Is it for the twins or is for? It's for the spirits. So who takes the money? I said the spirits, but yeah, who takes where, the money? When they, when they have eye currency, they remove those eye currency inside, leaving the coins. When they are going to throw the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the, the traditional this thing away, the herbs away. Oh, right. Uh -huh. And normally they are thrown away at a place we call them Kotia. 
the beginning of the town and the end of the town. When you are coming into the town, it becomes as an ent entrance. But when you are going, it becomes an exit. Mm. So every town that you see, we have what we call Kotia. When you are coming into the town or being ushered, ushered into the town, that's the beginning, the main point where you enter. And you, like a gate, you have a gate. Yeah. If you are exiting, you pass through the gate. Yeah. When you are coming to, you pass through the gate. Yeah. So that's where they dispose it. They dispose it. Right. Okay. So this whole uh, right, uh, does it protect or shield the twins in any way from, let's say, evil eyes or from bad health? Does it do that? Yes. That is why I said it is their belief. This is what we believe in. Okay. Which you cannot take it away from them. Okay. Because it is believed that anything that goes wrong with them, because they are not doing something right or they are not doing something wrong, uh, mm. on the right direction. That is why they are facing these difficulties. Mm. So they do a series of consultation. Mm. Okay. And the herbs that you see, we also sang for both spirituality and that of medicinal purposes. Right. Like the nyanina per se. It's used in the first aid treatment of malaria, diarrhea, and fever. But you know, when it comes to spirituality, they drag away, they drive away negative Bad energy. Spirit. Exactly. So I hear they why. speak. Do they speak? Which? Nyanina. I hear they, they have a voice. Yes. So there are people, uh, there are people who study spirituality who speak with them. As mere mortal human beings like we, we don't have those high mm. state. Mm. That's why when you are going to plug those leaves, you speak with them and you put a small token down. Mm -hmm. And they have this that you, this that you have to. Wow. Okay. okay. So let's, let's take a look at what's on the screen. Um, we just want to know what is happening. Um, is this where they are going to dispose of the... Exactly. So okay. this is where they are going to dispose of the, the traditional set up or the leaves, the herb, or the some say concussion. Yes. So they are being led by maybe either a volunteer. This uh, the carriers are all volunteers from the various Oh they are not twins. They are not twins. The twins doesn't carry the herbs. Oh so they are volunteers. Yes. Are they um Akonfo? No, they are not Akonfo. But they are possessed. They look yes. possessed. They are volunteers from the various family where the twins are. Ah okay. Uh -huh. So what you see, this lady maybe is a volunteer. You see the tradition, the one is carrying, it's a wooden okay. one. Okay. That's the natural one, we call it the chisi. Okay. You fall it down, if you can't afford to buy, then you can use the aluminum one. Aluminium, yeah. Uh -huh. But traditionally, they were using the chisi, and they paint it white just to protect that one. But how did they become possessed? Why are they possessed? Uh -huh. So as soon as, because they believe that there's a kind of some spirit, once, once uh, the libation is being poured, is being poured, or the, uh, the high priest has consecrated the leaves. There's kind of what we call transubstantiation, moving from the physical state to the spiritual state. Mm. So it is believed that there's kind of some spirituality behind it. So once libation is poured and is carried into your head, there's kind of some spirit that has entered you. Mm. And then it becomes possessed. Yes, it becomes possessed. So when you Pour it, then the spirit leaves. When you call the, the one leading the delegation who is, who is having the drink, you will tell the spirit, We are done with you to, so you to leave. If you leave everything that is done. We beg you, go to where you are coming you from. You leave immediately. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. but, but some but, spirits too are stubborn. Mm, uh, uh -huh. I'm just, the, the spirits, some are stubborn. Eh? Some are very stubborn. They stay. They stay. Well, like, you know, no, they stay permanently, but in terms of possession, when they are returning back, they can even see another spirit and fight them. Hmm? So it becomes a physical fight. Not a, phys a physical fight, but there's kind of spiritual uh, be spirituality behind it. Oh. Hmm. So this is where they are moving to, where we call, we call this place in Poeno. It's around the Tima Market area, called call Wako side, mm. uh, near the Galaway, which is the Memorial Temple School. Uh -huh. so, as they are going, it's been accompanied with drumming and singing. Right now, it has been kind of the house on fashion. Behind. Some take dress like police officers, some dress like musicians, some dress like, like they kind of add some kind of taste to it. Mm. So uh -huh. it's become like a carnival, like a, a festival. Yes, a carnival. Okay. So there's kind of a strong possession with okay. it. Uh -huh. 
So if we may know, those that volunteer themselves, where the spirit leaves, doesn't it leave some sort of repercussion on them? Because spirit, you have allowed yourself for spirit to come and possess your body. Hey, see, that's why I said when libation is reported, that things goes away. Okay, now we are looking at what is on the screen. Mm -hmm. We see that they pour it, and then people are actually rushing for something in there. What they are, are they picking? They are rushing for the coins. Those small boys are around are rushing for the money in there. To use it for what? Uh -huh. There's no spiritual implications? No, or there's no that? spiritual implication. You oh. can use it to go and buy anything that you want. That's why they are standing Oh, there. okay. So it's just, they just want the money? The money. Ah, I thought maybe there was a reason for picking. No, no, no. no. Oh, the okay. Money. Oh, okay, okay. It okay. becomes like something like Sadaka. Ah, uh -huh. okay. But so, okay, um, let's go back to the, uh, the stubborn spirits, mm -hmm. right? So the ones that do not leave, what then is done to make the spirit leave? Hey, so when they came back then, they asked me another series of consultation uh -huh. with the deities. Okay. It's quite interesting, uh, you know, with okay. what we are watching, because wow. my first time, yeah. I've, I've, I've yeah. actually seen um, excerpts of Twin Festival, but I haven't seen de details of it like this before. Yeah. And so it's very educating, I must say, to see what we are seeing this morning. So the yam, who eats the yam? The yam. The to who eats it? Every, every, any normal person who attended in the festival will eat some of the otto. Yeah, yeah. And who eats the egg? The egg. They, they, they'll give you both the otto and the egg. Okay. And they give you two things. They give you otto, they give you egg. Mm. Once you are there, once, once you are you present and you want to eat you it. You want to eat it. It's okay. not for anything that they force you, but it's willingly. Mm. And they'll give you the otto. Normally, they, 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 they make it in the round form. Uh -huh, like um, something like a round form, then they will just give it to you. Then, or maybe they can put it inside a plate with the egg. Then they will give it to you. Okay. Right now, even some put it in the takeaway to go and take it to their workplace, and people also hey. enjoy it. Wow. Yeah. They go and take the food from. <laughs> uh, no twins. People who don't work. fear. No, it doesn't have any spiritual it implication. Is I see. If you pray over it, you can eat it. That's why you can enjoy it. Oh, what prayer are you praying over? The food it doesn't today? have. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have. Any. <laughs> <laughs> so the, even the fowls which uh, are being sacrificed mm. later on, they use it for stews and. Hey! Oh. Yeah. And the fowl for the gods. Uh, no, it's not for the gods, but it's for the the ceremony. <laughs> so they don't throw it away. You can't throw it away. Even the 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 the, the goods. They don't throw it away. The, what they do is they prepare food with it. Some prepare even fufufu and light soup, and the people that they invited them will come and enjoy with it. The fowl that either falls on the back or on the front, yeah, the that front. same fowl. That's it. Which one were you expecting? I wanted to be. <laughs> Still a rice. And rice. Still a rice, wow. Oh, OK. And at the same time, light soup with fufu. Nice. Which you can enjoy it. I'm sure it has, it ends up having a different taste from the regular ones they cook at home. So it's the same taste. Uh, at this point, you have people coming from various, maybe if they have families, members around, at the yeah, Ranta, yeah, Amasa yeah. Man, they all come around to come and eat, cook this. Mm. Okay. Anyway. Right, right. Anyway. Yeah. So um, I, I would want us to touch on um, the preparations that the twins have to go through before the festival. But it seems we have some uh, comments, Rosalind. Mm. Oh, Actually, I think you can read it better because yeah. I'm not so good. Okay. Uh, so this one says, please, so is the twin festival for the gas or the garden bliss? Yeah, so these are twins festival for the gas, but the celebration also differ from that of Osu. Let me see, when you go to uh, Ingamashi, mm. the festival is only done for a uh, on Friday, it's only once, but also they have a period for it. It could take, let me say, before or previously, like within a month, mm -hmm. depending on the financial background of the parents of the twins. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone says, please, that's my husband. Regards from Adelaide Mensah. Oh, wow. 
to <laughs> Leah uh, he said she says you're a true historian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you a twin? I'm not a twin. Okay. But I've been following the rights for quite a long time. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do they have a, uh, a right for a child born after twins? Criteria. No, we don't. How, how do you call it in Ghana? Tyria. Call Tyria. Tyria. Oh. And we say Tyria. Okay. From Tyria, then we have the Agu. Okay. Then the Abang. Okay. I see. Okay. Um, all right. Next one. He says, oh, well, she continued by saying, please tell him. I love him. Greetings. Age. Okay. <laughs> There's love brewing up in here. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Ni, uh, I mentioned that the preparations that the twins have to go through before the ceremony itself, what do they do? Do they have to do something to their bodies? Do they have to take in something? What exactly goes on? Oh, no, they don't have to take, they don't take in something. But okay. On the D-Day, what they, they apply on their body is clay. Okay. White clay in terms of to preserve the body. And they put a beast on their hand, both black and white beast, signifying a child born in death. Because in Ghana, we believe when you, are, you come with the black hair and you go with the white hair. Mm. Okay. Yes. So it we, signifies life and death. Yes. The black and white. The black and white. Okay. Then the white that you see them put signifies the purity. You talk okay. about purity and victory. Anything victory stands for white. Mm. Mm. Do you have anything like this for triplets, quadruplets? The same thing. Oh, so they can join? They can also join. So they're also Angia. So we call them Opotaiwia. Then it's like a repetition. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're a triplet? Yes. Okay. So the third one is Taria. Uh, Out of the triplets? Opotaiwia. Opotaiwia. So it's actually Taria. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's quite interesting. So for uh, those who want to conceive twins, mm -hmm. when they get there, like you said, they will give some sort of money to the twins. Yes. And then what do they do? But do they, they conceive after that? Some do it. Some get some get twins uh, by practicing this. Or going so you said to, they give money and what else do they do? They give money. Money is only money. Mm. So they, they go in the bath with the water and have a covenant with them. Who oh, next year by this time also want to conceive twins. They bath with the the water. So they bath with the water. Do you have, it, does it have to be both, uh, you know, mother, father that have to bath? Or it, Not necessarily. The it could be the, the, the mother can do, the man okay. can also do. Okay. On behalf of the family. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Because it is believed that uh, in Ghana culture, the egg stands for fertility. That's why they even add some of the egg into the, the traditional basin. Do they swallow the egg? They don't swallow it. Okay. Yeah. They can chew it. They can. Okay? No, that egg, they will dump that egg away. That's, a, that's the one they dump. But what about the one with the yam? That one you swallow? That, no, you don't swallow. You, you eat it. Eat it raw. Uh, okay. So they cook that one. So they have a special meal. On that day, they have a special meal they do for the day. And the special meal they serves the people. The people. Okay. Uh -huh. So after everything has been done in the house, then they will sweep everything in the compound and put it inside the, the, the traditional basin before they go and dump it. Okay. It's like they are carrying all yeah. the, the the spirits, the luck, and everything, and they are going to dump them. When you say earlier, you, you mentioned they bath the water. Yes. When you say bath, do you mean like they just fetch some, apply on their face, their hands, yeah. or they pour it? No, 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 fetch no, no, and pour. no, no. It's like a normal cleansing, going through mm -hmm. a cleansing process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not like necessarily going and bath with them. Yeah. I know some wives who has also been accepted into the Ghana tradition system. Uh, okay. Yes, they are twins. Some are from Canada, some are UK. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So they normally also come and practice this same system. Okay. And when they are not here, they normally uh, they will send money, they will do it, and we will normally pour the small, some, apply some small water into uh, a votive bottle and send it to them. Mm. Uh -huh. so, so like, not necessarily bath, but like you apply it like, going through some kind of ablution. Right, yeah. right. But with them, there is no way that they could be possessed by the gods or by no, the gods. No, no. No way. Yes. Your situation is different. You are going there to ask for mm -hmm. something. Mm. Yes. Mm. The possession only comes in when they are going through. To, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's quite interesting. So what we just discussed, which part of Ghana practices that particular one? It, it cut across Gadangwe. What we just yes, about but it differ, yes, it okay. differ between 
the various Ghana nations. Okay. When you go to Teshi, they also have maybe even though there's kind of similarities mm. across them. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we have some comments. Uh, this one says, as a father of two beautiful twin girls, I find this conversation interesting. Chrissy Reynolds in Agona Odobin. Thank you very much for that one. Next one. Um, okay. This one says, would there be any problem to the twins if I don't do anything to them? Is it true if I don't get the teria, my twins will die? Is it true? Is it no, true? it's not true. Oh. It's not true. Okay. I've only seen only twins, Aku and Aku and Aku and and that's the only child they, mm. they mother gave birth to. to. Oh. Okay. All right. And this is a yearly thing. It happens every year. It happens every year. But then as, as time goes on, you can choose to say, do the consultation and say that I am tired. I don't want this to continue anymore. So it should stop. So what if you go and the God says that you have to continue? That's another issue, <laughs> which we have to ask the deities why they said they should continue. Hmm. Mm. Very interesting. Because there are some things me and me are more than human beings. Yeah. It's not everything I can, I can demystify on air. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So assuming we have twins here, yeah. like they are supposed, they can tell us much. Much. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I think we should invite some callers in there because sometimes what we do the questioning, you might have a question at home that you want to ask. And uh, so send your messages. Messages are coming in, but let's activate the phone lines and let's hear from the host's own mouth. Ask your questions. We need here to answer all the questions. Uh, very educating, I must say. Quite intriguing. Uh, cultures are different. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's something very. Else. So... Do, do do send in your message or call us. Actually, the phone line is activated, especially if you're a twin. Share your thoughts on this with us, okay? What do you think about the beautiful twin tradition or twin festival that happens right here in Greater Akka? Pardon me, I'm actually glued to the video that we are showing on our video uh, on our TV over here. So it's like, was it what we're talking about? My face is elsewhere. I'm actually glued to what's happening. Yeah, I'm I glued see, to it as yeah, well. I see some of the youth holding uh, sticks, cutlasses, and all that. Why? That's why I said right now they are attached to this kind of, it's more of a um, carnival. Uh -huh. uh, you see, various groups of various fashion within the Gamashi enclave, they all follow suit and they, like they want to entice the. the yeah. yeah. Okay. The kind of oh, some even use structure. calabash. Yes, it's also uh -huh. allowed. Okay. Mm, some use calabash. Some use the chisi. Okay. Mm. So what is the woman doing right now? She put her foot on She's the calabash. She's a priestess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we go to pour libation. Okay. Oh, all that we did, we have come to dump it here. Yeah. Let's say by this time we hope all, everything should be well for us. Then we will leave. So we see they are getting the yeah, coins. Yeah, the uh, coins. The coins. Yeah. Uh, uh, so What's these it? are part of the carnival aspect. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right. The carnival, the music aspect, the artistic mm. impression of the okay. The festival. I saw something, though, when the, chief, when the priestess, uh, after she was done, she threw the calabash. Yes. W what does that signify? Some, they don't want to retain anything. Oh, okay. That's why I said before... Uh, the festival, they will have to do a series of consultations mm -hmm. with the twins. So they are going to give the direction. Mm. After we did, don't retain anything. Okay. Don't bring something back to the house yeah. again. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. This is very interesting. So is there a proper celebration that is that happens after this whole rites is done? Oh, after that, then they will go back and do, and and do their merrymaking, the parks, <laughs> the food, the the beer bars. Yeah. The, uh, okay. The so apart course. from the beads that you said that they wear, the beads, do they have to wear their whole life? The black and white beads? Yeah, you have to wear it. It just go out. You have to, you don't need to cut it with a blade. It is scissors. So it can be batting with it and all of a sudden then... It will fall off. Fall off. So it's for protection, right? Not for, for protection per se, but it's part of the rituals. Okay. But do they have anything they give to them to wear for protection, twins? Maybe a bangle or something? No, 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 no. Nothing. Okay. 
All right, I think we should answer the call first, let's see to us. Okay, we have a phone call, okay. Mm. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Please, can you hear me? Okay, whilst we get that sorted out, we have um, some messages, so let me take this one. Uh, this twin rights are not only uh, done by Ga, the Fantis also do that, which we call Terry, Terria Abam. I hope okay, I got, I got to write. Okay. Terria Abam. Abam. Okay. Okay. Next one, hi, good morning. Please, I'm Justina from Ejoso. Please, I want to ask, is this tradition only for twins? What about triplets and quadruplets? Uh, Rosalie asked that, and that question has been answered. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's yes. It is done for them as well. Mm. Actually, yeah. they have to join the twin festival. They have, they so have they don't join, have yeah. triplets festival, yeah. not quadruplets yeah, 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 festival, yes. but they join the they twin yeah. festival. So, um, Black was on the line. I don't know if Black is still there. Hello, Black. Okay, Black, when do you... Uh, please try and call us back. So... You can ask your question or contribute towards this program. I, 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 I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, um, is, there, is there an age limit to it? No, it doesn't it's have an age limit. Mm -hmm. So you have to be that, it can be done. Uh, it can be done. So maybe if one like pass like away, so then so. Yeah, maybe one can pass. I know some things who are, one is in the in his 90s, but the other lady has passed away. And he still does it? It's so that so, but right now because of financial constraints, when you read that, they will just fall like this, you know, because you are not here, mm. you can't go. So wherever you are, may also rest in peace. Then. We have the caller. Okay. Do I think you should answer that call? Hi, good morning. If you can hear me, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right, talk to us. What question do you have? Okay. I am, my siblings are twins, eh? and then, I, yeah, um, from us, we are from the car, um, we are from the dance. So, we are twins, but I'm not a twin, and I'm the oldest. But then, when they were going to do the traditional rites for them, they added me. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, I want to ask, is that also right? Okay, okay, okay. Then, then. Oh, You are the head. So okay. once you, you are the head, you have to make sure that the right is being done in the proper way. Okay. That's why they added you. Okay, yeah. quite interesting. Yeah. What yeah. about the, the teria? Do they add teria too, sometimes? So, yes, yeah, sometimes. Okay. Because they all take, when we have the teria, they all take part in the celebration. Okay. But okay. the main focus is on the, the, uh, the twins. Mm. Yeah. You said financial constraint earlier. Yeah. Um, does it mean that they have to pay to be a part of it? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Let me see. We don't have money anymore. Like, what I said was, uh, we have twins in their old age, and maybe one has passed away. And because of we don't have money, we can just fall like this. And we mm. fall like this. And so, right now, because we don't have money, you know, <laughs> you've gone and leave me. I don't have money, so I pray that wherever you are, may your soul rest in peace. And oh, yeah. okay. So it's like you do it on behalf of your twin. Yes. All right. So as an adult, does it become your responsibility to pay for the rights to be done? When we can, yes. Okay. When you were kids, it's the parents it's that the parents take, that uh, do, it. do it. And any time there's a death in the family too, they have to postpone it to maybe no more of years, like five years. There's a death. Yes, within the, if your parents, if I'm a twin, uh -huh. and my, one of my parents pass away, uh -huh. we have to postpone the celebration. Mm. We call it Odo. Why? Because it is believed that calamity has befallen us. So we have to wait. Five years? Wow. Yes. Just in case somebody else passes? Yes. Ah. A close relative okay. yeah. pass within the family. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so I think we have a caller on the line. Hi, good morning. Hi there, can you hear me? Good morning. Please, how are you? I'm fine, you? We are doing awesome. Well, we can tell that you're listening to yourself on TV. Can you please mute it so we have a very smooth conversation, okay? Can you mute it? Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Yes. Um, please, you have a train. <laughs> Oh, anyway, uh, okay. if we can call back, we'll be grateful because I think he had a question, but he didn't ask the question. So uh, those of you at home who have a question for me, probably we have just about, what, um, two minutes to go. So yeah. maybe we can answer just one more call. With this festival, had to yeah. see during that day, they only see the socioeconomic impact of the festival mm. because you have people who also invest in selling this lease. Mm. Ah. Uh, so it becomes it's, a business. It's sold. Yes, it's sold. Okay. You have to go and buy it in the air from the egg seller yeah. to the red oil palm seller. The yam seller. The yam seller. Uh -huh. The pubs. Yeah. The one who said the calico. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, quite, okay. quite interesting. Anyway, mm. we have another caller on the line. If you don't. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? I'm blessed, yeah. No, right. Great. Talk to us. Um, I'm saying. Uh, if there is a twin, mm. and then the twin has passed, and they are siblings, which is the Aban, and then let's say the Ambo, do they still continue doing the tradition? Okay. So I wanted to know which one has passed. Is it Aban or your co? No, the twin sister. The twin sister. The twin themselves. You know, the twin was born, the twin were born, and then one passed on. And then the second was, the second also passed on after some time. And then the, the Aban and the Agu, they still continue doing the, 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 the right. celebration. Okay. Uh, do they, is it important for them to still do that, uh, this, the, 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 the celebration? Yes. So in this case, in this case, there are scenarios where it's not important. They can abandon it. Mm. Yes, because it's only celebrated uh, by the twins, mm. and they are the main spearhead of this celebration. Mm. But because maybe, as, as, as I said earlier on, they are series of consultation. Maybe when they died, they went and consult. They have been informed by their mm. uh, sisters or brothers to continue. The yeah. Okay. Okay. Quite interesting. Okay. Okay. So the spirits can actually speak. Yes. To them. That don't stop. <laughs> so continue. They are, you have to go and consult. And consultation is done. But they are dead. The end. Yeah, so they are dead. So yeah. whatever they tell you, you just go ahead and do it. And this is what they believe in. That's yeah. why I said this is what they believe in. Yeah. You can never wow. take it away from them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So it might not be wrong that they are doing the right on behalf yes. of the dead twins. Because yes. I know people, when mm. the twins die, then it's mm. okay. They don't do it again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Once, because, because they are the main spirit of the yeah. celebration. Okay. So once they are dead, they are dead. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. But because they are born in I mean, did they have gone behind the scene and or the back end to do a consultation? And they have been told to continue. Yeah. That's why they are still doing it. And also, uh, <laughs> okay. I think we have another caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, please. What's your name? My name is Rebecca. Okay, please talk to us. I'm a northerner and I'm married to a fancy guy. Okay. And we are having, we are having peace. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, again? please. Continue, Rebecca. And so, I'm just listening to your audition. I don't know. Are the fancies and the fancies they also do the same tradition as we are doing at Arabic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is it and our twins they are about four years old, we did not do that yet. Is it right for them to also take part of the some of the rituals as we are showing in Cali? Mm. See? Yeah, this festival is mostly basically for the Ghan traditional mm. area. I don't know what the fancies also do at their end, even okay. though maybe they may share similarities among mm. them. Mm. Yes, but what I know about the Ghana tradition system is what I'm here yeah, to sharing. I'm sharing to you. Okay. Mm. All right. Like I, this own question was more of uh, the fancy, fancy side, the fancy yeah. side, which I may not probably know much about that mm. side. Roberta, I hope your question has been answered, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can still join us. I think we have a little bit of um, time to answer some questions. Yeah. And so let's go to Ashaman and have a conversation with Belinda. Hello. 
Hello, beautiful. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great, talk to us. Okay, please, I'm going to one. Please speak up a bit for us. It's a bit of a struggle to hear you. Okay, I wanted to ask, if one pass, one brain pass out immediately after death, would that right still continue? Hmm. When one twin passes, will that still continue? Yeah, I have repeated this question. <laughs> <laughs> so what but it looks like that is uh, people's main focus. <laughs> yeah, so when there's a death, like, they have to postpone, they have to put on hold on the, uh, mm -hmm. the rituals for some time. Yeah. Then, as time goes on, they have to go another behind the scene and go and consult, consult yeah. before whether we have to continue or yeah. not. Okay, so we hope your question has been answered. It's quite a... It's quite a beautiful one, I must say. I've never been to any family okay. just yet. This year, when is it happening? So it happens a day before the climax of the Moro Festival. Okay. So okay. A it mostly happens on Friday okay. and Saturday is the Moro Festival. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, because the arrival of the twins by Dengam in the mm. Gese Manche was on Friday. So which areas are we looking at having it this year? Maybe some of us will want to go there? They're mostly the Gamashi one, so this is basically the Gamashi one. Okay, so which area is it? So we have the it, Gamashi, that's why Gamashi is made up of seven quarters. Yes, so, so we have the Gbisi, Gubi, Gbisi, Abula, Asene, Otublo, okay. Akamaji. So, like Kinti, this can be like Choco? No. Choco is not Gamashi. Choco is not Gamashi. So, this is like Osu. No, this is not so Gamashi is uh, let me say probably Jamestown. Uh -huh. Jamestown in Asha Town. Uh -huh. uh, but original name is Jam uh, Gamashi. Okay. It so was Jamestown. The, uh, it was the Asha colonial Town. masters who the settlement then they changed this place to they changed their site where they were living, British where they were living. To Jamestown. They named Jamestown where the Dutch were living, they named Dutch Accra. Okay. So where is Dutch Accra? Dutch Accra is basically where they, uh, we have the Asha Fort. Oh. The, the Asha Fort, that area is Dutch Accra. Okay. It's made up of Bisi, Asine, Utublum, and Abula. Ah. And Jamestown is made up of Ignatia uh, Lata, where the Manchagona, the party, uh -huh, the lighthouse. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That side. Uh -huh. uh -huh. St. Pete, they were living there. And we have even Dutch Accra. We have Danish Accra, which is Osu. Ah, Danish Accra is Osu. Osu. <laughs> so Accra. Let's go on the line and have a conversation. <laughs> Hi there, good morning. Morning. Kindly introduce yourself to us. Hello. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, okay, mm, mm. okay. Yeah. Hello? Okay, okay. Oh, that is not so bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 so you see how Accra was divided by the colonial masters. Mm. Oh, so, yeah. so the front is our part of Accra? Front is, no, yeah. they are not part of Accra. Okay. Yeah. Even but, though uh, we have some fighting immigrants who later came to settle in Accra. Okay. Like Abura, they came, to, they came from Abura in the central region. Oh. But we call them here as Abula. Oh, okay. Mm. Danish Accra. <laughs> Osu. Osu is Danish Accra. Osu is Danish Accra. <laughs> because do. We have a lot of Denmark people in there that time. They build the, uh, the castle. Yeah. Ah. It, it was first started by the, the Swedish, then they sold it to the Danish. The Danish. And they upgraded it to, it, at that time it was a lodge. Mm -hmm. Then they upgraded it to a fortress, mm -hmm. then later to become a castle. Hmm. Quite interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Quite interesting. Okay. Uh, I mean, the guard tradition is very beautiful. Yeah. All right, so another call on the line. Oh, okay. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I just want to first say I am enjoying watching Prime a morning. I am from the United States, but I live here. Oh, okay. I really enjoy this morning. Her show, and I'm particularly enjoying the guy historian giving right. information. I am an educator, 
And all this information is very vital, mm. very vital, and it should be uh, uh, included into the curriculum. Mm. So the traditions and the culture will be passed on. And again, I just really enjoy this information and learning more about the culture, the culture in uh, here in uh, in Ghana. I'm from the I'm from the United States, mm. and I'm an educator, and I'm really enjoying so everything that you're learning. I want to teach you. You just you just love the culture. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Maya, right, thank, thank you so you. much for calling. And, uh, you know, uh, one question that has come in uh, from one of the viewers, wondering if the men have a different way of being celebrated as twins and the women have different ways of being, cel being celebrated. Mm. The same thing. Okay. What is being done for the female is being done for the male. Mm. <laughs> Except, exception with the dressing. Okay. Mm, Do they yeah. actually have a style of... Dressing? No, now it has been fashionized. They even so dress, you can even see somebody that they have some twins for them. Every year they bring in new styles. Yeah. Yeah. I saw them, I saw their picture earlier on. Yeah. I wanted to bring them up, but it <laughs> wasn't. Uh, so. I see. Mm -hmm. So some I, of them are popular. Some of them are very popular. And I know one parents to who dress his children like a police officer, then the next time they will change it to be a legal uh, practitioner. Hey. In the following year, we change to a, a medical doctor. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, people, they are having fun with it. Exactly. Yeah. They but will go and, go and even Sorry. count. Yes, Patricia. <laughs> hey, talk to yeah. us. Hello? Patricia, lower the volume on your television set for us, please. I'm from the center. OK, please lower the volume on your television set. Okay. Uh, I, want, I wanted to talk about the, uh, the twins. Okay, the talk to us. Center region. You have Capra and twins, and the following one is Kevia, and the following one is Abam. Mm -hmm. So, as for, we also do the same traditional thing for them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's we great. We do it, yeah. Uh, the festival is for Abam. Okay. So okay. it happens once a year. Oh, something like that. That's like, yeah, but thank you so much for calling. Uh, to all our viewers that called today, we are very grateful. So, yes. I saw yeah. the most. Uh, the, yeah. the okay. okay. Yeah, the one of them was famous. So uh, is that? Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. All right. So, Ni, uh, thank you so much for being here. It's been very educative. I've learned so much today, I must say, and uh, you're a true historian. <laughs> Not quickly, before we go, so I noticed something in the video. Uh, some of the uh, women who were carrying uh, the twins on their shoulders, they would touch the basing before. Why did uh, they touch it? So during possession, uh -huh. maybe the one, or they will see maybe an elderly woman or any person within the family uh -huh. who's also standing by or a passer by, which maybe the spirit has move the person to go to that person. So when you read it, just touch it. Touch it. Okay. Touch it oh, and okay. put maybe a token inside. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. That's beautiful. So this all time will permit us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in with us right here on Fire Morning. We always say that we bring you nothing but the best of everything that you need to be abreast with. My name is Asia Dua Komia and... Mine is Rosa Feli. We'll be back again tomorrow <laughs> morning on your screens. And me, thank you once again yes, for being you. here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye! <laughs>
Welcome to a brand new week. Uh, this is a significant week that leads to Palm Sunday, the triumphant entry of the Lord Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. So my teaching this week will be tracking, uh, first we begin with a prophecy leading to the triumphant entry, and then we'll be tracking the different steps that Jesus took leading to his entry to Jerusalem. So we start with a prophecy in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. Zechariah is known as the prophet of hope. God raised him at a time when there was so much despair in Israel uh, to speak life and to bring words of encouragement uh, to his people. There were prophecies that he gave concerning the times they were living in, and then there were prophecies he spoke about the future of God's dealings with mankind. And so this prophecy of his was a messianic prophecy. That means it was pointing to the coming Messiah. And he says that uh, in this prophecy that there will be a savior king who would enter into Jerusalem. And if you look at the prophecy, the inhabitants of Jerusalem are called the daughters of Jerusalem. Uh, we don't want to look at that uh, in an exclusive way to say that he's only talking to women, but the phrase daughter of Jerusalem uh, in the scriptures, and it could be daughter of another place, means inhabitants of the place. So uh, we don't just look at it as talking to the women of Jerusalem, but the inhabitants of Jerusalem, daughter of Jerusalem. And it says that your king comes to you. And that's a very strong statement uh, because normally uh, it's the subjects who go to the king. The king doesn't go to his subjects. But then in this passage, the king is coming to us. And that shows us the the effort that God made for our salvation. It wasn't us looking for him. It was him looking for us. The king comes to seek and to save that which was lost. So the king comes to us. In Christianity, God reaches out to man for salvation. In several other religions, man is trying to reach to God for salvation. But in Christianity, God is the one who comes to us and offers us salvation. So your king is coming to you. And then it says a few things about the king, that he's a just king, and uh, he is also a humble king. And so this king who is coming is not coming as an overlord to rule it over people, uh, to dominate them, but he's a king who is a servant king. He's coming to serve. And that was the mission of Jesus Christ. He was a king who was lowly, a king who was humble, and a king who came to serve. And the sign of his lowliness, the sign of his humility, was how he approached. In, in the days that this passage was written, kings entered cities uh, when they had conquered or they had come from a conquest. But in this uh, situation, the king had not conquered yet, but he's entering. And he's not entering on a horse, but on a donkey, which was the animal of choice for riding for poor people. Now, 
the reason why Jesus entered Jerusalem in triumph when he knew he was going to die was because he was very much aware that the entry to Jerusalem was going to work out the purposes of God. And so as far as Jesus was concerned, entering Jerusalem was a triumph. In entering Jerusalem, he had brought victory to God's people. So today we can also look at that lowly king who came to us and reached out to us and offered us salvation. Your king comes to you riding on a donkey. What a king, what a lord. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, your love for me knows no boundaries. Thank you for reaching out to me when I was far away from you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So we set the tone, we look at the prophecy today, and from tomorrow we'll start looking at the steps Jesus took headed to Jerusalem. I'll be with you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you. is brought to you by Trump for Trading Enterprise, the home of quality air conditioning. Pinky tongue tomato mix. Kaka kaka. Na ye bebre. Drink Kalipo, the natural fruit juice drink. Hey, Sohani, what is this? I ordered coffee, not tea. You ordered tea. Oh, I see. So you're saying that I'm lying. Hey, bro, forget it. She has suffered a lot. That's why she has mixed up your order. <laughs> you're absolutely right, buddy. She loves Ranveer but got married to Ansh. Madam, has your love story ended or we stand a chance too? <laughs> Anything apart from coffee? Well, I want a lot of things, but for now, get me two sandwiches. Same for me. For me too, bro. Three sandwiches. You eat the sandwich. I'm going. I'm not hungry. No. Hey, wait. No, wait, no, no. Wait. no, 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 no. I will leave. Go. <laughs> what you said just now. I'm sorry, Ranveer. I, I was just joking with her. Sorry.
Ranbir, what do you want? Why are you following me again and again? Because you said we couldn't walk together. Had you hopped onto my bike, we would have reached home early. Ranbir, please leave me alone. Nope. I will not leave you alone until you learn to fight your battles by yourself, Suhani. So until that time, I'll keep on hovering around you. Just like your shadow. To protect you all the time. I'm glad that on Ranveer's behest... What? What did you say? Where is Suhani? That's what I'm asking you. What happened? Just tell me, does anyone leave the job in one day? What? Suhani quit her job? Why, Mr. Mishra? Because of you. Excuse me? Why are you after Suhani? Huh? Why don't you leave her alone? You know that. You know that she can't come to college if you are around her all the time. Ranveer, she quit her job only because of you. You know that she won't be able to help us with the rent and house expenses if she doesn't work. What are you thinking? I'm talking to you, Ranveer. You know Kundan, the second year student, he said that he saw Ranveer, that to riding your bike. Ranveer? What the hell, Ranveer? Where is my bike? How could you take my bike without my permission? Do you know I have to come by bus? If you want to take control of life, then get the habit of traveling by bus. Go and share this philosophy with someone else. I won't travel by bus. Tell me, where is my bike? I sold your bike. And I got this money by selling it. Use it to manage your house for a few days. And find a job before you run out of money. Are you out of your mind, Ranveer? Huh? How could you sell my bike like that? And who are you to tell me if I should get a job or not? 
You know, if I were you, then let alone bike, I would have sold myself for Swami. So that she could study peacefully. What kind of a man are you? Hmm? Sitting at home comfortably and making a wife work? Despite knowing the fact that her studies are being affected? Until you find some sort of job? Just be a pedestrian until that time. It's good for health, you know. So travel by bike only when you are able to afford your own bike. Between our tug of war, Suhani will suffer, Ranbir. Because I used to drop her to the college by my bike. But now, she will be forced to travel by bus because of you. <sighs> you stop worrying about Suhani. I will drop Suhani to college on my bike. Until then, you struggle to catch a bus or you struggle for life. I don't really care about that. Continue. You will become the best doctor of the country if you prepare good food. By the way, have you decided what you want to become? A master chef or a doctor? Or are you staring at me? Did I ask anything wrong? Do you want to become a master chef or a best doctor? Because whatever one does to become a doctor, you're not putting those efforts. Right? Because you're so busy preparing food, finding a job. So finally, have you decided to become a doctor or a master chef? Looks like your training needs to be started in the kitchen itself. It will surely give you value for money. The steak and little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom tomato make me. Me ha rice and to soda. Then I need any dear sun It's the customer's bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and rich tomato mix. This advert is FDA approved. And it shall be given unto you a good measure, mm -hmm. pressed down, yes. shaking together mm. and running over, will be poured into your lap. For the measure you use, it shall be measured unto you. Luke, Luke 6, 38. Thou shalt not beat around the bush. If it will tell you you want, ask, and it shall be given to you. <laughs> Is it a Life is sweeter when you give from the heart. Frutally, the all-natural fruit juice. This advert is FD. Welcome to the sizzling world of Big Chef Season 3, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with your innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship, and the joy of cooking together. And that's the true recipe for pure happiness. Tune in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 5 p.m. and follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together. Big Chef, good meals by kids. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Talk Cooking Oil, Endomie, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market and Aromic Three Lights.
Salvation, healing, miracles. The Accra Sports Stadium is about to witness the unmistakable power of God. Be healed. Be healed of weakness. Be healed of diseases. Be delivered from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills is here with us again. Mark your calendars. It's 29th March, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yes, the Good Friday Miracle Service this year is happening at the Accra Sports Stadium. Experience the power of the cross and the efficacy of the blood as we come together to mark the great sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills, 29th March 2024, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Be there. Executive Chef JD, please, what do you have for us? Today I have the Wells White Indomie. Hey. Today, our task is Indomie Challenge. Indomie, it's all about Indomie. Hey. Trust me, Madam Love. For me, it's tasteless, but I like the golden color of your omelet. You help somebody on roadside to cook Indomie? Trust me, this one I'll buy it and buy it again. Hey! Okay, he's a Monica man. Chef <laughs> Kofi, I think you should join him. More. Worldwide Indomie. But then you have burnt egg. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, your God? Are you calling your God now? Big Chef as this Sunday at 5 p.m. on Joy Prime. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Toe Cooking Oil, Endomie, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Aromic We Lights. Another moment for us to enjoy another exciting episode of UCMAS Vitamox TV Quick. What time is it? Stitching. What happened? You don't know how to stitch? Why? Because you missed the class. Why? Because they were busy finding a job. Why? Don't you want to become a doctor? Pay attention. By the way, you left the job at the canteen. I'm sure you must have applied for another job. Can I know where are you gonna work? Come on, tell me now. What's the use of hiding? I have got a job in Seven Star Travel Agency. Very good. But a very bad job. 
Your reputation of that agency isn't good. Not only you, but no girl should work over there. You will not work there. That is why I didn't wish to tell you. I knew you would say something like this. You wish I should work at a place where you can see me every time and see me working. As far as reputation is concerned, you two aren't so good. In that case, I should stay away from you. I will work in Seven Star, and I don't want your interference in that. I'm talking to you, Ranveer. Are you listening to me? Yes, I am. You do what you feel is right, and I will do what I feel is right. You complete this one. Last knot will be a square knot. Relax, so honey, relax. Chant the name of the goddess. Everything will be fine. Well, I need this job at any cost. I have already left the canteen job. I have to earn money if I have to leave that house. <sighs> Ooh, you're looking beautiful. But do one thing. Open the top button. You see, it doesn't uh, match with the style of the outfit. No, I will not leave you alone until you learn to fight your own battles, Suhani. Sir, I'm not comfortable. To be honest, I'm not comfortable in this outfit. Please allow me to change this outfit, and I promise, I will give my hundred percent in this work. Oh, come on, Suhani. Don't pretend to be so modest. Who are you? All the girls over here wear this kind of outfit. Now, come on. Bring some confidence on your face. This is what we need here. And mind it. You have signed the contract of this company. It is clearly mentioned that you will respect all the policies of this company. And this outfit is a part of that policy. How will the customer get happy if you don't perform well? How will the sale of the company increase if the customer is not happy? If there is no increase in the sale, then how will I pay salary to you and the rest of the employees? Got it? Now do your job and keep smiling. Hello, madam. I want to book a ticket. She is fine. So, where do you want to go? Wherever you want. We will go over there. Yes. The company must be very good. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you will have to tell me the destination. Look, we want to go to Singapore. But if you come with us, then we'll go to Bangkok too. Huh? <laughs> Sir. Sir, what are you doing? Leave my hand. What if I don't let it go? Huh? Then you will suffer a lot. Please leave from here. Behave yourself, Suhani. Don't you know? The customer is our god, and you are asking them to go. Um, I am extremely sorry, sir. You, you please book the ticket. <laughs> we will book our tickets, but let's ask Madam's name first. 
Hey, tell me. So what is your name? So Ani, go inside and change your dress. Until then, I'll give them the name, address, and phone number, everything. So Ani, go inside. told you not to work here, right? If you want to work, then you have to work in the canteen. Or else you'll focus on your studies, alright? Despite of everything that happened, you don't get it. Okay. You won't see me in the canteen from tomorrow. But you will work only in the canteen. According to that, Suhani, canteen is safe. At least no one will dare to misbehave with you in the college. But I can understand why you don't wish to work there. Come on, let me apply oil on no, your No, no. Come on, sit down. But sit. You don't need to. Suhani, when one can't find a solution for themselves, it's very important to keep the mind calm. Ranveer is very short-tempered, but he respects women a lot. And I don't think when he is around, you will have any problem doing a job over there. Suhani, if you have even little respect for me, then please, don't even think of doing any other job, Suhani, and just go and do the job at the canteen. You will have a job also? and your studies won't get affected much. to the sizzling world of Big Chef season three, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with their innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship, and the joy of cooking together. And that's the true recipe for pure happiness. Tune in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 5 p.m. and follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together. Big Chef, good meals by kids. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Talk Cooking Oil, Endomy, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Aromic Three Lights. Another moment for us to enjoy 
another exciting episode of UC Mass Vitamin TV Quiz. What time is it? It's UC Mass time. Yeah! 0.4, 8.4, minus 4.2, 0.9, 4.4, minus 7.8, 9.9, 4.5, .9, 0 0.1, 0 0.7. That's it. <laughs> Minus one, two, three, eight. Minus nine, seven, eight. Minus three, one, eight. That's it. <laughs> you see, mass education with a difference. My name is Possible. I represent the ex on BNPA show. Like, I'm representing all the skinny guys, you know. They say I'm increasingly annoying. But what you gotta do? You gotta stick and watch. Nanya Kofi, representing the balls. Smooth with it from BNPA. I'm M. On the BNPA show, I represent the buzzer guys and I keep it real. And I am the P, representing the pot belly on the BMPS show. My name is Kofi Hayford, and I drive the conversation. Intriguing, interesting, raw, rugged, bug provoking, you name them. It's the BMPS show on Joy Prime, the ultimate experience. Season 5 of the BMPS show is coming soon on Joy Prime. The BMPS show is brought to you by Johnny Walker Black Label, Big Bold Flavor. Johnny Walker, keep walking. So, honey, there is no problem in taking a lift. He's also going to the college, right? But Suhani is ready for the job at the canteen. But it's no ifs and buts, dear. What did we discuss yesterday? Come, Suhani. I will drop you to the college. Whose bike is that? None of your business. It's my business, therefore I'm asking. Whose bike is that? I have rented it. Then Suhani will never sit on that bike. Why won't she? Come, Suhani. Wait, Suhani. I had asked you to earn money, not to splurge money. I didn't sell you bikes so that you waste your money here and there. If you really have guts, then go and find a job and earn money from it. Buy a bike with that money and then Suhani will ride on your bike with you. Till then, Suhani will go to college on my bike. Come, Suhani. I dare you, Suhani. And you, you can't stop me from dropping my wife to the college. Come, Suhani. Guys, please don't fight. I'll go to college by bus. There is no need. And you don't need to worry about Suhani when I'm there. I can take care of my family. Oh, really? Well, in that case, why are you staying in my house with your family? Tell me. Just take your family and go somewhere else. Now, why are you guys making a mountain out of a molehill? You both have to go to the college. Whether Ainz drops or Ranveer, how does it matter? Dear Suhani, you go to college with Ranveer. Go. Trust me, Suhani. I have said that after giving it a thought.
Tom, what have you done? You insulted me in front of him. Anj, then what else would I do? The matter would have extended and we would have had to pack our stuff and leave right away. And you also don't want this, right? Mom, I will anyhow buy a bike with my own money. Ranveer, I need to discuss something with you. I don't know how to begin. Tell me. You can tell me anything frankly. Ranveer, whenever I look at you, I just think, I wish my Ansh was as sensible as you. Your mom has really instilled very good manners in you, Ranveer. I just want that even my Ansh knows how to respect women just as you. He learns to take care of his responsibilities. He should know how to take care of his mother and wife. I don't want Suhani alone to work and Ansh. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. Ranveer, please. Do something such that... So that my Ansh realizes his own responsibilities in life. And this only you can do, Ranveer. You please don't worry, auntie. Neither I can see a mother upset. And not so honey. Dad, I want to study further. I want to fulfill my dream. You want to study? Then study, my dear, and fulfill your dream. If you're missing her so much, then why don't you talk to Sohani once? What is it? What is that sound? Haven't you reached home yet? Mom, I am still in the college. Still? Yes, Mom. Actually, there are extra classes in college. So, we have to stay longer. We get late. Mom, is Dad okay? Yes, he's fine. But he's worried about you all the time. He keeps thinking. What if Ranveer is bothering you again? Tell him I'm absolutely fine. Dad is... He may show anger on the outside. But I know how much he loves me. Tell him I can take care of myself. Don't worry about me. Mom? Is Dad around? I'm really sorry to hurt you. Please forgive me. But Dad, don't worry at all about me. And I will leave the house as soon as possible. Mom, my class will begin. I will talk to you later on. Sudha, Suhani is not saying anything, but she seems to be worried from within. Suhani is not in a good state, Sudha. I have to meet her and speak with her. Ranveer! He's on the field since morning. First he was running for himself and now for them. Throw it! Throw it! 
Come, let's go eat something in the canteen. Yes, bro. Even I am hungry. Let's go. I won't be in the canteen from tomorrow. But you will only work in the canteen. No, I'm not hungry. Hey, why not? Let's go. You haven't eaten anything. Come. I don't want to go to canteen. You can go and eat. Excuse me. Hi. Two coffee, one sandwich. Poor Ranveer. He's working so hard in the ground since morning. Yes, bro. He hasn't eaten anything since morning. I asked him to come to the canteen with us and eat something. But he refused to come. Poor fellow. And you know, he's such a stubborn man. He won't eat even if we take anything for him. He might agree if the person whom he obeys does something for him. Excuse me, please. Where are the first year extra classes going on? Extra class of first year? But there is no extra class today. I am in the first year too. There is an extra class. My daughter Swani Sharma is in the first year and she told me that there is an extra class. Swani is my classmate. She isn't in the class. You please go there, uncle. She is in the canteen. No, no. My daughter is not amongst the one who spends time in the canteen. Uncle, Swani does a part-time job in the canteen. You please go there. Ranveer, you have been running since long. Have something and drink this. Otherwise, you will have dehydration. Pass the ball. Juice. What is dad doing over here? Nika, can you come over? Make a chop love and tuna. Don't be, don't be changing the lyrics to the song. Make a chop love and tuna. Kwame Yuji must give us a proper showdown. Look at us. He just slowed down and let us down. What is happening to the Ghana movie industry? Is it the players? Is it the handlers? Like, what, is, what the hell is happening? Omada. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. But guys, on a more serious note, by 2025, in fact, 7 January 2025, Ghana's president will... 
Ghana card, Ghana card. Whether Apple or Jigita or whatever it is, on a more serious note, you would need a president man for you to make Digitalization. G G digitalization. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, 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 wait. See, we can choose to call him the black sheep or whatever name we like. But on a more serious note, folks, Chata Wale is a major partner in the success of Kahimi's. On a more serious note, it's about to discuss the entirety of the entertainment industry and beyond. Treat you with some live music, comedy, poetry, dance, and everything entertainment. Your Friday nights are about to light up. on BMPA show, like, I'm representing all the skinny guys, you know, they say, I'm increasingly annoying. But what you gotta do? You gotta stick and watch. Nanya Kofi, representing the balls. Smooth with it from BMPA. I'm M. On the BMPA show, I represent the buzzer guys and I keep it real. And I am the P, representing the pot belly on the BMPS show. My name is Kofi Hayford, and I drive the conversation. Intriguing, interesting, raw, rugged, bug provoking, you name them. It's the BMPS show on Joy Prime, the ultimate experience. Season 5 of the BMPS show is coming soon on Joy Prime. The BMPS show is brought to you by Johnny Walker Black Label, Big Bold Flavor. Johnny Walker, keep walking. is your extra class. You lied to me. Did I send you to college to be a doctor or to work in the canteen? Tell me. You could have asked me if you needed money. What was the need to come here? and tarnish your dad's image with a tray in your hand. And he! You should not even take his name, but with him, you are standing here with him. I was proud that my daughter can never lie to me, but my pride was wrong. You lied to me today. You lied to your father, and you have proved me wrong also. Okay. Enough, enough. Do not interfere. Do not interfere. I sent you to college because this boy was rusticated from the college. But neither is he away from you, and nor have you stopped meeting him. Huh? What's going on, huh? I, I'll call the Dean and make him leave this place. Dean has appointed him. And he's our football coach. Uncle, please let me explain. No need to explain anything to me. In fact, you better know one thing. That you are not my boss's son. And from now on, if I see you anywhere near my daughter, 
Then I will slap you very tight. You shameless man, you are stuck to my daughter like a parasite. And you. Let's go from here. And you will never return here from now on. Come with me. Suhani has got a job for sure. But how will I manage the monthly expense with her salary? I have no clue when will Anch understand his own responsibilities. <sighs> Mom. Mom. Yes, Anch? Mom, you wanted me to get a job, right? Yes. Shower your blessings. In a nearby gym, I got a job of a gym trainer. Really? Yes, Mom. Anj, you have really made me very happy today. Today I will make your favorite sweet for you. No, Mom. You will make my favorite sweet only after I achieve what I want. Mom, I have joined this job so that so that I can show Ranveer that I can stand on my feet. He is very narrow-minded, Mom. He was flaunting his bike in front of me. But I will... I will buy a bike with what I earn. And I will snatch... everything what is meant for me. Thank you, Ranveer. Dad? This is a boundary for you from now on. And if you go past this without my permission, then you are going to see me dead. What are you saying, son? As long as you were in this house, you used to listen. And I gave you a lot of freedom as well, and you started doing whatever pleases you. And in your stubbornness, you have ruined your life as much as you possibly could have done. But not anymore. Not anymore. Now you will be in front of my side just like before. You will... You will always do as I tell you and you will live your life my way. How did you forget that you are not just a daughter? You are someone's wife, someone's daughter-in-law. Speak softly, son. Calm down. Calm down. How can I calm down, mom? How can I calm down? For my own self-respect and for her, I have quit my job, have become unemployed, but she, she never cared about her honor, nor, nor has she ever cared about her in-law's honor. Why? Is she responsible for everyone's reputation? Why do people like you want that a girl, in pretext of family's reputation, will sacrifice herself? Sometimes as a mother, sometimes as daughter, sometimes as a daughter-in-law, or sometimes as a wife. Why does she have to live for others for her whole life? Why doesn't a woman get the right to choose her career her whole life? And you, you want to capture your daughter by keeping her within this boundary. You are your daughter's biggest enemy, uncle. And you don't even realize that. In the name of your fake prestige in this society, you have completely destroyed your daughter's life within a second. Stop that nonsense of yours. And get out of here. 
I said get out or... Get out from here. Dad? Or I swear on my daughter that I will kill you today. Run, Dad, Dad, please. Run, we please leave from here. Run, we, why do you not understand? Why do you increase my dad's problem so much? Please leave from here, please. Sef 2 was brought to you by... Try Quad Trading Enterprise, the home of quality air conditioners. Drink Kalipo, the natural fruit juice drink. Began a good work in you, he will perform it to the end. You were born for this, you were anointed for this. That baby will come, you will get up from the sick bed very soon. You can make it.
you have cried enough. It's okay. Get up. Encourage yourself. Carry on. The PO Show is brought to you by Kel Chaco, Kel 360, and Kel 60K. They say when the last tree dies, the last man, in our case, woman, dies. And that's why today on the Kel Toothpaste PL Show, we will be talking to the phenomenal lady, extraordinary woman who does great things with and for the land. You'll find out why she calls her garden the healing garden. This is the Kel Toothpaste PL Show, and you're welcome. I am Kemeni Amano. Our program is brought to you, Kind Cat C, Kel Toothpaste Brands, Kel 360, Kel Kids, and Kel Chuckle. When we come back, let's meet the mother of life, I'd like to call her. Don't go away. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh bread. I'm a fat missy way. Prepatrol bantama. Matiasu. Thanks, so thank you. It's her smile. The fresh bread. Me, GD said we used to care 360 toothpaste. So me kind. Care 360 toothpaste. That's Kia. Care 360 toothpaste. It's a gum protector. Oh, Nim Jum Kazan Kazan Kazan. Kile Kosen. Kel 360 did the way. It's cool mint. Gives me fresh breath and your confidence booster. Hey, you will see so finny. Kel 360 toothpaste. Happy smile. Kel 360 toothpaste. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. Kel, happy smile. This apple is FDA approved. Different era, better results. Time has changed and time has brought Kel Charcoal Toothpaste. Healthy gums, anti cavity, fresher breath, and it whitens teeth. Kel Chaco Toothpaste. Sankofa. Yenchi. Kel Chaco Toothpaste. Happy smile. This advert is FDA approved. Yeah, Mamu Akwa Babi, if you just joined us, this is the Kel Toothpaste PL show. And you're just in time for this very great and sudden conversation we'll be having with the owner and founder of Eden Gardens. But what's more special about the gardens is she calls it the healing garden. Please put your hands together for Pastor Mrs. Alberta Ekusika Aki. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, I like that. I like that. Thank you. Healing garden. Why? Why the name healing garden? The name healing garden because anyone who visits the garden gets healing. Mm. You won't leave my garden without a touch of the Holy Spirit. Amazing. Yes. We'll go deeper into that. <laughs> but how did it all begin? When I was seven years old, mm -hmm. I started with plants. In our home as a little girl, I wake up in the morning, my chore was to sweep the compound, then water the garden. So I had that passion and joy for plants. Till I grew up, it became part of me. Mm -hmm. Until 2020, COVID, I just came to visit the nation. Wow. And <laughs> what, what happened that COVID period? Because there was a lockdown mm -hmm. and nobody was going to work, I really had time for the garden. Mm. So after my morning chores, I come sit in the garden, have a talk with my plants, mm -hmm. admire them, mm. and I admire them as I admire God. Okay. So I go on the net, check some few things, post on my status. 
then people started calling. I need this, I need that. So I decided, why not play for this plant every day? So in my home, 6 a.m., mm. I have this pen drive that has 987 worship songs. Every day, 6 a.m., it's on, goes off 7 p.m. So my plants will enjoy worship. Amazing. What kind of a home would you say you came from? A beautiful home, mm -hmm. a hardworking home, mm -hmm. and a disciplined, strict mother. Mm. You don't go wrong. In fact, my mother, she didn't, she didn't see you standing idle. Mm -hmm. That's it. I see. Yes. Would you say that that has, you know, had any impact on the kind of mother you are maybe today? Yes. Mm. Yes. I'm a strong woman hard working in fact i'm a workaholic sometimes i tell the kids mommy can you tell me to sit down <laughs> you're always cleaning always cleaning yeah. make sure everything is fine in tienka school school time we go school no me call martin the police to preach free school okay what dance someone ran about all right so me we me call straight to secondary school after straight to second i really wanted to be a nurse Mammy said, Dabby, 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 into me, your nest, because a year never be fear pain. Into our dear bomb in the family business, that is the catering. Mm -hmm. Yes, ah, so me into me, your nest. Okay, my uncle late was working with Golden Tulips. Mm -hmm. So, Mammy is like, any uncle, she think a year, Juma. Mr. Dabby, so may a caterer don't want them, me, you know, me, you know, you so make a school. Mm -hmm. So, I went to Takrade Polytechnic. Me we in a make national service or South Labadi Vocational School. Me teach you a Then you have to work with your mom. So after the Takrade Polytechnic, one mom make There is the factory, the Panyan Tobacco Company factory mm. is in Takrade. So I was there, and I was happy because when I come to Accra, coming to work with your mother again. But then my mommy said, no, 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 so I was working with my mom. Well, how was that experience working with well, It was good because that was when I met my husband. Ah, <laughs> then it was, it was fantastic. <laughs> it was good for me. Yeah. Then from the, the Takrade Polytechnic, the Accra Polytechnic, mm -hmm. and I realized my passion for the things of God. Yeah. So I decided to go to the Bible school mm -hmm. in Sakumono, um, Assemblies of God Bible School. After that, I also went to Parks and Gardens. Okay. When I was already doing the plant, uh -huh. I went to Parks and Gardens because I really wanted to know more mm. about the plant. But while you were working with your mother also, you already knew that you had compassion for people who needed yes, I uh, did. things that they do not have. Yes. And you did something. Talk to us about that. That's the 83. Yeah. So that time in Ekomo, Ghana. Mm. And because of the catering background, mm. we supply bread, rock bands, scones, all those things. So people come to our home every morning to buy all these things. Now there was this shortage of food and everything. Mm. We're not getting flour, but my mom will go around and people will bring us flour, mm. but the flour now will not come during the daytime. Or being in by your ten. Because you wouldn't even get it. So it's like something that was small girls. That bad. Yeah. Wow. And now they will come why they say. Who is that? My children, you know. I see. Me, 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 pe mommy, emotions at that time, I say. And also, this was around 5 30 or so. In the evening. In the evening. Wow. Me, she, and my mommy, can't know her, but I was like, hey, in the dimmy. She drove in and then came out. Hey, but some way is here. You saw, ma. And coffee up or what are they coming to one? And then she looked at me and said, Ah, that's in a quarter where I mean slow. Oh, my goodness, mean slow cry me, Judy, my ye. And the way she said, A quarter now, one day, if you leave home, mean slow. I said, Oh, I'll build upon this. Mm. I will let my mean, yes. yeah. I was gonna ask you yeah. what it meant for you to hear your mother say I that to yeah. your face. I was happy. And it's like, she's giving me a task. Yeah. I have to work at it, mm -hmm. which I did. And, and because of the upbringing, mm -hmm. that strictness, that workaholic family I'm coming from, you just do it. Yeah. Anyway, 
So let's take a look at some of that work, work, work child shit. Here's C2 Oak segment. As in Takra de Poli, so we're staging a play. I'm the male uh -huh. and I travel to uh -huh. Nigeria, the okay. Ghana Mago type. And I came back, somebody had impregnated my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your wife in Western. <laughs> That's the C to Oak segment, which is brought to you by Kel Kiss Toothpaste. Remember that if you're looking for suitable toothpaste for your children between the ages of two and six, Kelkis toothpaste is the one to go for. It's strawberry flavored, which means that your kids would love it. It will protect their gum, prevent cavity, and make their teeth strong and healthy and give them freshness all day. It's also approved by the Food and Drugs Authority. You can rely on its quality. Pasta Mrs. Alberta Ekusika Ado is my guest. Matisse, say are you plants? Yes. Wakasa pa. Have you experienced that? Yes, I have. Mm. Many a time and most of the time. Okay. So I go into the garden. So this is it. Oh, 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 that it needs a change. And, and when you check it does? Yeah. Okay. So, Sami Madu from point A to point B, give yourself two, three days. The oh, changes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, for instance, when you ask the plants the questions that you do, yeah. do you get answers back? You won't hear the plant talk to you, mm -hmm. but you feel it in here. And you know what you to do. You know what to do. Wow. And you, you know we... Um, this um, portrait Jesus bought, nobody has seen Jesus. Mm -hmm. But the pictures, Nayehu. My mom bought one for me, white child, and mm. I still have it. Yeah. It's in my porch. Anytime I have any plants, and the things of God, you see that thing smile. One day it just smiled. Namusumi started a mess. So Michael, my gardener, came around. He was laughing. He too was laughing. He was also laughing. Wow. You filled your house with laughter that moment. So what kinds of plants do you have at your garden? A lot. I have indoor plants, the outdoor creeping plants. In fact, there are a whole lot of plants okay. I have in there. And do all the plants have both physical and spiritual purposes? Yes, the few I know. Okay. Right. So let's talk about this one close to you, <laughs> so which you said you know has the name snake plants. It has the name. But snake my favorite plants. is the uh, mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> the mother-in-law yes. tank. Yeah. So the research shows that if we may see many top on or your pointed no a sharpen, them no work and what's the insult no. Sometimes one may get in. But the bum and mouth. Yeah. But the. Oh, you hook a car. Why would we do <laughs> say a thing like that? <laughs> That's true. But the botanical name okay. is Sansevera. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, we're in a Juma Bene. Oh, you hung to ma. Okay. Minina, she is you. No one more. It may breathe well oxygen. Okay. And she said, This is a bedroom. Oh, boy, my inhale freshness. Mm, I see. And not this alone. There are so many of them. Of, oh. I see. But a typical day, what do you do? I wake up, my year, or some year we do a kitchen at my year. Mm. Then they say, what is it? I make quite a paper. Mm -hmm. Though the garden is at home. Yeah. But me, my name yet is said, yeah, what she be, 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 because I'm coming close to nature. Yeah. To me, say, see, me, home, my man light makeup, mm -hmm. not my back garden anymore. So I go round, me check, me, chia, ubiya. Mm -hmm. On what is saying, 
BBI is fine. I check it. The it's amount of yeah. water mm -hmm. will work. We are okay. Then I buy it in I say me what order say what say me ya. I grab my book. Now my share. Me and my catch and my client. So I'm going to give you. Say I agree totally. Yeah. So we send messages. You go on with it. I see. And you know, plants na ne boarding. Oh, ne boarding yet. Because of it, you're say, ah, okay, I also need the plants. Maybe you're better offer Eden Gardens, but also say, ne boarding. Oh, ne boarding yet. What per se to say, yeah, the potted. So it will come with everything. It will come with a stand and a saucer. Oh, okay. Obin so bad, or per just the plant, it took a cramano. Obin so penny, you know. In today, it will be 500. It was 600, depending on the plant. I see. We'll talk a bit more about work. And then we'll also talk about your work. In, in fact, your ministry, uh, because you're also a uh, pastor. Yes. But uh, first, let's take a look at the 360 video. Madame Alberta Ekusika Ado is a woman after God's own heart. According to her, life is meaningless until one's calling aligns with the purpose of God. She nurtures and tends to plants at the Eden Gardens. She's also a humanitarian whose heart is geared towards teenage mothers and their young ones. At the Eden Gardens, which is also known as the Healing Garden, her plants are known to be medicinal and can be a source of healing for all who are weary and are burdened with the cares of life. Madame Alberta Ekusika Ado believes there's hope for everyone if only we will yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit. The 360 segment is brought to you by Kel 360 Toothpicks. It provides you and your family with all-round dental protection throughout the day. With freshness, it will brighten your teeth, prevent cavity, and protect the gum from decaying. It is good for children from about six years and for all adults of all ages. It's approved by the Food and Drugs Authority, and you can rely on the quality. Let's come back to the conversation with Pastor Mrs. Alberta Ekusika Ado. And you know, you bet me just walk into your garden for the peace that it, it gives, no? And I say, it's only when they have a top plant and sana you bet me have Oh, you can. Oh, if I can say, if you are a year, if you are a year, if you are a year, if you but no, you can come. You can. Because if you are a year, no, a rather than a year, to two are coming to Sebra. There's an impartation that was so winning. Mm. So it's okay. The press sense and all that. So it's okay. I see. Just come. Let me see you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there. But in your garden, Uncle, we talked fairly about ministry. So how long have you been in ministry? I check a crown to mm. enter here. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's like, maybe, you know, it's not the behind the pulpit. Okay. No. But my ministry is with women. Mm. Yes. Into now what NGO no so no. Yes, okay. and into the body they buy it. Okay. With women. Mm. So I'm a family life counselor. So with marriages and all that, that is my area. Mm. Yes. I see. So um how does the NGO fit into that your ministry with women? Just like we go to church yeah. to seek for salvation, it's a German mm. These people I bring them in, nurture them, mm -hmm. counsel them, seek them the word of God, and then give them a vocation, and we transform their life. And you on your man so yes, you can send Bibri. how do you support oh, you, you, you and the girls? Because yes, <laughs> you <laughs> But the Lord says, do it. I will bring help. Uh huh. So one day, I was watching um. TBN. Then I had a voice. Change the channel. I grabbed the remote and I did. Mm -hmm. I thought me changing the back when I was I said no. 
So now I was working under instruction. Mm. Change, 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 change. Then it was metro. There was this story that says, Amanya Neba came from Winnie Bar to seek for greener pasture, mm. and somebody has impregnated her. The voice says, go for her. Go for who? That is TV. Mm -hmm. What's it go for her? Mm -hmm. I immediately called. Someone picked and said, this is the showroom or something. How many weeks have I said no? I'm interested in the story. Say how. I want to take this girl and help her. And help her. So they took my number and then behind the scenes, we started talking. I had to visit them the next day. They took me to Kaneshi where the said lady was. Mm. They asked, when are you coming for the lady? Let me let me do away. Because instructions not in my behalf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the law says, say two weeks. I said two weeks. Then the young girl is like, she's come from Winneba. Ma, me pocho me nyo da wudo. Me nja mo waha. My goodness. Me pocho bra ate. Hey! What have I put myself into? I said, okay. So we went back. Started counting. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So my PA was like, mommy, why not talk to my mother? My mother will give you a place. I'm like, no, I can't do this. This is my fight. Mm -hmm. But mommy, the Lord said two weeks. The Lord did not tell me to bring the girl to my house. He says, go for her. The rest will continue. So my daughter, my P, spoke to the mom. And the mom called me. Sister, I said, 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 okay, mom, that's it. Then I have to find a way of telling my husband, will he believe me? But he knew the kind of wife he married. He married. Yeah. And rather, some more kind of, go for the bank bed. Mm. So now I was praying for the two weeks to come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because everything was set. Mm -hmm. Two weeks came to pass. I went to Metro TV, then we picked this girl, then to the training center. And then the Lord said, I will send people to come. So it was my husband who was helping few of my husband's friends. And if I take a catering order, then I used to buy sewing machines to give them. So where is this one in particular right now? Anna has gone back to Winneba. She managed to find her way back she home. She did. Uh, does she keep in touch? She does. Let's take a quick break. Don't go away. Anti-cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh bread. I'm going to miss you, eh? Say, patch your banter, man. What's that, sir? Thanks, sir. Thank you. It's her smile. The fresh bread. Me, Jidi, say, who used to kill 360 toothpaste? Some me kind. Kill 360 toothpaste. That's Kia. Kill 360 toothpaste. It's a gum protector. Oh, name Kazan, Kazan, Kazan. What are you saying? Kill 360 did the way. It's cool, man. Gives me fresh breath and hey, your confidence booster. <laughs> and you will so fit me into Kawaii. Yeah. Cal 360 toothpaste. Happy smile. Cal 360 toothpaste. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. Cal, happy smile. This advert is FDA approved. My friends, my name is Kel Kids Toothpaste. Wow. I was made to be gentle on your gum, but protected. I will protect your teeth from cavity. Make your teeth whiter, stronger, keep your mouth fresh all day. And best of all, I'm strawberry flavored. So put on a smile and try me. That's amazing. Just try me. That's my job. If you taste to jump on my brush. Make your teeth stronger, cheeky cheeky whiter, cheeky cheeky stronger. Yay! You did it! I'm glad you like your new toothpaste. Don't forget to brush both day and night. Girl kids, happy smile.
Welcome back to the Kel to Pace PL show. I'm so glad you're still here. You keep uh, hammering the point about training the girls into you know, training Bena Omao. Emma, they train them in dressmaking, hairdressing, mm -hmm. and catering. Okay. How many yeah. girls now better say we're training so far? Over 100. Over 100 yeah, girls. Over wow. 100. From all walks of life. Yeah. Wow. Let's take a look at the DIY segment, which is brought to you by Kelcha Cold Toothpaste. Today, I'm going to take you to how we transplant. I have with me cocoa pit here, stones to decorate after the transplant. We have one plant here. This plant is called Santivera. That is a botanical name. This is my pot filled with black soil. So what this is here for is, I'm picking a little to add to the soil. I want the soil to be loose. I make a hole in here to fit my planting. All the root has to go in and the soil to cover it. I pushed it down to make it firm. Then I give it a little water. Time to decorate with the stones. But before then, covering the black soil with the fiber so that the black soil will not make the five stones dirty. It's now time to decorate with our five stones or the pebbles. Taking into consideration not to get too close to the plant. Give it a bit of color by putting this colorful pebbles around it. Thanks for watching and we meet again. God bless you. And we meet again indeed and we're <laughs> here, right? The DIY segment is brought to you by Kel Charcoal Toothpaste. If you're looking for premium toothpaste for you and your entire family, including your kids above the age of six, then the Kel Charcoal Toothpaste brand is the one to go for. It will give you fresh breath, whiter teeth, reduces dental plaque, prevents cavity and makes the gum healthy and so on. It's approved by the Food and Drugs Authority and you can rely on its quality. You've done a lot, <laughs> but I can imagine, sir, there's even more ahead of you. What does the future look like for you? For myself, for my plant and for the girls. So with the girls, we are putting up a new training center, mm. our own training center in Clagon, just around the Chief Palace mm. and also around the um, Clagon Police Station. So you can take in more girls? We can take in more girls. Okay. And in fact, we even have a hostel. Oh, I see. And with the healing gardens mm -hmm. something big hey, and great something big no, as a as a um, best of a country, you just a no it is not forward. just a healing garden but yeah. a healing place healing place it's a place you go yeah anyway yes so yes so yeah the yeah the kakraba say yeah the baby surprise oh and so. you know products from yeah sponsor samara company limited omon amuye sasu any roma mosquito uh, repellent na uh, coil ni spray ni nyina e na omosa ye kel to peace no mm, thank you but so but much. much more importantly we also want to give you this symbol of excellence oh my god yes and i first want to show you something it has your name on it oh <laughs> yes absolutely thank you thank you mommy so this is from us to you because we believe that you are a queen. And ev uh, yes, and every queen deserves her stool. Yes. We want you to keep this in your home office, somewhere in your garden, wherever you pass. You know, in those times when... Um, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. In those times when you feel... You, you set your eyes on it and you're down. You remember that, listen, I, I'm a phenomenal lady. you are a phenomenal yes. lady. Yes. And the Holy Spirit brought you here. And he's intending to take you far. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming. Oh God, <laughs> I love it. It's so nice. Thank you so I much. I am Please. a queen. Yes, you are. Queen I tell you, <laughs> for us here at the Phenomenal Lady Show, it's important to us to give that symbol of excellence the women who come here yeah. they take that with mm -hmm. them home so it's not just you come on the show and you forget <laughs> it's not that you come on the show and we forget about you 
but you go home with a piece of us just as much as we have a piece of you here so thank you for coming you're welcome we will see you next week right here on the pl show with another phenomenal lady and an awesome conversation the pl show is brought to you by the kel to create brands kel 360 kel kiss and kel chuckle i am kemeni amano if you missed the show you can always go onto our youtube page where we streamed live as well and watch a playback bye bye welcome to the sizzling world of big chef season three where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling our young chefs dazzle with their innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more from high fives to group hugs these kids share laughter friendship and the joy of cooking together and that's the true recipe for pure happiness tune in to joy prime every sunday at 5 p.m and follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together big chef good meals by kids proudly sponsored by fortune rice fried tall cooking oil endomie flora tissues tasty tom kiki juice drink makana market and aromic three lights This coming Easter Monday is Love FM Family Party in the Park. 1st April 2024, Rotary Park, Baya de De. So start putting plans together and let's have the biggest family picnic experience ever. Where are my bubbly little kitty bobs, neckabums, papas, obitsikum? We will make available all the kids playing items, trampoline, bouncy castles, electric train, merry-go-round, stationary airplane, horse race, face painting, TV games. For all the adults in Kumasi, get ready for the adult corner. Get your dancing shoes on for some electrifying live band music. The date is Easter Monday, 1st April 2024 at the Rat Trap Park. The Nyame rate is a cool 10 Ghana cities, 8 a.m. sharp. The love of a family party in the park. Easter edition. We simply can't wait. Salvation. Healing, miracles, the Accra Sports Stadium is about to witness the unmistakable power of God. Be healed. Be healed of weakness. Be healed of diseases. Be delivered from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills is here with us again. Mark your calendars. It's 29th March, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yes, the Good Friday Miracle Service this year is happening at the Accra Sports Stadium. Experience the power of the cross and the efficacy of the blood as we come together to mark the great sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills, 29th March 2024, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Be there. The blessed month we've all been waiting for is finally here. Alhamdulillah. This Ramadan, we have designed an interesting spirit filled TV show to help increase our iman. I present to you the first ever Ramadan diaries. On this show, we get to educate ourselves on the importance of this noble month and some do's and don'ts in Islam. We will have our well resourced Islamic scholars share insights on current issues and get to learn from some of our Muslim celebrities on how they juggle work and their day. 
we invite you to join us break our fast on the Iftar segment. So capture moments of how we come together as Muslims, share what we have with families and friends. Interesting, right? This is Ramadan Dais. My name is Safiya Abdullah. My name is Abdullah Ali. And I'm Yusuf Abdullah. My name is Faiza Muhammad. Ramadan Mubarak. The blessed month we've all been waiting for is finally here. Alhamdulillah. This Ramadan, we have designed an interesting spirit food TV show to help increase our iman. I present to you the first ever Ramadan diaries. On this show, we get to educate ourselves on the importance of this noble month and some do's and don'ts in Islam. We will have our well-resourced Islamic scholars share insights on current issues and get to learn from some of our Muslim celebrities on how they juggle work and their day. 
we invite you to join us break our fast on the entire segment. So capture moments of how we come together as Muslims, share what we have with families and friends. Interesting, right? This is Ramadan Dais. My name is Sophia Abdullah. My name is Abdullah Ali. And I'm Yusuf Abdullah. My name is Faiza Muhammad. Ramadan Mubarak.
belongs to the Lord. Power belongs to the Lord.
I go look to the hills, mountains, and valleys. From whence come my help? From no one but you. I have searched and searched through humanity. Is there one like you? There's no one like you. Yeah. How, how you love. I've said in your word, ask and you receive all your heart desire. You supply all my needs. Sing how, how, how you love, how far it goes. Sing how, how, how you love.
Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Join Us Today. We're coming to you live from our studios in Kokumlem Lewi on DTT because we're free to air on DSTV channel 12421 and Go TV channel 125. We are your home of independent, fearless, and credible journalism. Coming up this afternoon, majority MPs considering summoning parliament for an emergency setting to uh, compete with the uh, business of the house as the speaker yesterday adjourned parliament indefinitely in the light of this process the house is unable to continue to consider the nominations of his excellency the president We have details of the government business on hold as the legislature and executive go on a collision course after chaotic end to the first meeting of the fourth session of the eighth parliament. Also this afternoon, Ghana Education Service instructs head teachers to keep schools open despite the industrial action by teachers. Yes, I'll be very surprised, very much surprised if Fair Wages tells everybody that they are unaware about Plus, the Ashanti Regional Security Council to provide support for protecting power transmission sites. We will bring you details shortly. My name is Aisha Ibrahim. We're also live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X Spaces at Joy News on TV. My personal handle is at Benana Aisha. Please do stay for details. <laughs> Closing out this afternoon after an abrupt and chaotic indefinite adjournment of parliament, the majority side says it is seriously considering sermon in parliament for an emergency sitting of parliament to consider some key government business, tax waivers, loans and ministerial nominees, all government business were the biggest casualties as the role of the anti-LGBTQ bill led Speaker Alban Bagby to adjourn the house without allowing the house to consider them. It will be recalled that the president rejected attempts by parliament to serve President Ekofuado with copies of the anti-LGBTQ bill for his assent. The presidency explains this is because of cases pending before the Supreme Court. While well, following the lead of President Speaker Alban Bagbin has also decided that parliament will not consider President Ekofuado's ministerial nominees because of an injunction application filed by an MP. In the light of this process, the House is unable to continue to consider the nominations of His Excellency the President. <laughs> to use the language of the Attorney General and Minister for Justice, quote, in the spirit of upholding the rule of law, unquote, until until after the determination of the application for interlocutory injunction by the Supreme Court. 
Honourable Members, this is the precedent that is being set by His Excellency the President for all Ghanaians to follow. So any matter that comes before Parliament, any Ghanaian can issue a writ and follow it with an application for injunction. And that is enough to injunct Parliament from proceeding with the consideration of the business in the House. The leaders of both the minority and majority are divided over this raging controversy. The majority leader, Dr. Kasiela Tofolton, says the speaker is right in his determination and may initiate an impeachment proceeding against the president. But the majority leader, Alexander Fenyor Marking, argues the NDC MPs are in bed with the speaker to frustrate government business. The constitution of Ghana spells out in plain language when the President of the Republic of Ghana must do when Parliament passes a bill and presents to His Excellency the President. The President must assent to the bill or must refuse to assent to the bill when it is presented to him as the President of the Republic. These are the only options, and in this case, there is no middle ground at all per the, constitu per, per the constitutional imperative. Ladies and gentlemen, let me also say that in the instance case of the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2024, President Akufuado has taken a strange and alien position, which is unknown to the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. Given that Parliament has been injuncted in a matter of the president's nominee for the position of ministers and deputy ministers. It is obvious that this honorable house is also unable and cannot approve those ministerial nominees His Excellency the President has also presented to Parliament. Yes. At this point, the president may have to be innovative dynamic and think out of the box by downsizing the size of his government. Let me say that merely piling on numbers by way of appointing ministers and deputy ministers does not signal to the people of Ghana that the president understands the seriousness of the mess that he and his government has created in our country. Mr. Speaker said, that Mr. President was undermining democracy and that he should have resorted to the constitution in making certain communications to the house. We in the majority beg to disagree on the position taken by him. If you carefully read the letter that was sent to parliament, Mr. President limited himself to the processes before the court. And the fact that Parliament itself, through an affidavit, a joint issue, Parliament has filed an affidavit with the opposition, and it's in court. In fact, Parliament is a party to the suit. So for us, we do not see how this would have to affect the proceedings of Parliament. In any event, Mr. Speaker has always deferred to the leadership of the House to guide him in the conduct of business. This morning, the leadership of the House sat together to discuss the various items to be taken. We have finished some of them. There were some that we were supposed to take, and we were told that Mr. Speaker would have to take the chair. It's very disappointing that after Mr. Speaker had made known his own views at the letter sent from the presidency to the clerk. We adjourned the House to meet him without giving room for the leadership of the House to even comment.
Mr. Well, Dean of the UPSA Law School, Professor Kofi Avochi, says the clerk to Parliament can go ahead and submit the bill to the President for him to state reasons why he cannot ascend as captive in the 1992 Constitution. He spoke on TNF. So I think at this stage, it's important for cool heads to prevail. It is important for the principles of checks and balances to be activated. And a key aspect of the principles of checks and balances as enunciated in the Constitution is the idea of collaboration. So I do expect that the key heads of institutions, i.e. the Speaker of Parliament and His Excellency the President of the Republic, I do expect that there should be some back-channel conversations already ongoing. Um, it is important that the two speak and the two are at idem or on the same page about this. Let's be clear. The exercise is not one of a confrontation between Parliament and the Executive. Parliament is performing its legitimate business of lawmaking. The Executive is asserting its legitimate influence of deciding whether or not to sign the bill. Um, we may have issues with the letter, people may put interpretations, but anyone is entitled to, as it were, uh, proper ideas or proper su suggestions or um, you know, give out give out opinions on particular things. So I would want to treat the letter purely as an opinion, as an opinion written from the office of the president to parliament. Parliament can decide to proceed by sending the law. It is up to the executive to decide not to sign the law because of its interpretation. Now, my understanding is that the letter is probably trying to interpret the law that in the circumstances of the pendency of the injunction, if the bill is brought to the office of the president, this is going to be the reaction. But the most important thing is all the organs are performing their respective legitimate functions and duties. Problem about the character of injunctions and the principles of injunctions under Ghanaian law is that anybody at all can freeze anything by merely bringing an application to court. So whether or not the application is frivolous, whether or not the application is meritorious, before the court ever gets to hear it, the period within which the, the injunction has been pending before court is supposed to be a frozen moment. The Ghana Education Service has directed regional and district education director to ensure her teachers keep schools open after the three teacher unions declared an indefinite strike yesterday over their conditions of service. In a statement released by the GS, the service urged parents not to panic, assuring them that management is working to resolve the situation. Excerpts of that statement uh, reads, management of the Ghana Education Service has read from the media that three teacher unions in the pre-tertiary education sector have declared withdrawal of their services effective Wednesday, uh, March 20. It goes on to say heads of public kindergarten and primary schools as well as junior and senior high schools have been directed through the regional and district directors to mobilize their management teams to ensure the safety and well-being of all students in school. Now, meanwhile, parents are advised to remain calm and be assured that management is closely monitoring the situation and will advise on the way forward accordingly. Regional and district directors have further been directed to ensure heads keep schools open and closely supervise all children who report to school pending further directives from management of GS. Well, prior to that statement by the Ghana Education Service, the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission has been disputing the accusation by the three teacher unions that there has been delays in negotiations of collective agreement. The commission is expected to meet the unions and other stakeholders today. Let me share excerpts of that statement issued by the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission. It says the FWSC has cited a news item by the media outlets where three teacher unions, NAT, NAGWAT, and TTT have declared an indefinite nationwide strike. The teacher unions are concerned about the delay in negotiations of their co conditions of service. Well, Fair Wages and Salaries Commission wishes to categorically state that there has not been any delay in the negotiations. We, however, wish to respond to the concerns raised by the teacher unions as follows. At the meeting held with the teacher unions on January 20, the government team was able to reach an agreement 
for the future unions on 10 out of the 16 items submitted for negotiations. Fair Wages and Salaries Commission indicated that there was a need to secure further mandate from the Ministry of Finance on the outstanding item in order to conclude negotiations with the future unions to which they agreed. And three, subsequently, uh, Fair Wages and Salaries Commission extended an invitation to future unions on March 19 meet, uh, for a meeting on Thursday, March 21 at 10 a.m. to continue and possibly conclude the negotiations. We went further to contact some leaders of the teacher unions as part of preparations towards the meeting on Thursday. There was no indication whatsoever of their intention not to be available for further engagement. Meanwhile, Head of Compensation at NAS and Vice President of NAGWA, Jacob Anaba, have uh, rebutted uh, most of the claims uh, made by the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, adding they will reconvene with their members and decide on whether to honor the Salaries Commission's invitation to continue the negotiations or otherwise they spoke to Kenneth Jesse. Yes, I'll be very surprised, very much surprised if Fair Wages tells everybody that they are unaware about this action. Because before we arrive at this as of um, February 29th, we have served a written notice to our employer. We copied the National Labor Commission and fair wages as well. So I'll be much surprised if they tell you they are not aware. So those 10 items we're talking about, those were existing items already. They were just a procedural item. The most pressing one are those that we haven't finished and have not touched it. So those are existing ones already. Mm. Mm. And are you going to honor the invitation to come to the, the negotiation table once again? We just received the invitation. I received mine this morning. So leadership will sit and take a decision. And don't forget that we let, we, uh, we identify five items. Okay. okay. The fair wages one is just one of them. There are four items that we have not heard anything about yet. Um, unfortunately, I did not receive that invitation. Uh, my boss did, but he indicated that he received the invitation late that evening through uh, social media communication. And we already we had started our uh, decision to, 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 to declare the strike. We have written to our employers through the Director General. We have written to the National Labor Commission and copied the uh, uh, Fair Wages and uh, Salary Commission. So already the decision was in motion to call the strike the next day. And that is what, what happened. Well, the Ministry of Education's Public Relations Officer, Kwesi Kwatin, says his outfit agrees with the GES's instruction directing district and regional education directorates to keep the schools open. Kwesi Kwatin asked that the Education Ministry will be present at the meeting and will be hoping the stakeholders come to a mutual conclusion. Fair wages and salaries commission and even the uh, teacher unions, uh, for that matter, the striking teacher unions, and uh, tentatively, we settled Friday to meet. It is true, apparently, uh, Fair Wages have sent letters of invitation to the teacher unions, but according to them, the understanding is that it's on short notice. So hopefully by Friday, all stakeholders will be uh, uh, ready and, and have all discussions with the hope of resolving this amper. Right, and I want to find out from you if the ministry sides with the Ghana Education Services uh, statement instructing districts and regional education directorates to keep the schools open despite the teacher unions being on strike. Yes, I mean, the, 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 the schools, even though, I mean, we, we work together with the teachers, the schools uh, obviously are independent institutions, and particularly when even times like this, a lot of them are within the, the, the boarding schools and 
will still be around. So certainly, they have to do some demonstration of leadership and some management or ultimately. It is the, uh, for this reason that we directed that, of course, through Ghana Education Services, that temporarily there should be some management structures and arrangements within the schools, even ahead of uh, our meetings to, to, to find lasting resolution to the concerns that have been raised. The teacher unions largely are, are employees. And of course, the, the strike action affects us directly and our students. And so this time is, is a, is a, is a is more of a government affair. And so all parties, including Ministry of Finance, Pay Wages and Salaries Commission, Employment, Education, all of us are going to be present in that meeting. But of course, the, the sole aim is to be able to make sure that we are able to have a very fruitful discussion and get our teachers back to the classroom. Basically, quoting a PRO of the Education Ministry. Two other stories, the Electricity Company of Ghana is counting on the collaboration of the Ashanti Regional Security Council to offer security protection of its electrical transmission sites across the region. This follows the collapse of at least eight towers as a result of stolen metal bolts and not holding the pylons. A damage assessment carried out on the JISO power transmission sites indicates it will take about 30 days for the towers to be re-erected. Several communities, including Bekwai, Abankru, Kumewu, Antwakrum, Mansun Kwanta, and Ajuso, have been plunged into total blackouts as a result of the falling electricity pylons. The Electricity Company of Ghana said some unidentified persons vandalized the towers to remove the bolts and nuts of about eight high tension towers stationed on some six kilometers of their Ajuso transmission site. The towers fell, cutting the electricity supply to communities around the area. Rapid efforts of technicians and engineers are the electricity company of Ghana are being employed to restore power to some of the communities. Engineer Collins Mami is a public relations officer for the Ashanti sub transmission of the electricity company of Ghana. So now our focus is on getting those who are being affected on supply. That is what we've been doing since yesterday. We, there was one of the towers which was tilted towards another circuit, or that's another tower line which was not affected. And our team was here yesterday to remove that tower line from the circuit that was okay. And they are still there, as you can see behind me, that they are trying to reinstate all the conductors that have fallen on that good tower line mm. so that we can restore all customers who have been affected on supply by close of day. Then uh, we will do the reinstatement work of the, the fallen ones. And the contractor who came to do the assessment assured us that within 30 days, that can be done. Over $1.2 million is needed to reinstate all failed ECG high tension towers. An inspection led by the Ashanti Regional Minister Simon Osei Mensah and officers of ECG was carried out on the site to ascertain the magnitude of damage and repairs. Simon Osei Mensah says experts are working assiduously to rectify the situation. Meanwhile, he is admonishing the ECG to liaise with the Ashanti Regional Security Council to expand protection to the transmission sites. Already we are battling with instability of power. So if we should have this additional trouble, uh, it's going to affect us a lot. When we see people whose attitude, whose behavior around some of these installations are questionable, we should quickly refer them to the security agencies so that action could be taken. Also, my advice to ECG is that once they've seen this, I think they should make conscious efforts to monitor all the pylons. They should go and inspect all the pylons. It's possible this might not be the only one, so that if we have such situations, they could be rectified as soon as possible. Uh, ECG, you have to collaborate with the Regional Security Council so that some of these challenges could, could be prevented. Reporting for Joy News, my name is Clinton Yabwa. The power distributor is worried about various forms of power theft, including illegal connections which tend to dent the image of ECG in seeking to become the most reliable power distributor in the country. As part of its mobilization drive across the Ashanti region, the ECG is warning the general public to desist from such acts. 
The electricity company of Ghana has expressed worry over the blatant scale of power theft identified in major parts of the country. These acts have contributed to major commercial losses for the company. Ashanti West ECGPRO Benjamin Obinyentri is worried about the situation. He has cautioned perpetrators against such acts. Well, we want the general public to know that the meter belongs to ECG, not the customer. That is why when you check the meter, it is written the product of electricity company of Ghana. So customers who think the meters belong to them, no, please, the meter belongs to ECG. So at this point, we are cautioning our customers who have been engaged in illegal transfer of meter. Meters in your premises are not transferable. You can't transfer, let's say you are staying at Tunzu, you are moving towards Swami. So you want to transfer a meter from Atunzu to Swami. No, that is illegal. Anytime we get someone, we surcharge you for you to pay the penalty or we'll hand over to the authorities. Then again, customers that you have your service cable, that's the cable from the low voltage pool to your premises. Once they are so you go to the police for a police extract and then come to the ACO for you to have a discussion. But as a company, we are embarking on a robust program to improve our meter situation in the region. Benjamin Entry says the repercussions are unbearable. It's unbearable for ECG in the sense that when a meter is transferred, you realize that all the meters have geo codes. So the geo codes are what we use to identify the meter. So once we are on our map and then we are going, we say, oh, this meter is at a close. Once we get there, the meter is nowhere to be found. So definitely, if it's even a bill we are going to give to that customer, we don't know where the person is. If we are doing our monitoring to check the integrity of the meter, we wouldn't know where the meter is, but the person has moved the meter. So it normally affects our financial health as well because that person can move from here and go here and then the person will consume power on our blind side. Meanwhile, Tetra Tech and USAID have supported the Ashanti Regional Gender and Social Inclusion Unit of the ECG with a drop-in daycare center to help working mothers. Kumu McCarthy is change management coach at USAID. She indicated the need for a well-equipped unit for the ECG's Gender and Social Inclusion Unit. ECG since 2018 right you you've been you've embarked on this journey since 2018 your journey has intensified and you have made remarkable progress in a short space of time honestly you need to really give yourself a hand of applause you are aligning your processes which says it is commitment when you have a policy that is an indication that your management team is committed to the process. Ashanti Regional West Manager Max Wotapa commended USAID and Tetra Tech for the initiative. My view that the whole idea of a drop-in daycare center is laudable. And I suggest that is extended to the other regions of uh, ECG. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, let me take the opportunity to pay tribute to the Employees Relations Division of the HR Directorate of ECG for conceiving the idea and pushing for its implementation. For Joe News, Nana Bwachi Dankwa Yadom, Kumasi. Let's stay in the Ashanti region because that confirmed Notre Teaching Hospital is aiming at committing funds to research and upgrading its facilities to address a growing number of stroke and kidney cases. Management intends to tackle possible deaths from strokes and kidney failures by investing in the adaptation of operational research alongside the expansion and refurbishment of the hospital's dialysis center. Nana Buachi Yadom has more from the Confanoti Teaching Hospital end of year performance review meeting in Kumasi. The Confanoti Teaching Hospital hopes to enhance the quality of care provided to patients and ultimately save lives with novel services. Management therefore plans to invest in operational research to help identify effective ways for stroke prevention and management, leading to improved patient outcomes and reduced healthcare costs. Chief Executive of the hospital, Professor Ochri Adey Mensa, says aside from the introduction of thrombolysis services, the hospital will invest in research and innovation to save patients from possible stroke deaths. He was speaking at the hospital's 2023 end-of-year performance review conference in Kumasi. Management with the support of the board will this year continue to invest in the adoption of innovations and conduct op operational research as part of the overall strategy to optimize the delivery of tertiary healthcare services at the hospital. Management's commitment in this direction can be seen from the historic introduction of thrombolysis services as part of routine stroke care at the hospital. This novel service 
is aimed at saving patients brought to the hospital in time from disabilities and possible death from strokes. Steps will also be taken to strengthen the corporate and special services unit during the year to allow for busy patients and other corporate executives the opportunity to assess specialist services at the hospital at their convenience. Professor Ade Mensah also spoke about achieving major improvement in dialysis services with three new machines. The hospital expects a major improvement in its dialysis services soon when the three new machines with a six-month supply of consumables procured at close to 1.6 million Ghana cities are delivered next month. Similarly, surgical and physiotherapy services are also primed to receive a major boost with the completion of the renovation of the main theater and the physiotherapy center at a combined cost of around 3 million Ghana cities. The Konfanochi Teaching Hospital is resolved to create an ecosystem that engenders regular appraisal of strategies and programs for the purpose of optimizing specialist healthcare services. Pro Vice Chancellor of KNUST, Professor Ellis Ousidapo, was guest speaker at the conference. The success of a teaching hospital is not solely contingent upon bricks and mortar, it requires a concerted effort from a diverse array of stakeholders spanning academia, government, industry, healthcare institutions, and the broader community that includes our stakeholder, the client. Each stakeholder brings unique expertise, resources, and perspectives to the table, all of which are essential for the realization of our shared vision. For Joy News, Nana Boche Dan Kriyadom, Omas. We're still live on Joy News today. We are coming to you live from our studios in Koko Mianuro on DTT because we're free to wear. Let's take a break. When we return, we'll bring you the very latest coming from the world of business. Across Africa, a new era has begun. Shifting our focus to a new horizon, connecting us with one purpose, to create and share opportunities to grow. That's true. It can store a lot of water. That's so true. Wow. It has a working surface on it. Mm-hmm. That's so true. I can see F I mm -hmm. N T E mm -hmm. S Synthesis. That is so true, my daughter. When it falls on it will spoil. That's not true. But why? Whoa. Hey! <laughs> Syntex was the first to introduce double layer tanks in Ghana. Syntex again was the first to introduce white inner layers in Ghana. Syntex gives you the biggest warranty seven years. No matter your water needs, Syntex is the answer. Syntex tank. Are you strong? Are you tough?
Hi, welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Powell. Leading brand under Unilever Ghana President has reaffirmed his commitment to increase proper oral health care among citizens from a younger age. To this end, Pepsodent has joined some basic students in Accra to mark this year's Oral Health Day, with which seeks to create awareness of oral health and prevention of diseases. Here's more. Pepsodent is aiming at innovative activities to reduce the concerns of oral health, which has been one of the major challenges for the younger generations. In Ghana, studies show that about 13% of middle school children suffer from dental cavities. Category manager for oral care at Unilever, Vera Buedu, has been speaking about some initiatives like the tele-dentistry. We started this in October 2023, and what we realized is that a lot of Ghanaians had a lot of questions. A lot of questions around um, cavities, mouth odor, simple, simple questions like you saw being asked over here. You can quickly call a dentist and verify whether to use a soft toothbrush, a soft bristle toothbrush or a hard bristle toothbrush. And so far, engagement averagely, we've had across the two platforms about 3,000 Ghanaians accessing this platform on a monthly basis, and we continue to do it. Um, our next step for us is just to see how we can bring in more languages. Currently, our dentists can speak um, just English and Cree, and the next phase for, for it is to expand into more languages, at least, at least a minimum of four languages um, in Ghana. So we are getting the dentists with the support of GDO to help us um, in that case. She has therefore been speaking about the importance of the celebration and why Unilever is supporting the initiative. So for World Oral Health Day, um, it's a day which we have set aside, um, not just for us in Pepsodent or Unilever, it's a day which was um, started off by the World Dental Federation, FDI, since 2007. On that particular day, this is today, 20th of March, we set aside to talk about, um, advocate about oral hygiene, the issues around it, um, the preventive mechanics we can, we can do, advice just to make people aware of the importance of oral hygiene as part of total health for an individual. And that's why we have set aside this day. So on this day, you notice the people who came to speak, it's not just Unilever, Pepsodent, you have people um, beyond Unilever, you have people from the Ghana Dental Association also taking part, you have people from government institutions, the GES is a key partner for us because we are talking to kids. They also come and then we invite parents, students, everybody needs to be part of this celebration so that they will be aware of the issues, matters arising around oral hygiene, issues, ways to prevent it and the solutions which are being put forward in there. Unilever believes that, despite the natural occurrence of tooth loss during childhood, the prevalence of oral pain related to cavities and tooth decay is alarming and avoidable. All right, and that's it for this segment. Sports is up next. When I was young, I asked my mother the secret of her vitality and health. She said, the right food, the right exercise, the right amount of sleep, and the right blood tonic. Nescofa blood tonic is effective for the treatment of anemia, lack of appetite, and stressful conditions in both adults and children. Nescofa blood tonic, the right family blood tonic. Another quality product from Ernest Chemists. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. This coming Easter Monday is Love FM Family Party in the Park. 1st April 2024, Rotary Park, Bayer Dede. 
So start putting plans together and let's have the biggest family picnic experience ever. Where are my bubbly little kitty bobs, neck and bones, puppets, OPT? We will make available all the kids' playing items trampoline, bouncy castles, electric train, merry go round, stationary airplane, horse race, face painting, TV games. For all the adults in Kumasi, get ready for the adult corner. Get your dancing shoes on for some electrifying live band music. Date is Easter Monday, 1st April 2024 at the Rat Trap Park. The Nyame rate is a cool 10 Ghana cities, 8 a.m. sharp. The Love FM family party in the park. Easter edition. We simply can't wait. Now to bring you sports on Joy News today with me, Mukhtar Nabila Abdullah, Ghana's uh, 200 meters athletes, Joseph Paula Moua, Ibrahim Fifene, and Solomon Hammond have all secured a place in the semi final of the ongoing African Games. It was Joseph Paula Moua who led in his seven as he won that race by 20.91 seconds, and Ibrahim Fifene also won his race, while Solomon uh, Hamon, who ran in hit nine, uh, he finished second. They've all been explaining why they decided to drop their energy, especially in the last 50 meters of the race. Good. I just, I just have to execute, come up from the camp and just, just relax at the back stage. Yeah. And um, just a few years ago, you were at St. Augustine College. I think there's massive responsibility on your shoulders to make your school proud, your family, and every single Ghanaian proud, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, as, 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 as you see, that's why I'm here, just to make my country proud. Yeah. Um, what should we expect in the semi final? Nothing but the best. This is just the key, so we're reserving energy for the, fan, the semi final. And um, you were quite close to finishing, but you jogged through the line. Yeah, I was first jogging when I finished the curve. The curve. I saw the guy coming, I tell him to just go with him. And I, I just let him go. What did you expect in the semi? My best. This is just my best. Uh, there are three of you in there. It's you, Ibrahim Fairy, there's Joe Fox. Yeah. Um, what should the race should you expect uh, from, from Daniel? We are all trying to qualify to the final. Now let's hear from their coach, Elam Aminapo, who's been speaking about the reason why the athletes decided to drop their energy in the races. Well, uh, this is around one, uh, the heat, uh, the most important to, to, to make it to the semi-final. You know, first three qualified, there's no excess of wasting energy, running all out and burning out and don't have uh, that energy to run in the final. The most important thing, they are all in the semi, and then uh, the goal is to qualify to the final. Now this suggests that the conversation has been about that. Come on, this is too easy. This is too easy. Take it easy. 
Well, if, if it is easy, that's even the main reason why you don't have to waste your energy because when you win the heat, you don't get medal. When you win the semi-final, you don't get medal. It's the final that speaks for the medal. So they are reserving the energy. That's the most important thing. If you get it easy, it's good that you preserve that energy, that you don't waste it. Then tell me the final one. There have many concerns about the shadow. It's quite compact for these athletes. As coaches, how does this become a challenge and how are you able to psych the boys to be able to get the energy to run again? Yeah, I have been in the, I have coached at the world level. I have not seen a uh, 200 meters uh, heat and semi-final run in the same day before. But this is the situation that we have right now. That is the main reason why they have to preserve energy, run the semi-final and progress to the district. So that's what we are doing as coaches talk to them to I mean hold it when you know that you are safe that you are you are uh, you are able to go to the the final day. the semi-final will be happening from 4 p.m. this is our wrap of sports here on journeys today I am Muftar Nabila Abdullah World News is up next Welcome back to Journey Today. Now to uh, checking what's making headlines elsewhere. And Nigeria's president, Bola Tinubu, will introduce a three-man ban on ministers and other government officials from going on publicly funded foreign trips. Mr. Tinubu's chief of staff said the move was prompted by the president's concerns about the rising cost of travel expenses by public officials. The ban will take effect April 1. President Tinubu and his administration have been criticized by some of their frequent visits abroad. He came under attack, especially on social media, after his government sponsored over 400 people to attend the COP28 climate conference in Dubai last November. Since his inauguration in May 2023, Mr. Tinubu has made more than 15 touring trips. The Nigerian president is said to have spent at least 3.4 billion naira on domestic and foreign travel in the first six months of this presidency, 36% more than the budgeted amount for 2023. Tinobo's chief of staff, Femi Biamila, said the travel ban will cut costs amid Nigeria's current economic challenges and the need for responsible fiscal management. That does it for World News. Up next is Showbiz. <laughs> Everyone has a story. In fact, there was a time I decided I have to stop the music. A story of that unique place that gives them a vibe. It's a spiritual moment for me whenever I have to record music because whenever the place is dark, mm. I feel I'm in the studio alone, even okay. without the producer. The vibe that births ex 
excellence, special skills, talent, and mastery. Welcome to eVibes with Becky on the channel. And time now for showbiz. Grammy Award-winning artist Ariana Grande has achieved yet another milestone in her career, debuting and debuting at a number one on the Billboard Hot 100 with her latest single, "We Can't Find We Can't Be Friends." This marks Ariana's ninth number one hit on the chart, making her the first artist in 2024 with multiple number one hits. My colleague Jacqueline Ansumayabua has more in this report. Red TV. Ariana Grande is having a massive week on Billboard's charts. Yesterday, her highly anticipated album, Eternal Sunshine, made waves, debuting at number one on the Billboard 200, marking her sixth number one album. This simultaneous number one debut on Billboard 200 and Hot 100 charts is a first for Grande setting a new precedent among all artists in 2024. Moreover, We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love has not only topped the Billboard Hot 100, but also debuted at number one on the Billboard Global 200 chart, solidifying Grande's status as one of the most influential female artists of all time. Ariana also tops the latest Hot 100 songwriters and Hot 100 producers charts thanks to her credits on all 12 of her charting songs on the Hot 100, all from Eternal Sunshine. Notably, she's the only co-songwriter and co-producer on all 12 songs, with record-breaking positions on Spotify, Apple Music and iTunes. Ariana's latest release has made an indelible mark on the music industry cementing her position as a global superstar. Jacqueline and Sumaya West report, read to you. Copywriters have been successful in creating catchy phrases that stick with people over the years. Can you recall the phrase, Anadriede? Can you still sing, I have vitamin A? And do you remember the famous tagline of Dark Bar Soap Cementia? In today's Ghana Man series, my colleague Danisha Poma AJ walks us down memory lane and revisits some of those nostalgic moments. Are you called Ghana for? It's wonderful to reminisce about the TV commercials of the past, isn't it? They were indeed a memorable part of Ghana's culture. Many of us can recall specific ads that left a lasting impression on us with their catchy jingles and memorable characters. Let's take a trip down memory lane and relive those nostalgic moments together. Let's start with a goodnight mosquito coil advert. <laughs> Good night, mosquito coils. Just right for the night. Next is the legendary men only deodorant spray. <laughs> Sorry, girls. Some things are for men only. Casape's greatest gift to lovers. Yes, you guessed right. Free night calls. Bye. So today you spoke for only two hours. Eh, it was the wrong number. Do you also recall the commercial that had Semencia 
as its tagline. Mwache de fe 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 ma. Sa. Ese we ni jeho. Me ni jeho pa. That's so ni de bi am bi se me ni ma o. Glisu o mo. E ye ma o sa. Me da si o. Mwache de fu fu su bi de ka ho. Sa. You brighten up my day. Save the best way to the center of town. Let's wrap it up. That there is an 80% chance that a comet will hit the surface of the Earth. This is the first point seven FM. There is a 60% chance that it will rain today, with continuing thunderstorms along the southern parts of the country. It will remain. This is Joy FM's traffic watch. There is a heavy traffic jam. And that's how we wrap up the bulletin this afternoon. Before we go, though, there's a statement coming from the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, and I'll share with you assets of that statement. It will be coming on your screen uh, shortly. And... Right, so the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission is asking the three teacher unions to end the strike and come back to the negotiating table. A meeting scheduled for today with the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, we are hearing, did not come on, but there's another one scheduled with the Ministry of Education, hoping that that will resolve the issue. We'll bring you details of all of that in our subsequent bulletins. That's how we wrap up the bulletin this afternoon. Log on to myzonline.com. There's more of the news and update of all the developing stories to enjoy the rest of our program. Restoration is brought to you by Prices, everyday prices for everyday people. Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection. Capsuling. Same thing, same thing. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use tasty tom and rich tomato mix. For naturally whiter tea, Pepsodent charcoal. Every time we see the sunshine, it's just a reminder that the maker is still taking extremely good care of us and he's got us always. I'd like to say a very big thank you to our sponsor, Yas Washing Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, Hooch Corn and Choco Flakes, High Sense, Everyday Prizes for Everyday People, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Tuwazi Apartments, and of course, our newest addition to the family, Malta Guinness. Yes, and Malta Guinness comes with some very great news. And I know most of you have been seeing Malta Guinness in a clear plastic bottle. Yes, I just need you to know that the taste is still the same. Yes, it hasn't changed. The thickness is still the same. So please remember to refresh yourself with Malta Guinness goodness because we come to you in a clear plastic bottle. Malta Guinness, enjoy a world of good. A very big thank you to my glam team, ABS Lux Line, for my outfits. A very big thank you to GH Beauty Artistry. And my hair is from Hair Duties and it has been styled by Hair Mate GH. We'll be right back after this break.
Tasty Tom Deer, it will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup, and it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix, me ha rice and the soda. Then I need the nebia sanet here. Into customers bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym. Because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long summer chip took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is it supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got. Yes. Yes, we got yes, protection. I got. Yes, extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes, protection. I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsin and charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With the power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin and smells. Mm -hmm. For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and charcoal. Tasty Tom Deer, it will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. Taste no so dear. On point. Flavor new. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. Ow. Let me see. She's never had a toothache before. Hmm. There might be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely. Pepsodent. Ten times stronger teeth. <laughs> Use Pepsodent's cavity fighter. Sebano demu kunya bien to mime menono king of antique furniture antique chasete ting kunya f and you want to design no bien and inse. Baby, it's not the day. Dining sets, papa, pa, you more sort of. The edit television, she shall show a friendly TV stands, papa, pa, any bini. Say a carpet. The bonyum, the yet the moon share. The edition bedrooms. Yeah, hall, and your hotels, restaurants, offices, and him for and sorry, and sorry, a sorry penny for a human penny for one you know, but in chain be penkunya. If you say a fatta won, mean kunya, and any one them say, open ebia, paddy a fe, and intimate tunes of fre was a bombardier, so baba king of antique furniture, the hall, and I'll be near the fe, ah, a check if you say a papa.
showrooms be bring na woga na ha na so bu pia ni wani me de se king of antique furniture hwehwe me kire kwan e wa la paz a brand here sport to dan ni mu a ana se la paz kwantem pon no so ye brand che kesi e pa wo nya me che junction no so a to wani hwe soro na ho na be hu king of antique furniture showroom no frame e 0244 7190950 se wo ba na se wo hu so a wo kakra bi a wo bi a fa to wo e bre sim ba ba be fa ko e bi ni ba bi a ji han ko a king of antique furniture a bottom six home of quality furniture And yes, of course, I have to give a lot of appreciation to our refreshment partners, the Sousa Catering Services, as well as our production company, Mclon Media Production, who always ensure that we come to you with the best content that you can have on your television. So we're moving on to our conversation today. Most of the time, we seem to be sailing on a very smooth way. We seem to be driving easily to our destination, but before you know, something could just cross you and that something can actually turn your life around. My guest today had his life sailing easily, enjoying his home, enjoying his family until something just turned everything around. Please, let's welcome our guest, Mr. Charles Chumisi. Uncle Charles, how are you? Thank you. Good. Please, you have to speak up a little. Okay. And before we start our conversation, I know you know Malta Guinness. Yeah, You've yeah. been drinking Malta Guinness yeah, yeah. from when you were younger, yeah, right? Yes, yes. And it was in that bottle. I say, e kutu yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And now, e mu pipa. Uh, yeah. But say, say, Malta Guinness, yeah, say, your packaging. It's a plastic bottle. It's yeah, a clay. Yeah, 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 and I yeah. still, a long time ago, so I was still yeah, a mupi. Yeah, yeah. I'm a mupi. And I'm a patch of our day and I'm a cheers. Dear cheers, sir. Let's just see a beer so. Let's cheers to a good conversation. Well, what's that what you say? It's a patch of our day. 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 It's a patch of our and it's exactly so nothing has changed. Same taste, same thickness. Uncle Charles. Madam. It's the same. I don't. Just me 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 who was she? I said me introduction, me me can say it's all that we see quite be so so na baby a be frame okay okay. Ma ma mean be so na oye school beza. That's a beza idea. When you say not near my air cost ye, Pama, type and I'll start to hear beza. Oh, me. I brought me be a secondary school. No. I'm check. And I'm a papa few. T. Never move a yard. Crying, you know. I say school who sends him in tea. As I say, me pet age may be adding. A year for your meantime, in tea. Because school, so more mature application as a best because me a uh, business. Okay. Uh -huh. And to make sure. You know, contact can follow. <laughs> I don't care <kakrao. laughs> And you know, mature application for uh, uh, accounts clerk. And I'm a true boy. Now, now me I don't. Then I have farm. And you know, I'm a farm. And they said the Juma Air Course from the routine. They said I'm a cobra. Me here we you know be be jubey na me koba na kakra kakra me starti ne emu ya di ndi me se o starti ma o franye me ni ane ya umu ane inti kakra 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 sa inti ne muno huna me ya maju ni so na kama me pese me chuo do is kind of short short courses in ibi ah se di ibi ah se di papa ni ni huna ni ansu me betu me di a support me huna inti no na me ba papa ni ni huna na mama ewe Eh, who is there? My men or her bet, and you won't be a dink a crab or papa no wind, few moon said ye, as I say, a yen a yarrier bed thrown a crane to out to me, sir, and near my sign, a crab. And a number yet to say. Hmm. Bet me, I guess, my mammy, but we may toss nine. Who toss a nine? Yeah. And no papa yet. But a beer film. Oh, yeah. In two years, what you say were your short courses? No, what you mean, a year short courses? Oh, me, yeah, be me, yeah, me, according to graphics. 
Tini, a graphic design, my crama minya mi diploma. Omo. And I'm here, my jeans, say, Omoa. Kakanga class, I may hear my area, Makwa Kusina website design, so they are fra, a munana. A man, you know, by. Ma, ma, be so. In tea time, man, now. Oh, yeah, why drink so work or your courses are with me, and your diploma in graphic design. Me, nano, na still, oh, yeah, better, Edgeman. Still, na no, me. So na a near man, I'm a pen. Only there, be we, you know. Now me trying to say me pay a juma or graphics in on in tin a hand. Then also I say me call her. Now me in tin a moon. Now me imagine say um can be person pay shoes ah we don't know can be ah ma me me say me pay person me then echo on kind of crack yeah. In tin so now me imagine in tin oh now me here beza na beza na na me oh. For the meantime, because I mean, yeah, any work on graphics, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, better. No, a year, then I win a man, a man, a banner too. A man, a year, said you call by an idea, my crown, and then, 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 you know, I'm a cry, me sign to me once because me a branch and me see some set and moon a moon and I'm a war, and me warm a thirty small, and you know. Now me come you ma said the SSM here no PPF. See that could be na me go me office because I say me here best than you know. I say most of the time me na me rani a juma no. Emma me madam. So I say me rani bibi a man. Unse na en sheda in a private school. Unse na I say me na me rani school ni bibi a unse na all the time me make sure I say me wo a juma me ni adi. Na that could be na. Well, my office said they say a juma ye ye na da na me wo hona one of nkwalani bi appearance by say or she share ye be stress you know I think it's not your bar uh huh it's cool na na your bar into a castle or she share no into a castle or she na msu na in school so I say be be a school when I go on and if you answer then I wo. Me catch on so and a pay dear as a own pay. Me imagine post a year me say be a school fees issues being tina or by be home, madam. To me so and a pay dear as a madam no painting or be caught, nanko a back a crown or so de be or pursue whom and I say be in the name so, sir. Okay, and a mamma call her say, Oh, wah. Into me coin, I'm a cobble and a pon of cars so one of young quala and be a parent, a head, a shell, and no more. Or so, okay. My man in bed in the hall, hall meeting. Oh, ba. So me dey me catch her no jah or call in the hall, hall now. Me sme ba. Oko oko office. Me office. Say dey say me juma ya. Nti me wah hall na me muse. Wah, I think say offre one of the students. Maybe some more offre headmaster na man. E no more offre na man. E na one. Uh, teacher be, I'm friend and Nash, Nash, and also more friend man. Until as to the net air course or honey dear, now we mean me air course. Until our home will say more of the teachers in a cry day, or free one or uh, three I people. Saw a hair call, not a frog. Until I'm the media, me name the air course, intimidia, and one some more office. I'm here, bitch, ma. Because now my office is to be beyond one, so I say. Uh, uh, you opposite to the class, you know. Uh, me and Tomo, me be to her, me love it, be be our, our teachers, and then so more books, be be our uh, own. I saw more Bahon, be ye, or money, all the time, be an a young villa, or ma, your friends, or be be our, or Pesel, or Beffa, be or no baby, be or into a more corner, more by that very day, any day. My own, honey, or more cars, even could see in a moon, some I mean, I be Timothy, a horner, who said, Edney, a school, me, a war. And you have been rumors being getting 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 So, me two rumors, you know, we are you Nash, yes, we are seeing your boy, see Nash, 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 I say, be say, one of young Kuala and you be a quack or I'm so. How possible? I didn't know, yes, and I ain't in any one hand, eh, then to me, yes, sir. Until when you're media, be imagine the ones and your media, and then farming home. Into no. I think that day night, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Friday, 
na friday was coming to ya anti hwe na kwanti monday me samba i said there say me ba me djuma pepe pa na for tutu afemi wo ho no me me ntimi ga say i think na e tell you na friday you know yes na madam no e samba ho bi we be say omo omo say omo nko na ade chi o pe say on free akola no ne ne nkasa no mo hwa ntia ade chi ye no na mo hu say omo bai e ho na e circuit supervisor bi ya na oba around until me hu say ono so e ba ho na na parent ne ba no mo invite e ko wi so mo invite na ashe ne nko ani head master nti afi mo ona me madam ne free me say it was small be some friend say member ti me call ye no na ma me no eji i so o kasa e ye dide ni ade eni we set am crampo de na me de be nim ne e ko so nti o ye dide ni ade me de am hwe ni din nti na wo mu a na prince eh prince supervisor no ne ye friend eh ye mistress no o mu call ho nti o mo free akwala no ene ne bo nkomo e ma a crani pie na supervisor ni so ani madam ni wo ho no ma fre national amanafo o ma ko kasa no mo fre me so ansana me koko tie se ye se akura yi se me ma fa na me ne na ada na me se a e wo he fa na na woni ma kra na so o ye ye student ni bi ti definitely me ni mo no any parent ni nya ti Tiaba ni sana msu media asema mo kwenye bi a new to me mi ni mo hivi na mi moro vakura no seta mo na mi misi tu maanyam maasa to be frank ndi maanyam basi mti mi no mi early thirties mo kura ni sana mi yade mi o ti seta mo mo na ma wo akala fufu a we di one man two weeks. And they say, I'm a kind of so me, 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 Today in Tina Abasa, eh no, kasi na msimama me, adi a okay mi ni mo hofi, baby a ofesa odi kubi a fafo, ope free me grow so kura me ba bedi, a bedi ofesa mi yema, na me huato, because mi de mi ni mi se, a dream be ni mi trim, mi ye me juma se de se se, a branchi a osi subi a se oti mi ye we juma, ena na me, inti se de ka se mno ka se mno na umu umu bi bi umu di ni tifa na umu di ni tia a fafa na a se a se a fe kubi a umu se oki ni yebe sa be tuwa se mno sun. Eda hofo, that was ne a Friday ni e kwa ebidi. Enti mde mpini saa se wano. Omo unho ni fare ba ba katura. Mandi ima ba ye juma. Sata, mo ne nash no, edi mkomo. O ze na, o ze mi yobi ya mi ye juma. Mi sheda endi mkomo. Ok, se de ishu ni ba ye, nene amwa se mwi. O ze ishu ni ba ye, o ze nash no nye ubi o ema down for sa. Biko na mi minti e hono mo. Me me pon na me kwa. Enti na mi nyu obi na me ne ne ebo nkomo ye hia wo sku ni bi a ye ti aye ho enu ani nkomo e wo mi ni mi tim enti no monday said me ka said monday yaba ejume mu said e ese so obi aba na ejuma afi staff airport me dem content pa because of me side ni enti me be bi a me me ejume enti me content pa maba Teachers never. Afi, your train ya nash. Wamba. 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 Inti me kwa ame ba na nkrofobi ba ame office. Omba ame office na omba chia mansi meji amusi. No mbisi ame somu fi. Omu ya police for mu feminist peace never. Na ya ba belogi complaints eh. 
me me define the akura ewo school man am say me na me dey akura akura me ni obi obi abo ni mi fie me ni obi anso mbo nkomo me me djuma me ye ni nti no ewo me me tini me bi ase say we limit bi a e so ni obi a di parent kura ni nkwala e di e di agro because of school fees ajije na o chena bi oni parent bi be da ko sa afi na won tumi ndi ntibe me hwe the way I'm in your relationship and city, and I feel so. We need a lot about this uh, defilement and rape issue, you know. We make sure I say, I call it Biano. We will limit them, you know, you're there. I will. And I'm, you know, then you can normally say, yes, me, then I'm so, oh, I said, me, the minimum, no more, no more, we say, crampo. Now, say the incident, you know, AC, you know, me, crane, eh, me, mama. Into na kona mimi say teachers na for mu demonstrate eh your friends and um police for ni demonstrate eh CIA ni demonstrate he said yeah me yeah yeah me put me busy answer na eh or say me me far na eh far na me dey na ko eh into your one friend run ko draw me to attention say or say oba me me office ho baby ana mo jina baby ah me me team your office ah me head me turn me me ji me school fees eh ji eh ebi amu feeding who ni ama ini skip biya same biya na kona na me ji and the any one mobile number can say say time say na yeah between seven and na me say ah na me time at seven and we in Kweto be a because of a whole space in you want to make better bonding. I make sure say me fit a bonding how crampo ako inside we your friend is in my office how crano. Na ya bo eight to nine. And this a time na crano e kase me yes idea no. Me, me, yes, sure, say, I a moreover, and say, may you cry, I'm the check, baby, I'm the one to me, you show me, you don't want to head you, I'm the one who can't come, so, I'm the one who can't come, so, I'll be here, I'm the class, ha. Me, I'm the one who's the office, so, me, I'm the one who's the teacher, I'm the one who's the book school, student, I'm the one who's the book school, I'm the one who's the police, I'm the one who's 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 the one, Say I'm going to answer. I'm going to say 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 Mufri, one one crowd be a one crowd you know. So, so director, no him say walk. Ma ma crowd say me be you ma. The animal say me be you ma. After me be you ma na say me be you me mo a time as one. He anti fibio. If you me ho because at that time no, I think say me phones na me into me amu ma me use me phones ni a dey into no. Later na me ka me ever me say me me ba me crowd me use me ni break as ah. Mudi teni mi atu wa mi ni mi ema ye. Adi niti na mo mfa mi phone ba na mi mfre mi nkro ofo nka njiro mi se ebi ya. Se ni se ni se na atu ni. Ansi na ebi ya mi be fre. Omu ti ya se na wiki ya mi be ya kwa fre. One of mi aunties bi ya nani kuno kwa ye polisi ni. Mi fre ni. Tombo mbe chile chile ya se mo. Se ye defilement case issue na aba ne bi ye. Na uti mi se anu ya di nkakra. U nyawo hon. U nyawo hon. Because omu hisho omu ni mo mo mu yi ye. Ni ye ko. Ni ye ba. Ni yako afi two days time afi yasi ye processi me di mi afu court si mi chuo statement mi jamu si mi chuo mi statement adi a mi si mi di mi na se mi ni mushi mi ni afu ni ni encounter mi biya ni we ni we se de ishi ni ya ni ni ano mi ni moho ashi si yangu yambra yangu yambra adi two twelve two twelve um two twelve mo na incident na esiye si ya unko ya mbrasa na tuwe teti ya kwenye abangkwa mwede wanye ya hindi kesi mkwe mi niye ko niye ba niti after cross examination si niya di adie nyino mo ye ye ni witnesses nyino mo boa yo mide mfini si witnesses haba hone di ya akubifekte mwede kura wwe kaa ye ni niya mani mandi yo zi ya wedi ya mwede ya tomi niti de kura mwede ko wwe mwede yi kura mpo no a judgment crown, put your handcuff crown to me, sir. Because now, 
CID in Ukraine is who and Eddie, Eddie, because because when the NIA is in a crane, say a defamation issue. Defamation issue ah, Eddie, I mean, we say we mean Nim Kurampu, I mean, we say Eddie, I say call hospital ah. Yes, report dear chess me who be be war a crano. Na de a yem one say a crano be no so almost on him twenty weeks. I didn't say me say me who cry get him to say five months. Five months, twenty weeks or five months. On him twenty but during the cross examination, I didn't you know me saying be on see you because it take him years. Oh, me saying you who are crowns so one one. Men so say I say mukoye maybe mukoye America we do amu ya frame ya yame she. Men one say me do. This that time no na woda he. Eh da o two thirteen muni na mu wo um a ministries police station. Inti na I say we amu a one or two people amu barbers from ni a di na fi. Men say a chesa na onu funu ni pa. Inti na fu bi amu bi unti bi. I can't say, say, you're ready now, you're ready. You're so chill. You're not, you're so not funny saying. And you're easy, I'm. You said, oh, issue about funny say, oh, you're a bar, now me know her. Now me to me, if you reach, I'll fuck off, I'll fuck off. I'll fuck off, 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 I'll Oh, and easy, nay easy because at that time, nay easy. Cora, ain't you know? A two thirteen more hook or two fourteen more hon, and I from best sentence in. On best sentence in ya, I'm say ten years in the first place, mommy, mommy, because of time wasting ya, didn't he? The umbet me down on the ten years. No, my young man, won't you ask you? Say, I dear, I mean him, or she. Na me kwa kwa bre wa mo keke diye. E se, e biya bibi na an kwa yi. Inti ma me yon fa ili a pi. Eh, wede mi sa chuma si mi an kwa bre ki ma na me no me mo ti na. Just like that. Sa ha, no no. Ana wunya a sentence. Ten years. Ten years. That was even a start wo. E no kwa ne a start no no. Ten years. E opon je, wisti na ma wisti ni ni na no. Ye bibi ni a sande ten kwa e ni. E pe e mesu. Wow, this is getting interesting. We'll be right back after this break. Tom dear, it will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom tomato mix. Me high rice and so soda. Then I need to be a sun dear. Into customers bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and rich tomato mix. This advert is FDA approved. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym. Because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long summer trip took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence, I got. Yes. 
Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection. <gasps> I love Pussin and Charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsin and Charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With a power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin and smells. Mm -hmm. For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and Charcoal. Let me see. She's never had a toothache before. Hmm. There might be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely. Pepsodent. 10 times stronger teeth. <laughs> use Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter. It's our giveaway moment at ABS Lux Line, located on the Doko Highway, opposite Anointed Electrical. And I have another beautiful lady with me here this week. How do you get to say? I'm here. 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 I'm so that is our winner for this week. Next week, we'll come your way with another winner. This is indeed some goodness. Rachel's, what's up, Nadia? What's up, Nadia? My mother again is nipping at seven or so now. As I'm not your name, sir. Well, that is our winner for this week's high sense of a crazy giveaway moment. This story is something. In the sentence, there was no medical report. No, my medical report, yeah. Or ban pen or There was no evidence of pregnancy. A BBA, no, me and Hush. And I say a sentence, so. A sentence, no. Your sentence, I feel well, I'm going to say, 
I said, I said, hey, yeah, to me. Then I will hear you. After more sentence, you know. That time now, I'm more about sentence. I'm more referring because now, sales or be here, man. And to have more referring, be a call in some home. Already now, or what I don't. Now, if you want to, now, and Chessa, now, if you want to, maybe. And to me, buy more sentence, you know. Nay, so much, I think to me, dear, dear, how is it? I think that daddy na na di no mo de me concern. Enti no, amu arrange me ni ne ko ko we one so amu no. Na still na I say me me tell me how I see you ho. Enti na I say me start to aye my appeal. Na me me to me aye den enfi because na me me my dream ni na I was only aqualani enti. I say kakra mi wobi and to me the force aye den aye baby. It is known best that is a share, me should share me proceedings. Now, because of na Afu OBM by Intino, maybe now be na or doom for be a na or boam and me to men in a cassa, a crank, a crank, a crop, go on, no sooner I issue in our bar. I'm with a ne, no man to cabina, a bar and woofy hoins. I saw no an amen in a communicating a crank, canada, or Jimmy proceedings in one. Now, the young one is a Proceedings no or J no de buy na if she mun. Okay, can you say be a new woman? Mimi si de be no, yet me try yes, crow. No, and you want our trust. There's me. Mimi, yeah, audio recording. Okay. Tama na cross examination be beam your audio recording. But Tama, I say, and can I de mine, yes, see. Eh, eh, we, eh, dicks na crash it. Oh. In Tina, which means no. Casa me can o dia me can na ayekwa. Ena mi hu se di omoye ye omo de type ye e de ma me. Ena omo so mo bi proceedings ye de ko ye san de ko high court e san bo ho ka. Ka kra ja e wo me account mu e ja me de bo abo me ho ka kra e se me san yi na ye de ye den ye de me e san de me ko afi de ko afi li wo so. Afi ye di di mu high court nsi ye di 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 mu sa. Afi ye mi wi ya no wa han se no. With five years. Hey. Mi fang. E ba ya no ma be mu di e bu yi pa. Inti omo sa ye. E han se ya de ya no. De ya na ote wa wi di yo. Asa wo kwa pri wu ti se. Ya be mu wa be fi ye na. Ya sin ye guru. E no. Mi se. E no me kache wo se. E bu bu mi kura 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 kura. Na afi mi nim ni ya mi ye bi yo. Na fi mi nim ni ya mi ye bi yo. Ti bu wo kwa. Bo wo ho en pa ye bo. Pa ye bo. Un se ye honen se ye wo honen. E di an sorry kakra wo inti. E so di bi yen pa. Because se to mre bi na. Wan ye sa di en. Wan fa on wan. Don. E bi ya sun bi mwa. Wan kan di wad be yon honkura an. Un ti bi. Gwa tama me ti yen. Mi yo bi ya. Ke e se mi kou mi honkura an po. Bet. Nen di ni me ye chile no. Na me bo ta ya ye wo me ni sou ne se ye. En tre di a to me sou me pe se mi nyan hon hon. Ye fren ni se ye. Na wo ti di di. Mi nyan mi ti mo di di. Na a fin se ti tri nan kasa na akwa la na wa ba yu ya se no. O no na na o ya me bo ta ya pa an so a na o da me ni sou. En ti no. E mou ni e stati a so. En ti na ada kolek se bi ko. O mo ko ti mi a di e ma me be pe lo ya bi ma lo ya kura be fa hon di mi si ka kura a ko we yu kura we yu we yu ko wa yu di hon a di yon po. Pe ko so wo hwa. We, oh yeah, limited to so many things. This will be now be catching. Even communication. Yes. We will be now be catching. So, koye we mami, koye si mami, koye si mami. Inti na afi communication, no. Emba. Ti se fesi. Inti no, ya. Me mami na na, eba be shram. But kama, afi five years ni be tos. Me shara kachire mami ni so. O nya eba. Na, en che me ba. Because nami, di we are oba. No, so who da be fi? Eh, no, so who da? Me ne ha me ne Che ma me be stop ma me inti na afu bm ma. Inti na me ko na mo prison. Oba na so eja yo. And yeah, so on the oja me tamu a abra issue me start to run. Start it da da da. Inti ne mu no. Eh, me call it back when me ne ne da. Na I think it's not a court. Na na o di. Human rights lawyer be on a dance. If you make crime in any time too, the lawyer now, or you see your friend, say, or so your friend, eh, Sunny Rashid. I'm so, 
a coming, obey to me, dear, I'm a mean no acassa. No, so why not obey to me, dear, I'm a mean no, to be frank, men in a cassai. Men in a cassai no car, so see, see, I dear. Own to me and cassai say that you're no mumno, me more obeying fat be proceeding in your day, and bring not on chance, I say. Baby, be a bit to me. I find that M one so be catcher him. Now, you who said the name so, me near GD Edding. At this man, or no, come home now for me and who's our best ram was your friend is in. So, praising on him, catch him say, case him. A time now, high court no, or more boas and all, but lawyer no one woman. In the case who are interested or per se or fighting our case with him. Over fight to cry and easy three years in age. Near court, do I know? No, 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 say, be told me, be now say, or no, so battling with health issues or crimes. Now, for two quine or cobanty. No, you to me could be a na because of we knew it too quine as I'm still near the entity. The last time cry, or ye, I've been saying, young sound court honor. Now, I see a sound court pray for your court, your court pray say, a big grant, yeah, my back. No, no, crying, gene people because not check. Ti ya kwa ya nwa aja. O ma mi lo ya biya ya kwa granti ya o ya ya wa ti ya nwa ni neji ya. Eka se a ni ni aji. Biko nwa on espeti se bibi se bisi. Nti fi ho nwa na fi. Ni ho be to ni kakura ya. Na fi o stati be di kese ni echi. Enu ne nye izi. Nye izi. Se ta mi na mi eke kani nye na ako yi nye na ano. Se ta mi na wade mo se. Na mi ne na mi kwa 7 years mo no. Ene sa haka kakura na nkwe cha. 15 years mo. Ene sa 7 na wako mo be half. Almost half. So, Debi, so half now, wakumu no. Eh, um, so tell me, de, eh, de, 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 because, se, ye, be, tell me, a che, oh, no, anyway, no. Debi, na mi, ya, sa, ah, when, for the time, wa, omu, de, che, mene, de, omu, 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 na odidi e chiri nka kran ka kran ka kran ka kran ka kran afi be do judgment to be frank me edru mre bia na ma be mo egu judgment me dey to be frank say ni yakopon na me ne ne ka sai dey and that dey ni do tie me pa because e to mre bi no na me we say i say a re ho na asha me man afi be abe mo ma be mo because i say Crab which we in an I say my sign assist canina because that time I'm a war honor. Because of a banny do ye ain't mean per se or they may babble call Nami who nature are quite be winting. Me for so and so say, I saw Bammy brother, and look around taking me easy. Tonight I say, Cacram one who want me ye be, Nam dear Tia, me school fees near dear. On to I say, I see Kay, dear kind of dear, your friends may appeal me issue. Ain't you know? A da, na me babe ko, a time of babe swami babe ko, a me la judgment, you know, to be frank. A much upon a minute, na me da ho. A similar pea frame, and when we're ready, you see, I dear, I come in any mean face. So when you saw no pan or bore me, our one mission, the mammy said, when Bramber was as you were so dear, I feel any. So must have seven years we a pam and hook on that said, Oh, ye be my Joseph, no ye. On Fan Kaimin, so that time you almost seven, seven, four months. Muno, I don't know. And then you do why a coy. A cock court, not ye deep, cock for ensem. Now we move conormal by ye, de normal conormal by. If you do me, dear, so now judges now sorry. Now if you have a castle with me, case me, dear, and found quite different. Uh, I feel court room. No, I see no problem. Neither your call, your call no be any ho. Because baby, I near one day night. I need to be brave. Uncle four, central four, mm -hmm. honey, uncle four, you know. One we are recording, same baby into we into. I'm going to call different separate way. I feel so much more ready, ready, ready. Three judges need you now. But when they cast eye, I see you know my your mind doing that. Say, I'm sure we move. I'm sure Miss Condot, you will be baby. Because I'm going to be follow judge, you know, a handwriting, and then I'm going to be a boy. 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 I'm going to be a
Omakwechi and discharge its immediate effect. No, the man. What is our prof? No, they are not even reading. Ma, but you are going to say at that moment, you know, only say a real who are not a shame. So no shame, shame, you know. Say that no, 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 say a real who are no. Because at that two minutes, no, into me, because I need me a misio. I'm going to never. No, into me, because even for a lawyer, I'm going to be some as I'm going into me, you know. After two minutes in waiting up, I said, No, we are saying, Patrol, at the end, you see. No, it's a good feeling. Say, I dare say, be jammy. Or catch him to be frank, a new general, a new hope, I said, always petty be. If you be ho nanka at that moment, and nanka always be got me, if you say, me feel when you're a shed and it's okay, me feel a sinker. My first time, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Because when I was a kid, I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. Because I was almost seven years old, and I was starting to do this. I was starting to do this. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Say now, baby, starting then, then now, baby, at this age, because me, but no, most you see, I mean, no, because I mean, I'm forty-two. That would be a free in some way. I won't say, 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 dear, and yet time now, my dear, may be fee, it won't say, be a mechia, say, dear, now so any da so or sign up or feel it. Ena mweka na adi chini ya me ena mweka sio dadi ni njia dadi na ana mi ba mu even kwa bi bi kwa mu sio process ni adi adi ni mi fumu ba sio ena kwa one week e woho to just imagine u be fee dia eni jeni dia woho kakra but o sain bi e chini sio ana ai sio o ya ba mu sio dia na insa mu sain diwe ni ana diwe chi enti no. Yamia uh, do me pee on the twentieth. No, that was February, February twenty twenty. I think the first we are me who we me see I me interview cry me cry cry. I think me ne we are pukua. I be me lady me ne take me that interview. The few on a quiet time. Any easy, any easy. It have not been easy because we are back home from us and be see a quiet time. Now be be on course. When I when I was on course, I'm more. Obi obi show o kran bo no o chine bro san ba bi me be funu no be funu no me su mi obi a adie busa e me den o nti no before bo mu se me busa o sa de na o tumi se i watch o pa se se bi ye me ho hwe kre ye ye na e se me force na me busa but eno ani edi wo mu se at least ni pa be pay juma ye ni pa ko juma wo nya juma because i me be lose most of my certificate me su bi because na me ma ma down to be cause Farm one or two bits. I'm a dog from Ukraine. I'm from Wilfim. Oh, we need her. So I tell him, "I'm going to work on it." We're going to say, "Minnie, I'm a Akechwe." Akechwe. Don't you know? Oh, oh, by then, oh, oh, cool school, oh, 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 oh I know, but on my own, we move in. I go catch the baby. You say, "Friend, we go up with you and call him." Hey, your friends are all for no. We go anything. Oh, and now friends, I know say it's because they are. It's because some of us are not far away. In a school, it's not private. It's baby. I move on. I think some of you see, but the H three, no. I think some are relocated. But we lose most of contacts. We bring into no up to now from Pumina, mistress, no, a number of it. And you put the nanka and how we be brave. Say, at least, best sign a page, my be my gentleman now. So now, my energy, my son, they are picky a bit. And easy, it may be a bit could be a sign, say, if you crave a kit or certificate, you will cry on with your chromo in your age, man. It will cry then or quack away. And I dis your age. Who call a factory hand ground pass car hand on with your mom? Obey the answer, but I should be a banner, me banner almost. Eight years. Wow. In January six. Hey, I think we one month, two weeks. Now, which are you going to? 
Let's all buy no more. Yeah, you send P. And no more than a crown for no stone now, may buy an easy man. And ye easy man, sir. A moon and a jay, your crook room, my page, man, said, Man, who had in Tibu or her an ager. And now, for be a beer, new new side, mean to me, Cassandra, now for baby, a new new side beer, because means me, baby, be I am, maybe. Yes, I mean, swimming to me in transes, sir. You do, I mean, to me, call side to side. Me chini. I walk to say, me men and tia could be beer. Me do beer, me who say, Omo ye construction, me be out, me crack could be so, and patch or maybe I'm a page, money be I then. I a blue, my crown, my mom, from a blue aminia, a blue on Saminia. But Nancy, and even my wedding, me even crabby be said, I mean, no tea where I can say crabby be amity cream and wedding. The landlord, the SMT, and I can't say any money. Amazing. Sent me 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 tehane bi onu se me kasana ofi se bi amu ni je mu a mi de ni je efe ni mi je di e mi ni bi e bi abe free me busa mi so e bi a eti sen e bi meka chwa se me yena entro na mi chwa unti mi all the time na se o free me kura na busa meka papa se meka chwa se me hoya na mi chwa entro unti di a me chwa se me ho chwa me ube tu mi a mo abi a mo abu a me en so be kanom di a ya se se ofi se bi a o o o Ye be be now, moment. Now you leave it there. Maybe I'm will be up with you, maybe I'm because old Bassana no be up a say or chain in home fuel. And ye easy, mammy. In a baby, I'm a few years to say, You'll be a yammy shrew new mo. Now, wouldn't you but tie being so with this one? And you may be in a man who know her. A horn, your walk from four ho, your drug dealers for a whole lot, a ho. So I'm coming to me. I join in the idea. I can't go ahead the SME. But it's time to tell you, man, you shouldn't. So any money I'm there to make it. Now my father told me once, I said, "I'm from side construction side to side before nine years and eight years." Because we have been called office now. I can't wait for you, man. So the idea is that I said, "Sacrifice me." I'm the yes idea. Now, oh, oh, by oh, by the man, I'm so hungry. Me hungry. I was crying be di me ho for some time. But I said a year ka kra. Inti no. E be told me be na enye me must stay mu e mu ya din ma me. Inti na say me ma na afu nsu o nyi ni. Inti na e e nya say so ko me ma me because me to me nka say enye me be nyi ske bi e ne ma be wari ama makofa me ba be. Say bi o chine bi dia fine. Say me nyi bi nsu da say me ti o ho e nyi. Aha. Ti say me ka say akure o ne ma me ho a o hwe no for the meantime say nyi ma to to say de e say e we a makofa ma dia ba me chi. Wow, me ma we free mu. Yes. Na me ni e da na se se wa am bo akokra poso 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 ansa na asem na na da ho ye hu mu no kre. Ti me ka se nyankopon hye wotem. Yes. Na nya me na ne ni mi e wo ye e bi e ho na wo kodai no o de wo ye. Because if you are with Jaw, we your best, and now give you a yen, they say, "Nay, it's hard." You didn't come. Now, my dear, the young son, what the young man be breathing? Oh no, or the hot boy yet to set hiding space, Emma. And why young Queeny hot, a Busiani hot, a do baby crow be a bit chawas a major, or be as you shall not see a real few. And so then, young Coupon, or the Waco see, send your baby home by. And to make us any name, we are faster than man. Why, yeah, dear, what bon who buy? What down for a cordial certificate? You could buy only hope, or where you were peeing on quad day. Dear, trust you now, for bay, I'm an eye for fair. Why, to say, say, baby, I would drink by two, you can't bark, who ye mammy are not, ya shed the high sense for a de bemoa coffee. It's a cat here, I hear you bark on a for mammy. Thank you for coming. You take home a rice cooker. Into high sense for Emma rice cooker. E just say say ya. What's in your sujeni? Udrana auto money gumwa. Na wanwa wadi kakrep. Into the rice cooker in high sense. Yen fabu. Ah, why ya mana ifo? When bisa me cry, why ma me bisa o say? Na di na waka che high sense. Yeah, that was. So much so much kaimi. Na me share che so what's them no? A gym in them na me nim se be bri na na. A way any more, I mean, a bay amount. And meaning say, or more, more share ye, our restoration, so darn it, da, and grow for Baha no me yam wa. Ye bomb, meaning say ye bra, Charles, more bay ye, am an eye fit. To say ye bra, baby, our da, a ye problem, or back at toi, our ocean. While wasty 
almost nine years of his life. Say so we need Juma, into my doorful, and then made the kotu jugu for me sre. Say kakre biye benye biya, yen sende na bra chao sunye bibi kakra. Say ne bojo bojo bikra na onu abe stati aya. We need say at least ne sabe kona no ne sa ebe ko ne ne ba no so ne sabe kona no. Ye ne kasa abanya abanya ye ne huai ye mene. Ba Charles me pacho o mobile money number e ye say na ma do fo entimin send o sika kakra na o so fa ye bi pacho me number ni 0591 385265 pacho sign bo bi 0591 385265 ntime pamo cho ma mo wo fie e chese ke to bi ansa no matter how little you think it is e bi e be sombo ama mene me bra ntika kra bi abenya bi aye mfa maye bra no no so ne kra emra ne ho na ne nji no ho se nyankopon pa mr momonye e ma ne nye fe a very big thank you going out to all of our sponsors yas washen powder yas sanitary pad hooch con and choco flakes la palm royal beach hotel to wazi apartment you're saying a very big thank you to you and to say a very big thank you to ophelia of abs lax line to gh beauty artistry m clan media productions asusa catering thank you all very much and my last lpm me ye wo chi e ya na ya ye pemota guinness i ye starting no mota guinness we tetetete no you your new bottle, yeah. A what a year clear plastic, yeah. I need a drink set as a son. A Diana so dear, eh, da. So the good rubber boom, with the good ceramic boom, eh, de. Chance and nonsense, a eh, Diana need taste. Into your mortar guineas, yeah, a what your clear plastic bottle, ye. Taste, no, it's a said that, na, it's a mortar guineas, na. Kai said the beer, or better, or mortar guineas, because a year, a year, you were in your new baby room. Ah, a bit bois with daily activities in the Pamacho. Go out there and grab your Malta Guinness. It has been a very insightful episode, and I know that say say mu ina mati asia say toda asem impi nipa nipa ne pa asem but toda so a nipa impa asem asem pi nipa inti say mu na ma amasun so mu mu amaye because mu ina mu mu hiye. Always do remember you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you next week. Welcome to the sizzling world of Big Chef Season 3, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with their innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship and the joy of cooking together and that's the true recipe for pure happiness tune in to joy prime every sunday at 5 p.m and follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together big chef good meals by kids proudly sponsored by fortune rice fried tall cooking oil endomie flora tissues tasty tom Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Arome 3 Lights. This coming Easter Monday is Love FM Family Party in the Park. 1st April 2024, Rotary Park, Baya de De. So start putting plans together and let's have the biggest family picnic experience ever. Where are my bubbly little kitty bobs, neckabums, papas, obitsikum? We will make available all the kids playing items, trampoline, bouncy castles, electric train, merry-go-round, stationary airplane, horse race, face painting, TV games. For all the adults in Kumasi, get ready for the adult corner. Get your dancing shoes on for some electrifying live band music. The date is Easter Monday, 1st April 2024 at the Rat Trap Park. The Nyame rate is a cool 10 Ghana cities, 8 a.m. sharp. The Love of a Family Party in the Park. Easter edition. We simply can't wait.
salvation, healing, miracles. The Accra Sports Stadium is about to witness the unmistakable power of God. Be healed. Be healed of weakness. Be healed of diseases. Be delivered from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills is here with us again. Mark your calendars. It's 29th March, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yes, the Good Friday Miracle Service this year is happening at the Accra Sports Stadium. Experience the power of the cross and the efficacy of the blood as we come together to mark the great sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hayward Mills, 29th March 2024, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Be there. Beautiful Strangers is brought to you by Ghana AIDS Commission. Yes, ma'am. It's ready. Okay, good. Excuse me, we're going in. Oh, sir, the wedding procession is about to start. You can come in afterwards. No, you don't understand. It's important that I talk to Joyce. Sir, that's impossible. Let me in. She's the bride, sir. If you came here only to cause trouble. Miss, do we look like troublemakers to you? We're too handsome for that. Please, miss, let us in. There's something I need to know from sir, her, please. I think you need to leave right sir? now. Sir, it's all right. I'll uh, handle sorry, it. Sir, get him out of here. Please, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, I'll take care of these two. Come on. Hold on. Hey, hey. what are you? Oh, oh, my goodness. take Lawrence to be your lawfully wedded husband. <laughs> the tomb. Dad, we need to get inside the church. Hurry. Come on. I'm sorry. What's wrong? Lawrence, I'm Joyce. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Lawrence. Joyce? Sorry. the real you, Joyce. 
You're only doing this just so you can hurt my family. I am not the evil one, Christine. It's Ronaldo Castillo. He's the evil one here. Joyce, come back here. Lawrence. Stop. Lawrence. I will not allow you to beg her to go back to you. Just look at you. Don't you have any more pride? A Castillo never begged anyone to marry them. Go, me, Mom. I'll only regret it more if I let her go. Lawrence! Joyce, take back all the horrible things you said about my dad. Joyce, take it all back. I wanted to take back the accusations against my dad. Joyce, Christine, what's happening here? Hey, lady. You just can't leave Joyce alone, can you? Mom, that's enough. Please don't get involved in this. <laughs> Noel, what on earth are you doing here? You would rather choose to be at this wedding? Do you know what that woman's plan is? It's okay. Answer me! Uh, uh, Christine, it's not what you think. I was worried about Joyce. She was crying when she called me. <laughs> you called your ex? On the day of our wedding? Is that why you left me at the altar? Igor. Yes, ma'am. Don't kill us all, understand? I can still find a way, ma'am. It hit with your head. If you kill her now, in front of all these witnesses, it will be obvious that she's the target in this entire wedding. So hurry up and get down from there before someone sees you with that gun. What's wrong? Why can't you answer me, Joyce? Are you embarrassed now, huh? Why? Are you going to go crazy again? Is that it, Joyce? You already ruined my father's life, and now you want to ruin my brother's life as well? I've had enough of you. Mom. I am not a liar, and I'm not making this up, Christine. Do you really want me to tell everybody here the truth about your father? About what he did to me? Yeah. Is that what you want? Your father attempted to rape me, Christine! And he also hurt me. Because of that, I lost my baby. He didn't stop there. He even tried to burn me to death, you monster! No, that's not true. That's what you want to know, right? Is that what you want to hear? You say the that? fact that you idolize so much! You ruined my life! Because of you, I lost my father! You ruined my whole life, you monster! I dare you to look me right in the eyes and tell me I'm making this all up! You ruined my life, you heartless monster! You're a liar! Come on, tell me! I said tell me! Hey! How dare you accuse my hey, husband! Stop it, Mom! You're a liar! Mom, let go! Mom! Stop it, Mom! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You Mom! Stop it! Your dirty lies and accusations and you're dying against my husband! Mom! big we know the passion gets you going and you have the potential to make great strides the chartered institute of marketing ghana has always been an avid supporter of industry excellence and innovation this is why we are excited to announce the cimg professional marketing qualifications 
CIMG has designed practical courses to help you make that dream a reality right here in Ghana. We are geared up and ready to support you on this journey to becoming a world-class professional marketer. Register today and be on your way to greatness. For more information, call us on 055-274-6592. Visit our website www.cimghana.org or email us on info at cimghana.org. Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana. Working for Ghana. This boy, he will kill his own father and marry his own mother. To prepare to be captivated by magic as the biggest play in the history of African theater makes another stop this March. The, the gods, gods are not, not to blame. blame. Mark your calendars for Thursday, 21st March, 7 p.m., Friday, 22nd March, 7 p.m., and Saturday, 23rd March, at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. at the National Theatre. Tickets are selling now at only 150 cities at imageburrowgh.com or dial star 714 star 11 star 21 hash. Don't miss this rejuvenated rerun of the epic tale of Odewale. Ola wrote me the gods are not to blame. Supported by our media partners, Neplant Car Rentals. Produced by Image Bureau in partnership with April Communications and the National Theatre. And proudly brought to you by the Ghana Tourism Authority and the Beyond the Return Secretariat. Because all lizards lie prostrate. How can one tell which lizard suffers from belly aches? You my daughter, you monster! If I am a monster, that woman is a parasite! She has some nerve! After we spend so much to fix your face! You're going to soil our good name? You know what? You deserve to be ugly again after what you've done. Why are you getting angry with me? You should take it out on him. Own up to your crime, you heartless monster. And Joyce, look at what you did to me. Yourself, Joyce, calm down. Joyce. Why are you all getting mad at me? Let's go home. You're all monsters. Lawrence, I'm sorry. I know I hurt you, but... But I can't possibly marry someone whose father ruined my life. <laughs> You're monsters! Is that true? I demand to know the truth! Of course not, Lawrence! What's wrong with you? Why are you doubting your own father? Fine! believe what that crazy woman says even if she ran away and humiliated us in front of all these people I don't know who you are or what to believe anymore Lawrence no leave him just leave him be for now you and I need to talk Ronaldo Dad? Christine, I have to go. <laughs> I need to fix this whole mess. Don't worry. Can you leave us for a moment? Will you two be okay? You not heard about earlier? Thank you for the concern, but we'll be okay, Rex. Uh, okay. I'm not really in the mood to receive that recognition award. I was able to fix someone. But I've also created a monster who's trying to destroy my entire family. 
Hold on, Christine. Let's not judge her right away until we know the whole truth behind this. I want to talk to her. I want to know where all these accusations against your dad are coming from. Noel, Joyce has a history of being a lunatic. Whatever she comes up with in that head of hers, that's it. She'll believe it. That will be her truth. And when she imagines something, she will think that it's happening to her in real life. Come on, Christine. My father would never do what Joyce is accusing him of, because I know my father, and he's not that kind of person. So I'm telling you, Noelle, don't waste any more of your time on that lunatic, because I'm very certain that she's just going to brainwash you to go against us. Why didn't any of you think about telling me you were keeping a secret like this? If I knew about it, I could have helped you bury the hatchet. I was the wife of a politician for 40 long years. And no one even thought to come to me for advice on how to solve this problem? If you two told me about this earlier, then I could have cleaned up your entire mess! Ma'am, let me handle it, so we can end this already. Shut up! You don't need the opinion of someone who's useless and stupid! And now that Joyce has spoken up about this, you decide to finish her off? If something happens to her, who are they going to blame? They'll blame us, all of us! <clears throat> Relax, Mom. We can still fix this problem. All Ronaldo has to do is to deny everything. It will be his word against... the word of... a woman who used to be a lunatic. It will not be that easy. She won't stand a chance. No. Surely now. You're so great in lying, even I almost believed you. That fool Christine still idolizes you and would willingly fight to the death for you. It's going to be... the legitimate versus the trash. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep this whole thing up. I'm only doing this so that the children won't get hurt, Alejandra. I'm only sinking deeper because of all my sins. Then the solution is just to keep lying to them until you start believing in your own lies. Just think that what you're saying is true. And once you do, your guilt will disappear. Makes sense. Lying has only one side effect, Ronaldo. You just have to have no shame. But it's much better than ending up in jail. That's right, Joyce. Go ahead. Write all of the details. Really, everything? Shh. Quiet. Shut up. <laughs> Joyce? <laughs> Joyce. Now don't push yourself. If you can't do it now, just get some rest, all right? Don't worry, we can go to the precinct tomorrow. Come on. Huh? It just hurts so much when... when I remember all the things that happened to me. <sighs> Today was supposed to be a very special day for me. I just don't understand why Noel chose to go to Joyce over me. How could he do that to me, Mom? I already told him that Dad was innocent, but why doesn't he believe me? Why does he still doubt me? You know what, Christine? Just pay no mind to what other people think, okay? What's more important to your father is what we think of him, understand? Tell me, what do you believe in, Mom? For all the people who are going to read this paper, they'll probably just see it as another tragic story, but to me, it's an experience that will haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> but no, I can do this. Ronaldo will get what he deserves. He'll experience this nightmare, too. To be honest with you, I feel sorry for your father. They're using his weakness towards women as a weapon against him. 
But I truly believe that he will never do anything to hurt anyone, especially women. What are you doing here? Why did you come here? Did that stubborn girlfriend of yours send you here? So you can talk to Joyce and persuade her to drop the charges? I want to know the whole truth, Joyce. I want to know what exactly happened to you. And our baby. Mom, what's this for? Christine, come on and sit down first. Mom and I will take care of everything, so relax. <laughs> come on, sit down, Christine. This is too much. Hey, just because I'm coming mm. through something right now doesn't mean you have to give me special treatment. Mm. Well, we both feel sad, Christine, because you missed your awarding ceremony earlier. That's why we'll just give you an award ourselves. <laughs> Here you go. Wow, thank you. This is beautiful. <laughs> Those flowers are for the most understanding sister, most supportive friend, and of course, the best roommate in the world. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You know what, Christine? I am very proud of you. If I am your super mom, then you are my super daughter. <laughs> Christine, thank you for everything. I love you very much. Remember that, okay? Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Shall we eat now? Of course. <laughs> okay, let's eat. You good, sir? You okay? Let me handle this. My goodness, Lawrence, you look like a mess. Come on, I'll take you to your room. You're embarrassing yourself. What do they care? What do you care? Lawrence. How would you like it if... if your old bride left you at the altar? Huh? Will you be happy? Huh? You're all crazy! Lawrence, stop it. Lawrence! Just leave me. Just leave me alone. Lawrence, get a grip. Stop acting like this. Lawrence! <sighs> Lawrence, that's enough. Stop crying, Lawrence. Why did you trick me? Why did you trick me? Why did you make me believe that you loved me? And even when you hurt me, even when you hurt me, you're the only one I can think about. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> Why do I still love you, Joyce? <laughs> When I called you a while ago, 
It still wasn't clear to me why I keep seeing Ronaldo's face flash in my memory. But now that everything's come back to me, I'm very certain that he was the one who hurt me that day. Just come here. Come here. He was the one who killed our baby. I didn't know. Don't you dare come near me! Hey, wait, wait! Stop! No! Well, I'm not making this all up. You know me, I can't do something like that. And more than that, I'm not going crazy. That's why it all came back to me, because I'm better now. Ready to celebrate Easter in style yeah! with our exciting lineup of special programming from heartwarming family movies to captivating documentaries. We've got something for everyone this season. New commandment I give unto you that you love one another. Join us for classic Easter movies that will delight viewers of all ages, from beloved animated adventures to timeless tales of faith and redemption. And don't miss out on our Easter-themed episodes of your favorite TV shows filled with laughter, love, and plenty of surprises. Make your calendars and join us for a memorable Easter experience on Joy Prime. It's a season of renewal, reflection, and rejoicing. Happy Easter! My name is Possible. I represent the ex on BNPA show. Like, I represent all the skinny guys. You know, they say I'm increasingly annoying. But what you gotta do? You gotta stick and watch. Nanya Kofi representing the ball. Smooth with it from BNPA. I'm M on the BNPA show. I represent the buzzer guys and I keep it real. And I am the P, representing the pot belly on the BMPS show. My name is Kofi Hayford, and I drive the conversation. Intriguing, interesting, raw, rugged, thought provoking, you name them. It's the BMPS show on Joy Prime, the ultimate experience. Season 5 of the BMPS show is coming soon on Joy Prime. The BMPS show is brought to you by Johnny Walker Black Label, Big Bold Flavor. Johnny Walker, keep walking. strong right now, Noel. Are you ready to fight for our baby? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to seek justice for our baby, Noel? I love the man I love the most at my own wedding. How about you and Christine?
did everything for you to like me. What else do you want from me, huh? Tell me, what else? Uh, Should I cry about her? I mean, it's her loss. It's her loss, right? Yes, Lawrence. It's her loss. What's your problem? What's the matter with you? Huh? I'm already giving myself to you, Lawrence. You still don't want it? I thought you were angry with Joyce. <sighs> don't tell me you're still expecting her to come back. You're crazy, Lawrence. Your parents will never allow you to love that woman who wants to break your family apart. I want to spend the rest of my life getting to know you. As time goes by, I become more certain of my love for you. That is the only reason I need to marry you, Joyce. Yes, I will marry you, Lawrence. I promise, Joyce. I won't be a burden. I'm no longer a prince, but... I promise I'll do anything to make our lives better. I mean, don't all fairy tales have struggles too? I promise I'll do everything so we'll have a happily ever after. Oh my gosh, my poor, poor son! Lawrence, what have you done to yourself? They were all so worried about you the day after the wedding disaster. Lawrence, please come home, okay? Don't do this to yourself. Do not waste your time on that crazy woman. 
This could actually be the best thing that could ever happen to you. The best thing? <laughs> the best thing? Then why do I feel only pain, Mom? For this pain I'm feeling, I thought I was going to kill myself last night. I'm sorry. And you're going to tell me it's the best thing? Of course it is. It's better that you know as early as now that that woman doesn't really love you, rather than find out after you're already married. running late. What did you want to talk about? I'll just wait for you in the car. What is it, Noel? Uh, I went to Joyce's place last night. She told me everything that happened to her. How she got burned. How she became a homeless person. But also how her baby died. And do you believe everything? I know that you're scared, Joyce, but don't be all right. I'm here and I will not leave you alone. Thank you, Mom. At a time like this, I badly need someone to lean on. Most of the time, I know that I'm noisy and I'm talkative, but that's how I really am. But when it comes to you and your brother, I swear I'll never leave you too. I'll always be by your side, rooting for you. Remember that, okay? We can do this. We can do this together. Christine, I know Joyce. She won't press charges against her dad if he's really innocent. Oh, that's right. You know Joyce. But what about me, huh? <sighs> Are you saying that I'm lying about this? What kind of spell did Joyce cast on you to make you believe in everything she says? Who's your girlfriend here? And whose side are you on? You know what? Just leave, Laurel. Christine. I said get out. to the sizzling world of Big Chef Season 3, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with their innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship, and the joy of cooking together. And that's the true recipe for pure happiness. Tune in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 5 p.m. And follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together. Big Chef, good meals by kids. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Cooking Oil, Endomy, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, 
Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Aromic Three Lions. This coming Easter Monday is Love FM Family Party in the Park. First April 2024, Rotary Park, Baya de De. So start putting plans together and let's have the biggest family picnic experience ever. Where are my bubbly little kitty bobs, neckabums, papas, obitsukum? We will make available all the kids' playing items, trampoline, bouncy castles, electric train, merry-go-round, stationary airplane, horse race, face painting, TV games. For all the adults in Kumasi, get ready for the adult corner. Get your dancing shoes on with some electrifying live band music. Date is Easter Monday, 1st April 2024 at the Rat Trap Park. The Nyame rate is a cool 10 Ghana cities, 8 a.m. sharp. The Love of a Family Party in the Park. Easter edition. We simply can't wait. Salvation. Healing miracles. The Accra Sports Stadium is about to witness the unmistakable power of God. Be healed. Be healed of weakness. Be healed of diseases. Be delivered from it right now. Oh in the name of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hewitt Mills is here with us again. Mark your calendars. It's 29th March, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yes, the Good Friday Miracle Service this year is happening at the Accra Sports Stadium. Experience the power of the cross and the efficacy of the blood as we come together to mark the great sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The Good Friday Miracle Service with Evangelist Dag Hewitt Mills, 29th March 2024, 3 p.m. at the Accra Sports Stadium. Be there. statement, Mr. Driguez. Uh, uh, officer, with all due respect, but would you please speed up the process for us already? You should arrest Ronaldo Castillo right away. I mean, he might ruin other girls' lives just like he did my daughter's. Well, you know, ma'am, uh, as much as I'd like to speed it up for you, we have to follow protocol around here, and we can only proceed <laughs> oh after goodness. we get the statement, so that the entire process will be done orderly and according to the law. C goodness, officer, why is there so much to do? They've already wronged my daughter. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. What's important is that we're here. Thank you very much for believing in me. <laughs> Mom? Christine? I went to the hospital a while ago to bring you food, but you weren't there. Where are you? Uh, Mom, I'm here at Castillo Realty because... Oh, goodness, I just learned that Joyce is going to press charges against Dad, so I need to talk to him. All right, Christine. Please take care of your dad, okay? I will, Mom. Take care. I already talked to our lawyer. They said they're getting ready in case Joyce decides to press charges against you. And... I agree with Alejandra. In order for you to win this case, you have to deny everything. Besides, they don't even have the evidence to prove your guilt, Ronaldo. I really hope that Joyce doesn't press charges, Mike. I already ruined her life before, and I don't want to be forced to do it again. so that I won't have a bad reputation with Lourdes and Christine. Ronaldo, you're doing the right thing. You don't deserve to, to be punished. And with what happened to Joyce, it's all Alejandra's call. 
That's why, Ronaldo, stop feeling guilty. Dad? Christine. Dad? Yeah. Can I talk to you? Uh, sure. Someone told me that Joyce is going to press charges against you. Good afternoon. Mr. Ronaldo Castillo? Yes. We want you to come with us to the police station. Uh, hold on. Sir, do you... Do, do you have a subpoena with you? Because as far as I know, you can't just take my father away without it. Christine. Dad, I'm just asking if he has one. Christine, don't worry, all right? I will go with him. Uh, Ronaldo, I'll call our lawyer and tell him about this. Thank you. Lawrence! Lawrence, come on! Lawrence, get dressed, clean up! I don't want people to see you like this. They're all starting to talk about us after what happened at the church. <coughs> Why would you show that you're affected? Move on! Life goes on for the Castillos. Who did you come here for, Mom? Me? Or yourself? Mike. Yes, Mike. Alejandra, the police came over here, and they took Ronaldo away to the police station for questioning. That's all right, Mike. I'm certain Ronaldo knows what to do. Come on, officer. We've been waiting here all day. Did they already arrest that Ronaldo Castillo? Huh? He's a rich man. He might hop onto the next plane out of Let here. Let me explain it to you, all right, ma'am? Mr. Ronaldo Castillo has not been arrested yet. But why? We just invited but him why here for you questioning. That man already? Because, Mrs. Rodriguez, but there's sir, still no case to be filed already, against Mr. But they've Castillo. They've already wronged my daughter. I even lost Listen, my grandchild. He's being invited here for questioning this because of the ridiculous. complaints you raised with us. And the Mom. reason we invited him but is sir. so that he could give us his Mom, statement. Stop it, understand? Please. Sir, but Right now, we're just waiting for him to arrive so we can get his statement on the current issue. What's the issue. matter with you, officer? Sir? Where's the justice here? Sir, what does that mean exactly? That's what that means is, they're gonna have to get Ronaldo's statement. If they already have a sufficient cause, then they'll issue a warrant of arrest. <sighs> Unbelievable! What with all the unnecessary processes, officer? Why don't you just grab that heartless monster and put that Ronaldo Castillo in jail, huh? This is ridiculous. You want my husband and grandchild to to rise from from their graves? Is that it? Maybe you'd work faster if they did. What's Mom. wrong with you? What kind of justice is this? Aunt Imelda, calm down. How can I? This is so annoying. They already Mom. wronged Joyce. They wronged her. I want justice. Finally, the monster's here. He finally showed his face. He 
you think your dad can go home after they questioned him? Yes, Christine. There's still no case against him, so they can't detain him yet. Hey, how are you? I'm all right, Mike. Dad, are, yeah. are you okay? How was that? They wanted my side of the story, so I did what was asked and told them everything. I told them that there's no truth in Joyce's accusation against me. So you're calling me a liar? You were there! You forced me, and because of you, Mr. Castillo, I lost my child! And then what? The guards saw everything? What did you do? You had that man killed? You monster! I can't imagine how you could possibly stomach all the things you did! Miss Rodriguez! Please don't make a scene here! You know, Joyce, I feel bad about what happened to you and your baby. Maybe you're just confused. Hmm? Maybe, maybe you're mixing up all your memories right now because you went crazy before. Are you really well? Huh? Maybe you're still sick, Joyce. Hey, that is not true. I am not sick. Don't turn things around, you monster. Officer, could you please kindly stop the complainant from harassing my client? Otherwise, we'll file charges against her. How dare you? You want to sue me? Have you no shame? You are the one who's shameless here, Joyce. You're pushing your limits already. If you dare hurt my father in any way, you will have to face me. Christine, why do you believe in that heartless monster so much? You don't know him. Just look at that face of his. That's the face of a criminal. He's a criminal and a murderer. My father is not a criminal. You are, Joyce. You're the crazy one. What is it that you want from us, huh? Why are you hurting my family? What do you want? Money? Do you think I need money? Why don't you just shove your money down your throat? How dare you say that? You're going too far! Yeah. You're just like your father. You're both violent. No. I hope Please you want in jail, you jerk! Calm down. Get away from her! Hey, hey! Don't interfere, Noel! Sir, we already came here and granted your request for questioning. We're done here. If you're going to push through with this, let's meet at the fiscal's office. Let's go. Come on. Christine! 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please, you have to understand me. You really have some nerve to beg for understanding from... from Christine. After you sided with your ex-girlfriend over Christine, my daughter. <laughs> Don't point your finger at me. I'm just trying to contain myself. But I want to snap your face for what you did to my child. I already told you people that I have nothing to do with it. Listen, Noel, if you're going to believe that... that lunatic, then I think you're better off with each other because you're both crazy. Sir... What now? What's going to happen, huh? You're just going to leave him like that? So he gets to go free? He's a criminal! Put him in jail! Look, ma'am, it's up to the fiscal to decide. If there's enough evidence, then a case will be filed against him. <gasps> Noel, don't you, How dare you punch him? Relax, Noel! Me. Is this Relax. your way of saying sorry to me? Punching my dad? If it is, then you should know that you're only hurting me more. I lost my baby, Christine. I lost my child! It's that monster's fault! What should I do? Just forget about it? Are you saying I should just let this crime go? So just because you lost a child, you want me to lose a father? Is that it, Noel? Don't you understand, officer? The rich people, they have a lot of money. They could leave the country at any moment. What will happen to us then? My father's an innocent man, Noel. So now... If you want to side with that lying, gold-digging, crazy ex-girlfriend of yours, then go ahead and be with her! <laughs> you and I are over! Don't lose hope yet, Mom. This is just the beginning. The war isn't over. If that dirty Ronaldo Castillo thinks that he can discourage us and make us give up, then he's mistaken. I promise that I will not stop until I see him rotting in prison. And I also promise that I will not stop until he has paid for every horrible thing he did to me.
Beautiful Strangers was brought to you by Ghana AIDS Commission. We are currently preparing the private room for the patient. Don't worry, we will let you know once the patient is ready to be transferred. Please excuse us. Mm. Mayumi? Whoa, Mayumi. Oh. How are Louisa and the baby? Are they doing all right, Mayumi? Mayumi. He's gone, Aunt Bibi. Oh, no. Thank God. <laughs> Why did this happen to my mom? I have no idea who could possibly do this to her. Everything went well. And according to plan, <laughs> I, I mean, we literally painted the town red <laughs> with Louisa and her unborn child's blood. <laughs> Happy now? Of course. I really wanted that baby to die. Apparently that baby was a threat to me. Please be healthy and fast because, you know, you will be the one to take my place in Coco Land. <laughs> you will follow in my footsteps. And that's why I feel very much relieved now, Auntie. And since you were able to get rid of the one thing that unites Louisa and her knight, it will be easier for us to manipulate him to cut his ties with Louisa. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> but wait, you still have work to do. You need to go back to the hospital and pretend that you are deeply affected, that you're devastated by your sibling's love. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? My actions need to be consistent. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm getting myself drunk now. So I can pretend that I'm devastated. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my baby? Where's he? Where's our baby, Hernan? Our baby's gone, Luisa. No. Don't say that. Luisa. This is not the time for jokes. Tell me, where's our baby, Hernan? Luisa. No. <laughs> no, Hernan. Hernan, no! <laughs> I want to see our baby! <laughs> what happened to our baby, Hernan? <laughs> our baby lost his heartbeat. <laughs> He had an emergency abortion <laughs> to prevent any toxic infection. <laughs> and your body died. My baby's alive. Why did you take my baby away? You need to bring him back. I said, bring back my baby. He's alive. Please. My baby's alive. <laughs> I said, my baby's alive. <laughs> Mayumi, Mayumi, where's my baby? Mom, you need to be strong. Mayumi, please bring him back to me or allow me to see him where he is right now. 
right now. I'm begging you, bring my baby back. I want to see my baby. I'm sorry. Oh, my baby Heather is gone. She's gone. Mayumi, don't say that. Call the doctor now. Tell him that I'm awake and I want to see my baby, okay? My baby's alive. I want to see my baby, you hear me? I'm begging you, I want to see my baby. Calm down. I'm begging you, I want to see my baby. Please calm down. My baby's alive. Let go of me, I want my baby back. I need to see my baby, okay? Hello? Hello, Chief. This isn't the right time to ask for the victim's testimony. I'll just call you right away once you can talk to her. All right, thank you. I'm sorry if I got here late. Where's Aunt Louisa? How is she? You. You were supposed to be with her. Tell me what really happened. Look, I just left her for a few minutes to get something from my car because I needed to redo her makeup. I asked for her bodyguard to accompany me. I didn't know that this would happen. Had I known this would happen, I wouldn't have left her. So why did you leave her alone? And why did you have to ask her bodyguard to go with you? If he was there, he could have done something for my mom. But because of your selfishness, look at what happened now. Excuse me? Why are you blaming me, Mayumi? Was I the one who hit on Louisa? You were supposed to be with her. Come on, you should have protected my mom, Isabel. But what did you do, huh? You left her to be hit by a motorcycle and let her baby die. Hey, I didn't abandon them, okay? What do you want me to do? Chase after your mother like I'm a dog following her tracks? Besides, I had no idea she'd have an accident. What about you? Do you think you'd be hit by a ghost if you'd encountered one? Yes, because I know that my mom is in a sensitive condition. And I am going to protect her from whatever or whoever that may touch her. I'm going to do everything, but I think I made a mistake. I just realized I should have protected her from you, because apparently you only put her and her baby's life in How danger. How dare you? Remember, Aunt Louisa's child is also my brother. No one wanted this to happen, okay? But you did nothing. Back off! You did nothing, you know Isabel. Even if you keep blaming me, nothing will change, Mayumi. We can no longer bring the baby back to life. You've done nothing right, Isabel. You should have protected my mom. You should have protected our little Stop brother. It. You didn't Enough. do anything. Isabel, that's enough. Hang on, Louisa. We'll do everything to save the baby. She said everything will be all right. That's what you said, remember? You told me they'll save our baby. But look what happened. I didn't want this to happen, Louisa. Our baby was taken from us. Louisa, let's just think of... But he's in good hands now. And no one's going to hurt him again. There's no other place where a child can be safe. But at his mother's side, Hernan, you know our baby should be here with me so I can take good care of him. I should be holding him in my arms right now and not in heaven. Louisa. He's my child. And I carried him for several months. I did all my best to take good care of him. He's really close to my heart. I love him so much. And my love for him will never fade. But I just don't understand it. 
Why does our baby need to be taken away? Why was he given to us if we'd lose him that easily? I don't know, Luisa. I think only heaven can answer that. I miss my child. He should be here with me. Please. Please. Naomi, I'm so sorry, but I really had to keep you away from your stepsister. You see, Isabel has a point too. You shouldn't blame her for what happened. I know that, Francis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My heart's just full of anger and pain. I'm so confused with what I should feel right now. But I saw it pass. I saw the motorcycle. I could have chased the suspect if I reacted quickly, Francis. No. I could I... have stopped it myself. Who was that person? What was his intention for doing this? You know, I still couldn't believe someone would do this to my mom and to my little brother. That person has no soul. He has to pay for what happened. Please. <laughs> Mayumi, listen to me, okay? I'm going to promise you this. We will look for the person who did this to your mother. The police are there. But I'm going to help them with the search, too. Just leave this to me, and I'll take care of it. All you have to do is take good care of your mother, okay? <sighs> um, Sir Hernan, I already spoke to the police. They will just come back another day to ask Mam Luisa for her testimony. Thank you, Francis. Why did Luisa and the baby have to be badly injured? Uncle Hernan, I saw everything. I saw how my mom was hit by the motorcycle. I, I cannot remember the details clearly, but this could be the same person going after my mom. The delivery guy, I guess. He may come back for her. Uncle Hernan Francis and I already mentioned this to you, remember? This person could be connected to Daphne. No offense, Mayumi, but don't you think we should let the police do the investigation? I mean, we all know we can't just accuse anyone based on our gut feeling. Mayumi, Isabel really has a point. Don't worry, I'm going to coordinate with the police, okay? Thank you, Francis. I'm still in shock with everything that's happened. Dad, I'm really sorry. Whoever he is, he'll pay for what happened. I can't let him get away with this. He needs to be punished for taking away my child's life. What he did to my family is too much. I wasn't able to protect my child's life. to the sizzling world of Big Chef Season 3, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with their innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship, and the joy of cooking together.
And that's the true recipe for pure happiness. Tune in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 5 p.m. and follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together. Big Chef, good meals by kids. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Talk Cooking Oil, Endomie, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Arome 3 Lights. Hey, bro, what are you watching? Only the best thing ever. Because this Easter holidays, the joy never stops. Picture this. The home is filled with LOL moments and intense drama from the local shows. The docus are just mind-blowing. It's mystery after mystery. And man, oh man, is the sports of the chains? I'm talking Serie A, Premier League, UEFA Europa League, FA Cup, and even WWE Saints. do this all day. Even the kids are hooked up with adventures and fun loving, bro. And the reality, you don't want to miss. So stay connected to entertainment anywhere with. Dive into a new era of news consumption with MyJoyOnline.com, your go-to destination for cutting-edge journalism, giving you the most credible stories from business to politics and from sports to entertainment. MyJoyOnline.com introduces an upgraded news website meticulously designed to empower you with an enriched browsing experience like never before. Experience the future of news browsing with myjoyonline.com. The blessed month we've all been waiting for is finally here. Alhamdulillah. This Ramadan, we have designed an interesting spirit filled TV show to help increase our iman. I present to you the first ever Ramadan diaries. On this show, we get to educate ourselves on the importance of this noble month and some do's and don'ts in Islam. We will have our well resourced Islamic scholars share insights on current issues and get to learn from some of our Muslim celebrities on how they juggle work and their day. We invite you to join us break our fast on the entire segment. So capture moments of how we come together as Muslims, share what we have with families and friends. Interesting, right? This is Ramadan Dais. My name is Safiya Abdullah. My name is Abdullah Ali. And I'm Yusuf Abdullah. My name is Faiza Muhammad. Ramadan Mubarak. You can leave the hospital tomorrow. Also, we're going to check on the baby so that all of us can bid our goodbyes properly. Anyway, Uncle Hernan has already asked to prepare the wake and internment as well. Luis. I'm sorry? Luis is the name of your baby brother. Luis Hernan Salvador. You know what, Mayumi? He could have been an architect. Or maybe a businessman, just like his father. And most importantly, he will be a good kid. And we're going to guide him along the way. 
I think he would have been raised well by his older sister, Mayumi. And Isabel may have spoiled him too. Mom, I'm so sorry. How I wish I was there beside you looking after you. Because if I was the one looking after you, Mom, or if I arrived in the place a little bit early, none of this would have happened to you and my baby brother. Instead, I could have protected the both of you. I wouldn't mind if the motorcycle hit me. At least I would be able to save you and baby Louise. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to protect you. I'm sorry, Mom. This was the footage we obtained from the CCTV cameras. Mm. Look at that. The driver didn't See mind that? to stop at all. Pause the video, sir. That was a hit and run incident. Oh, we have a problem. He was wearing a helmet, so we can't see his face. Even the motorcycle has no plate. How can we look for him? We will continue with the investigation and see if there are any other witnesses. We'll wait for that then. Hmm. Well, anyway, please continue to update us, sir. And we hope that the suspect can be caught as soon as possible before he can victimize other people. Okay? Yes, sir. Bro, who could that person be? And why did he have to pass by the main entrance of the wedding venue? It seems everything was planned. Thank you. Welcome. He passed away too soon, Hernan. He wasn't able to live his life here. And yet he was taken away from us. I can't believe it. Why did it have to be baby Louise? I'll make sure the suspect pays for this crime, Louisa. <laughs> Uncle Hernan. Um, I think it's better if you'll just accompany Mom back to the private room. <laughs> so that she can get some rest. <laughs> My Yumi. I'm sorry for your loss. Where are Louisa and her nun? I have a bad feeling about that guy. You're the delivery guy, right? I can't be wrong because I remember your helmet and jacket. Do you really think I haven't noticed it? Are you following us? Come back! Do you think Daphne sent that guy to spy on us? Hey, wait a second. Why are we involving Daphne in this? Well, you see, Mom and I bumped into her this afternoon. And I just can't forget what she said. How dare you say that? You're just from the slums. Karma will hit you right where it hurts, Louisa. And I tell you, I will make sure that I have a bowl of popcorn with me while I watch how Karma gets you because I know it will come after you soon. You will suffer like hell. She sounded as if she was certain that something bad will happen to my mom. It keeps bothering me. I feel like Daphne will do something bad to my mom. Mom? Doing here. I can't believe you even have the nerve to show your face here. Mayumi, that's enough. Please don't make a scene out of this, Isabel. Uh, 
Mayumi, please calm down. I just came here to pay my respects to her nun. Whatever happened in the past, it really doesn't change my concern for him and Isabel. Did you really come here to offer your condolences? Or did you just come here to see how miserable my mom's life is right now? Are you happy? My mom finally experienced that karma you were referring to, remember? Isn't that what you wanted? You sounded as if you were certain of it. Mayumi, what are you talking about? Are you accusing me of being the mastermind behind all this? It wouldn't be hard for you to do so, Daphne. You evil witch. How could you even show your face here? Get out of here, you <laughs> witch! <laughs> blaming me for what happened, but I have nothing to do with all this. Hey, you. <laughs> Enough of the drama and excuses. You need to stop acting like the victim because you weren't the one who lost the child. I'm sure someone intended to hit my mom, and you're the only one who has the motive. Oh. Uh, look, Hernan. Hernan, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> come to think of it, I mean, why would I even come here if, if I did anything wrong? I've already accepted all the punishments you've given me, right? I had nothing to do with it. Daphne, that serves you right. It was all your fault anyway. I regret what I did. And I've already accepted the consequences of my actions. I want you out of my life and out of my company. You are fired. But don't you think these accusations are too much, Hernan? I admit I loved you, but I'm not a bad person. And I am not a murderer. I wouldn't kill anyone, especially not a child. Please believe me, Hernan. Once the investigation is done, and you're involved in it, Daphne, I won't hesitate to have you jailed. So please, get out. Robin, Fahido. Go away! Leave! Oh, come on! I'm sorry, ma'am. Don't Just touch me. No one believes you anymore, Daphne, so please get out of here! And stop disrespecting us!
National Soybean, Vitamin Champ. Fill up your little champ with protein, vitamins, and minerals. Vitamin Champ. Kids love. Mom's happy. This event is FDA approved. Welcome to the sizzling world of Big Chef Season 3, where our young chefs turn up the heat and whip up culinary masterpieces that will have your taste buds tingling. Our young chefs dazzle with their innovative recipes and mouth-watering creations that will provoke your senses and have you craving for more. From high fives to group hugs, these kids share laughter, friendship and the joy of cooking together. And that's the true recipe for pure happiness. Tune in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 5 p.m. and follow us on our socials for all the delicious details as we cook up the fun together. Big Chef, good meals by kids. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Talk Cooking Oil, Endomy, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Aromic 3 Lights. My name is Possible. I represent the ex on BNPA show. Like, I'm representing all the skinny guys. You know, they say I'm increasingly annoying. But what you gotta do? You gotta stick and watch. Nanya Kofi representing the balls. Smooth with it from BNPA. I'm M on the BNPA show. I represent the buzzer guys and I keep it real. And I am the P, representing the pot belly on the BMPS show. My name is Kofi Hayford, and I drive the conversation. Intriguing, interesting, raw, rugged, bug provoking, you name them. It's the BMPS show on Joy Prime, the ultimate experience. Season 5 of the BMPS show is coming soon on Joy Prime. The BMPS show is brought to you by Johnny Walker Black Label, Big Bold Flavor. Johnny Walker, keep walking. Lisa, I'm with Isabel and Mayumi. Mom, Mom, you should eat something. It's already late, and you haven't had your breakfast yet. I don't feel like eating, Lisa. You said that yesterday as well. You should eat something so you don't have an empty stomach. Oh, I noticed that it's dark in here. Maybe I should roll up the curtains first. Don't touch the curtains. The light hurts my eyes. Just leave the food in my room and you can go on ahead. I want to be alone. I said I want to be alone. All right, let's go. Come on. Mom, I'll just take the food. I said just leave the food in my room. Just leave it there. May you need leave the food there.
Daphne? Oh, I wish you were here to see everything. Louisa keeps crying. And apparently everything that reminds her of her poor baby makes her cry even more. Just let her have her moment. Of course she'll be depressed by the loss of the baby. Let her have all her nun's attention. Don't worry, Sally. Her tears will run dry. It's a good distraction for them to deal with their emotions as of the moment. Instead of venting their anger out on I'm not worried at all, Auntie. In fact, I'm excited about it. And I just thought of a brilliant plan. Well, if Aunt Louisa wants to have all of Dad's attention, then I can help her with that. What do you mean? You should eat, Mom. Louisa, Mayumi was the one who prepared our food. You should eat. Please, Mom, even just a little. You don't even need to finish it. And tomorrow, I'm going to visit again so that I can make some stew. I know it's your favorite dish, right? <laughs> so that means you'll be here again tomorrow. Oh, uh, well, Isabel, Mayumi and I have decided that it would be best for Louisa if she always visits your mother. All right, Dad. Come on, Mom. Eat up, Louisa. Hold on. What are you doing with the crib? Where are you taking that? We're going to keep it in the storage room, ma'am. Um, Auntie, I'm sorry. I asked him to put it away. But why? You can't do that. Why did you dismantle the Mom. crib? Louisa. You Mom. can't put that away. Mom. Hernan, this crib is for Louise. Just get everything to me! Uh, leave it here. General Dindin, Din, it's okay. Please leave it right there. You should have fixed this! Just, Just take it upstairs. Please help her. Come on. We'll just fix it, all right? Isabel. Why didn't you ask before keeping the crib? Dad, I was just trying to help. I wanted you to forget about your baby's loss for a while. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do, right? We shouldn't let Aunt Louisa feel miserable knowing that the baby will never come back. We should be helping her regain her sanity instead. But Isabel, it's not that easy. Come on, Dad, do you think it'll be easier for Aunt Louisa to get better if we allow her to just relive the memories with all the baby's stuff? Dad, you should help her move on. I know you're having a difficult time to let go of baby Louise's stuff, but I want you to know that I'm here to support you, Mom. I promise I'm going to support you until the day that you're finally ready to give up all his things. I just don't get it. 
Why did they dismantle this? It's hard to reassemble the crib now. Huh. Lisa, I just thought that we can have the crib transferred to the other room instead. Or we can reassemble it some other time, since we have no use for it at the moment. Why do you keep on insisting on that idea? Why do you really want to remove this crib from our room? Don't you care about our son anymore, Hernan? Lisa, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> it's just that you don't leave the room anymore. You no longer eat properly. And whenever you see the crib, you feel more miserable. Besides, we don't have our baby yet, Lisa. It's because you didn't do anything so you could save our son's life. You just let our child die without doing anything. Please don't blame Uncle Hernan for what happened. And you too! Are you taking sides now? No, I'm not. Please calm down. L Lisa. I can't believe you're ganging up on me. All of you. You really wanted my child to die. That's why you want to take away all the remaining memories I have of him. I can't believe you really want me to forget my baby. You wanted this to happen. You wanted him dead, all of you. Lisa. Please don't convince yourself that we wanted this to happen. You're a liar. Mom, wait, You're a stop liar. it, you please. You didn't do anything, you just let my son Mom. die. Stop it, that child. Stop. Please. Who else should be blamed for what happened besides Hernan? He made a promise that he would protect me and my child, but look what happened to my son. And then what? You also want to take baby Luisa's stuff away from me? This is all your fault, Hernan. Luisa, do you think this is easy for me? You're not the only one who lost a son. And just because you don't see me grieving over our child doesn't mean that I'm okay. You have no idea what really happens to me whenever I go to work or whenever I'm alone or whenever I see you miserable like this. Because I know you needed me. And I know you really needed someone to I lean need on. I you to get out of my sight. You really don't care about what happened Mom, to Mom, that's so enough. Please. Get out of my sight now. I said get enough. out of here. Get out of my sight! Mom, that's enough. Stop it, please, Mom. That's enough. Please. Mom, stop crying. Please don't blame Uncle Hernan for what happened. It wasn't his fault. Don't you think it was my fault? Is that what you're trying to say? That I didn't take good care of my baby? Mom, but I was the one who killed my own baby. Huh? Mom, no! But we have to learn to accept the truth. Baby Luis is gone now. And none of us is at fault for my brother's death, okay? Please remember that we're always here for you. We're going to get through this because sooner or later everything will be alright. And we're always going to support you. Until all the pain and remorse is gone. Keep that in mind. Okay? We're just here for you, Mom. I'm just here for you, okay? <laughs> I think it's unfair Aunt Luis is so mad at you. She even has the nerve to say you didn't care. From the very start, we all know you gave everything to her. And then she's going to push you away when all you ever did was try to understand her? Don't you think she's being selfish? Isabel. She didn't mean to say those things. We just need to understand what she's going through. As it is, it's harder for her to take in. Uh, excuse me. My mom's already asleep. I'll go ahead. What do you mean? Thank you. I know for the longest time, you held a grudge against me, and I've wronged your family. I stole the lottery ticket of your father, but despite everything that happened between your mother and me, I'm happy that you're still here. You always helped me. You even defended me. I don't think it's necessary to think of what happened in the past. Besides, we all know it will never help my mom's recovery. What my mom needs right now is her family. We are her family. 
Uncle Hernan, I have a suggestion to make, but I'm going to need your assistance. Maybe we can refer her to a counselor. Are you suggesting Aunt Luisa is going insane? Then why don't we just admit her to a, a mental facility? Wait a second. I didn't say that my mom has gone insane. Look, Isabel, she's having a hard time accepting what happened to her baby. She's going through a lot right now, and I really think that a counselor could help my mom cope with everything that she's currently dealing with. All right. I'll seek professional help right away. Thank you. I represent the ex on BNPA so like I'm representing all the skinny guys, you know. They say I'm interestingly annoying. But what you gotta do? You gotta stick and watch. Nanya Coffee representing the balls. Smooth visit from BNPA. I'm M on the BNPA show. I represent the buzzer guys and I keep it real. And I am the P, representing the pot belly on the BMPS show. My name is Kofi Hayford, and I drive the conversation. Intriguing, interesting, raw, rugged, thought-provoking, you name them. It's the BMPS show on Joy Prime, the ultimate experience. Season 5 of the BMPS show is coming soon on Joy Prime. The BMPS show is brought to you by Johnny Walker Black Label. Big, bold flavor. Johnny Walker, keep walking. Executive Chef JD, please, what do you have for us? Today I have the Wells White Indomie. Today, our task is Indomie Challenge. Indomie, it's all about Indomie. Hey. Trust me, Madam Love. For me, it's tasteless, but I like the golden color of your omelet. You have somebody on roadside to cook Indomie? Trust me, this one I'll buy it and buy it again. Hey! Okay, he's a Monica man. Chef <laughs> Sophie, I think you should join him. More. Worldwide Indomie. But then you have burnt egg. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, your god. Are you calling your god now? Big Chef as the Sunday at 5 p.m. on Joy Prime. Proudly sponsored by Fortune Rice, Fried Toe Cooking Oil, Endomie, Flora Tissues, Tasty Tom, Kiki Juice Drink, Makana Market, and Aromic Wee Lights. Sir, the motorcycle was traced on the venue CCTV. However, there is no plate attached. The police will use the helmet and other motorcycle details for their search. That's the CCTV camera footage. You need to sign this form. You're the delivery guy, right? I can't be wrong because I remember your helmet and jacket. Are you following us? Answer me! <laughs> what do you want from us? Why are you even following us? Who asked you to come here and follow us? Was it Daphne? Hey, answer my question! Mom! 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 Well, you seem to have accused Aunt Daphne as if you were certain about it, but you were mistaken. It was just an accident. Hold it right there, Isabel. I'm sorry, but I don't believe it was an accident. I'm sure it was planned. The motorcycle had no plates, and that only means the driver didn't want to get caught. Francis, there were other motorcycles without plates running around. I strongly believe this was a hit-and-run accident. Well, I hope you're right, Isabel, that it was coincidence. Otherwise, I would really believe that Daphne is behind all of this. Dad, I know you're not on good terms with us. Longest time. You don't know how much Francis and I miss you. I miss you. You 
mistaken me for someone else. Rylan! Rylan, come back here! Come back here, please! Rylan! 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 My love. Mm. How are the makeup samples you were preparing for the presentation to Mrs. Garcia? Was it postponed? Mm-hmm. Is that so? Were you able to reschedule the meeting? Not yet, Francis. Well, Mrs. Garcia is aware of what happened to my mom. Coincidentally, she's going on a trip to another country, so... I don't know when the meeting will be. All I'm concerned about is my mom, and to catch the motorcycle driver who ran over her. It seems like we're going to have a hard time looking for the suspect. Oh, well. Whoever he is, I hope Karma's going after him. And I hope he won't be able to rest at night knowing that he killed a child who did nothing to him. What he did to my mom was too much. I know that, Mayumi. If only I could carry and take all of my mom's burdens away. I would have done it. So she won't suffer anymore. Listen, my love. No matter what happens, you have to be strong for your mother. And I'm sure you and Sir Hernan will be her source of strength. You always need to remind her that even if she lost her baby, she still has an obedient daughter in you. And that she still has a family to lean on. Okay? Thanks, my love. Thank you so much. You can do it. Rylan! Oh my goodness! Is that really you? You've mistaken me for someone Rylan! Rylan, come back here! Francis! Francis, I'm glad Grandma. you're here. Francis! Wait, what happened to you? Earlier, I went to the market. And then I saw your older brother. What? I saw Froilan. I'm certain it was your brother. Are you really sure it was Froilan? It was him. Well, did he say anything? You did meet him, right? What happened? He was in such a rush. He told me he wasn't your brother. You know, there may be a lot of changes in his appearance. But I can't be mistaken that he is my grandson. All right, Grandma, Francis. you need to calm down, okay? I just hope he comes back home. Don't cry, Grandma. Oh, my grandson. Seriously? Then I think it's time that you stop calling her your most hated stepmother. And instead, call her a crazy stepmother. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that she will be brought to a psychiatrist. Finally, a professional can now say that Louise has really gone insane. And that only means she'll be sent to a mental facility. She could <laughs> ball out and go crazy there for as long as she wants. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Excuse me, hold on a second. Has my mother's bawling given you any inconvenience? Well, my apologies, because my mom was hit by a motorcycle and she lost her child on the day of her wedding. Isabel, you have no idea what my mom's going through now. Um, Mayumi? Look, whatever it is you heard from our conversation, please, don't take it seriously. Just relax. Look, if you can't show some sympathy, then it's better to just shut your mouth instead of telling your friends that my mom has gone insane. If Aunt Luisa does nothing but cry every day, she'll eventually go insane. She should learn to accept the fact that her child is already gone. And she should stop being whiny as no psychiatrist will be able to heal her if she doesn't help herself. You have no right to control other people's emotions and tell them what to feel. Why are you like that, Isabel? Before our baby brother died, I noticed you were really kind to my mom. And now that she's going through a lot, you're now back to your old self. Mayumi, don't get me wrong. I'm concerned about Aunt Luisa. But she has to face the fact that she can no longer hold on to things that are already gone and will never come back. Unless she's guilty. For not taking good care of herself, which resulted in our brother's death. <laughs> Let go of me right now. You know, I think you deserve to take a cold shower so you'll come to your senses. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare try to provoke me in my own territory, Mayumi! 
You're just a freeloader here. I can say what I want, when I want, and how I want it. After all, I'm still the reigning queen in this house. I don't care if you're the queen of the world, but don't you dare mistreat my mom. I'm not mistreating your mother, okay? In fact, she's well taken care of. Dad doesn't care for anyone else except for her. You want to know what it feels like to be mistreated? All right, I'll show you how it's done. There! 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 You know what it feels like Chabelle. now? Chabelle! Chabelle! That's enough! Stop it! What's this about, huh? Will you please stop fighting? Girl, excuse us. What's this all about? Dad, my friends and I were having a conversation here and Mayumi approached us. She wanted to slap me, so I, I pushed her into the pool. You were insulting my mom, Isabel. I wasn't insulting her, Mayumi. You're just being too sensitive. Can you please just... Just set aside your differences? Luisa really needs us. She needs a family she can depend on. Now tell me, do you think this fight will help Luisa's condition? Sorry, Dad. Whether you like it or not, we're going to be here for Luisa until she fully recovers. Because we are our family. Based on my assessment, she has postpartum depression. Uh, Doc, what does that mean? It is a type of mood disorder that occurs in women who were pregnant, whether she gave birth or not. And in your case, Luisa, it only became worse because of your baby's death. That's why you have mood swings, difficulty in sleeping, and you're always crying. And you often experience a heavy feeling because of the depression. So, Doc, what do we need to do? Aside from counseling, therapy, and support from family, I'll be prescribing Luisa with antidepressants so that we can eventually prevent the progress of her depression. Progress? What do you mean by that, Doc? Going to psychosis stage. Like completely insane? Well, sort of, because her mind will think of things which are opposite to reality. This is the perfect opportunity for my next move. I really have to make sure that Luisa goes completely insane. So I can finally take her and Mayumi out of the house and out of our lives.
Hello there, special welcome to Sports Now with me, with Zach Busbao. It's a wonderful Thursday. It's the day after, uh, you know, it's been so much exciting action in the World Athletics, in the athletics event at the University of Ghana Stadium. Yesterday, the 4 by hander relay team uh, managed to claim silver. The women also managed to claim the bronze medal. We'll bring you a wrap of all of that action uh, later on the show. But there's also a lot happening. The Black Stars are going to be in action tomorrow against Nigeria in an international friendly. It is happening in Morocco, and we're also looking forward to that. The team has been training. We'll get to uh, bring you some update on that. Then we'll just try and hear from Go Internationally and hear from Bruno Fernandes because he's also been speaking about his form and Manchester United and how well he's not doing, etc. You know, so much coming up from Bruno Fernandes. We'll hear from him. Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz has also returned to the German national team. We'll get the latest on that very one uh, from one of my, uh, you know, sports journalist colleagues in Germany. We'll get to hear that uh, very shortly. But let's start with today's action in the, uh, as far as the, uh, 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 you know, athletics events is concerned at the University of Ghana. Joe Paul is the man who is running in the 200 meters race. He's done the, 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 the heat and qualifying for the semifinal of that event. And right now, what we are waiting for is the semifinal contest. That's going to happen in about an hour's time from now. Okay, it's going to happen in just about an hour's time from now. So we are uh, looking forward to that. But for those of you who didn't see Joe Paul's uh, heat, he won his heat. Those of you who haven't seen it, let's take a look at Joe Paul's uh, heat performance. And after that, we will take a look at a few other uh, things happening uh, at, in the African Games. Yeah, so he has qualified for the semifinals. That will be I can tell you just about an hour from now. We'll all be looking forward to that. We'll be watching it and to see how he performs over there. But the question a lot of people have been asking is, why is he jogging when he's about to end the race? They run and run and finish well. But guys, look, this is the qualifiers. If, because the qualifiers, you just need to come first or second, and then you qualify for the next stage. So it doesn't beat a world record time. Where would you want to beat the re world record time? Is it in the qualifiers or in the finals? I'm sure if you want to beat the time, you want to do it in the finals. So, I mean, you just become first, you qualify. This is not the serious stage. This is not where you win the medal. So, this place, there's no giddy giddy. Just qualify and then get the medals for Ghana. So, we'll see how he performs over there, okay? Now, um, but the question is, what will the athletes get for winning medals for Ghana? Ghana now have... 10 gold medals, okay? And at least we know what at least who will get gold for Ghana, what they are going to be getting, okay? Let's have the image um, just behind me if possible. So the athletes who will win gold for Ghana are getting $3,000. That's how much they'll be getting, $3,000 if you win gold. How much is that in Ghana cities? Can we just convert that for me? The city is what? Let's say the city is 10 cities. Of course, it's not 10 cities. We know that. Uh, so that's about... Um, Charlie, my mouse is doing me some way. The way my mouse, they do me, do me there. But it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, all right? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. $3,000 if you win gold for Ghana. So, uh, yeah, I think this is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good uh, motivation for the boys there. So, uh, so far, 10 athletes have won gold for Ghana. So, that's how much? 3,000 times 10. That's $30,000. The Odomo $30,000. They must be paid. But you know the one that is a big some way be for me? You see the under 20 girls, they'll be playing their final today. They will play in Nigeria in Cape Coast, 8 p.m. The final of the under 20 is today. The women, 
So if they beat Nigeria and win gold, and the team is made up of, I think, about 21 players, every player is taking $3,000. That's what the youth ministry, Charlie, when they reach that time and they are dodgy, they don't want to pay no. 21 players, $3,000. So, yeah, it's a way. But the point must be made that these guys are doing well, especially the girls. The girls that I'm talking about that are going to play in the finals later this evening, Yedomo Kao, we owe them. We haven't paid them yet. They are under 20, the black princesses. We are owing them, and we've not paid them yet. But they are still sacrificing. They are still going to play in the final tonight. And when they win gold, we still owe them. And they are still playing for Ghana. You know, and this is where people raise questions. Can the Black Stars do this? The Black Stars obviously will not do this. And even the people around the Black Stars will make sure it does not happen to the Black Stars. So why are we doing it to the girls? We've, we are owing the girls from their qualifying for the World Cup. They've qualified for the World Cup. We have not paid them their bonuses. But they are still playing, sacrificing for Ghana. They are not boycotting the games. No. So guys, let's pay them. They deserve it. Okay? Let's pay them. The MPs were talking about how they can take care of themselves and, yeah, take care of the girls. Sacrifice it for Ghana. Take care of them. They deserve it. All right? So the girls will be playing at Cape Coast. And all our Cape Coast tests, we know that you people will turn up. Cape Coast. Cape Coast. MRZ, MRZ, NRZ, NRZ, Izubana, the idea. Go and turn up at the Cape Coast Stadium. Let's pour there for the girls. And we know it will be super, super fun. Now, um, pretty much all the heads of the federations, the, the African president for boxing, the African president for hockey, the African president for cycling, they have all come to Ghana to witness the event. And some of them have been speaking about how Ghana have performed in terms of hosting the event. And most of them say, we have done well. We have done well. They say we've done, done well. We, are, we know that, Charlie, there have been some problems. But the people say, we know that Ghana, you cannot organize a perfect competition. But what you've done there, why are there? So let's hear from some of them how they've been commending Ghana for how we've hosted the tournament. <laughs> I wish to congratulate the government of the Republic of Ghana and more so the Ministry of Sport of Ghana for the amazing facilities um, that was created, you know, to pull off a very good African Games. Uh, we saw all the facilities and these facilities is raising the profile of sport in this country to another level. Thank you, Ghana, for your hospitality and thank you for giving our athletes the opportunity to bring the best of sport to West Africa. We really commend the government able to build this stadium, the one here and the one in Guatemala. And with these facilities I've seen, I think Ghana, we can host any game. And uh, we hope this will go on for a long time. Because now, most of the African countries who came and ran on this field, they are very impressed. They are very impressed about the facilities we have here. This is the first time to see something well organized and very successful. And really, uh, we admire what's going on here. We don't uh, see any problem for us. We are feeling at home. We thank uh, the Minister of Sport for his effort. I know that he's not sleeping day and night, for sure. We have experience before on that. And wish him all success. Let me tell you if I would like to, of course, to thank His Excellency, the President of the State, uh, President Nana Kufu Addo, uh, for his uh, commitment. Excellency met with us in two months, five times, which means that he cares for very single, simple details. And uh, without his uh, kind efforts, it would never be a games because it was some disturbance. But at the end of the day, uh, His Excellency came to Addis Ababa with Mr. Musa Faki, the uh, chairperson of the uh, African Union with uh, 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 myself, I was honored to be there. And then we started, we supposed to have the games last year, but for the finalizing all the sports facilities, which is wonderful now, uh, we had to postpone it until this date. And thank, thanks God, we have uh, countdown now. So uh, I am very proud that uh, Ghana could be able to do that. Thanks to all of them, thanks to 
uh, the Prime Minister and all his people, thanks to the Ministry of Youth and Sport, uh, uh, my dear son, uh, Mr. Mustafa, as I call him always, because he's always calling me father. And then uh, um, uh, I, I thank each and every one. I thank Dr. Uh, Kawaku Afusu Asari, the, uh, the chairperson of the LOC, and each and every one has done and give a great effort for having the games like it is now. Yeah, exciting stuff there. So uh, that, those are the words from some of the officials, the foreign dignitaries who are excited about how we've handled the competition thus far. Like I mentioned, we've had our own issues, but uh, one way or the other, we need to tap ourselves on the back for organizing this competition. Uh, it's the first time we're organizing it since its inception over 50 years ago. So yeah, so many lessons to learn, and I'm sure as we look forward to hosting more tournaments, we can uh, take uh, those lessons and improve upon them. More facilities to be built. The one at Bushman, the one in the Ghana Stadium. The big, big issue is we need to maintain them because Ghana here, yeah, they like Charlie. When it comes to maintenance, that's where we suck. Just leave it to rot. We can't afford to let that happen to these facilities. We need to protect them. We need to make sure that they are maintained and we continue to host more competitions. And that's how you grow sports in the country. The Black Stars got a game tomorrow. It's against Nigeria. It's a friendly game. The team is in Morocco. They have been training and they look ready to face Nigeria. Now, guess what? This is the first game for Otuado since his return as head coach. In fact, when he first took over, he had to play Nigeria in the World Cup. And when he has returned uh, for the World Cup uh, ticket, now, upon his return, he's facing Nigeria again in a friendly. How has the team been preparing for the game? Well, we got their training video, and we want to share it with you. Ghana. Na, 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 na. Ghana. Show progress, we go conquer the press. What did they do, dear? Concept, oh, we go one kitty kitty. We go score kata kata. Black stars, we can fire fire. No retreat, no surrender. Hey, bring back the love where you say you get for your country. Forget the past, but we move on to chairs to victory. Bring back the love where you say you get for your country. Forget the past, but we move on to chance to victory. I know that. So that's the, that's the Black Stars fever returning to town, and we're looking forward to the game against Nigeria. Tomorrow, Friday, is a big one, and we're all hoping that they do perform really well. 
very sure it might do well. We'll wait to see. We can't really tell. We'll wait to see. But there's, there's a trend in video. There's a trend in video that, you know, really trending uh, is just John Pinto. He's now the assistant coach of the Black Star. Just two weeks ago, he granted an interview where he was asked about the Black Star's coaching job. What does he think about it? Does he think that the players he played with during his time, Michael Ayson and some other, does he think that these players are qualified in the best of shape to be able to coach the Black Stars now or to work with the Black Stars? Guess what John Pinto said? John Pinto said, no, 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 no. Even him, he thinks that even him, Charlie, he needs to start from under 17, under 20. That was two weeks ago. Then two weeks later, pa, John Pinto, would you like to work with the Black Stars? Oh, yeah, of course. We'll play where? Hey, hey. And people are asking, John Pinto. John Pinto. We know you worked hard for Ghana and all of that. But Charlie, so when you grant interviews, be careful of the things you say. But John Pinto said, Charlie, he wants to work with under 20, maybe 10, 8 years later, you go and work with the Black Stars. But John Pinto, Black Star job came. John Pinto grabbed it and he said, Charlie, no, I'm not letting it go. So let's just uh, listen to John Pinto. Two weeks ago, when he was asked about the Black Stars coaching job, this is what he said. Hey, okay, uh, simply because they feel that we have experience. We have played to the highest level. Uh, for me, I believe that, like my generation in particular, I believe they say, yeah, started from under 17, under 20, yeah, that would be the best. But the national team, I can't see any of my generation handle Black Stars team. That's just here. Say, yeah, for 17, 20, near yeah, Candia. Yeah. I would say, say yes. But national team, we have our seniors who, who played before us. We have Tony Abua them. We have uh, Siki Akono them. We have um, Michael, uh, uh, Michael, Michael Say, Ibrahim Tanko. These are the people who are, when we are talking about Black Stars, uh, they can handle them. But my, my generation, I, I won't even advise. If you are asking me to go and do Black Stars, I will tell you no. Yeah. Because I have to start from under 20 and 17. Then I'll grow up with the boys. They will know me. I will understand them. They will understand me better. Their respect will be there. You understand? But so I think you played with Otuado, but Otuado had Otuado was my senior. Was your senior. I'm not close to Otuado. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's my senior. And then what when he started playing, I was nowhere. Oh, okay. You understand? So they have acquired so much experience. So if we are giving black stars to those uh, people I've mentioned, Michael said them, they are there. They tested before us. It can take off the black stars, and then the young generation you know, can take off the under 20 and under 17. So, so we can grow up with the players okay. and then build them. All right. Yeah, so by the time five to ten years I will reach to the national side, I have acquired a lot of experience to deal with the black stars. You see, the thing is that, eh, be careful. What Casa? Like, you see, yeah, Casa and Frama, that's all I can say. Casa and Frama, yeah, that's not, you know. Casa M from her. So the opportunity has come. John Pinto didn't think twice. He said, oh, no, please give me under 20. No, he grabbed it. He's in Morocco with the team now. And they are going to handle the Black Stars. All we can say is that we wish him well. We wish him well. We hope he is able to help. He's able to help uh, us get the Black Stars that we know back so we can, you know, build and fight for trophies again. So that's John Pinto, and we definitely wish him well. Of course, we think we, we have to support him. We'll support him, okay? We're going to take a quick break and we'll come back. We'll share more with you. Please, please stay. This boy, he will kill his own father and marry his own mother. Pre Prepare to be captivated by magic as the biggest play in the history of African theater makes another stop this March. The, the gods, gods are not to blame. blame. Mark your calendars for Thursday, 21st March, 7 p.m., Friday, 22nd March, 7 p.m., and Saturday, 23rd March, at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. at the National Theatre. Tickets are selling now at only 150 cities at imageboroughgh.com or dial star 714 star 11 star 21 hash. Don't miss this rejuvenated rerun of the epic tale of Odewale. Ola wrote to me, the gods are not to blame. Supported by our media partners, Neplanska Rentals. 
Awards. Produced by Image Bureau in partnership with April Communications and the National Theatre and proudly brought to you by the Ghana Tourism Authority and the Beyond the Return Secretariat. Because all lizards lie prostrate. How can one tell which lizard suffers from belly ache? Dive into a new era of news consumption with MyJoyOnline.com, your go-to destination for cutting-edge journalism, giving you the most credible stories from business to politics and from sports to entertainment. MyJoyOnline.com introduces an upgraded news website meticulously designed to empower you with an enriched browsing experience like never before. Experience the future of news browsing with my joy online. Hello, welcome back to Watching Sports Now. And uh, yeah, well, let me just tell you something. Are you guys, do you guys know who Robino is? Robino, fantastic player, Brazilian Robino, once played for Manchester City. Uh, also had a stint at Real Madrid, they didn't quite go well. He's, he was a fantastic player, played at AC Milan. Well, it happened that um, he was found guilty of raping somebody in Italy. And in Italy, he was sentenced to nine years in jail. Nine years in jail. This was a while ago, about four years ago, that he was sentenced to nine years in jail. Robino, come to Italy and come and serve the sentence. The Robino say, mm, mm. We know that he will not leave Brazil today. He will not leave Brazil tomorrow. Then the Italian authorities decided that, okay, Robino, if you don't come to Italy, then we are arranging. The arrangement is that you go to prison in Brazil. So the nine years that you've been sentenced to in Italy, you not sit in the Italy prisons. You stay in Brazilian prison. And Robino has agreed that he do it. So Robino is going to prison for nine years in Brazil for raping a girl in Italy. Hey. Dani Alves is in prison. Dani Alves, the Brazilian Dani Alves, is in prison for misconducting himself again because of a woman. And even he is still in prison and said that he needs about 3 million euros before he can come out on bail. He can come out, actually. Dani Alves is in prison. And now, Robino, what is it with Brazilian players and Charlie? Ronald, even Ronaldinho went to prison. He took Samuel Leto to go and help him to come out. Can you imagine? So, what is it with? You know, Brazilian play players and, you know, prison. Hey, I, I don't understand. Oh, Robino, nine years in prison. Anyway, Charlie, let's move on. Let's move on. Life, anyway, uh, we, we wish him well. Yeah, um, it, it's unfortunate. We, we just don't get it. But, guys, um, I'm going to leave you with the athletics event that happened in the University of Ghana Stadium yesterday. Just a recap of the event yesterday. That's what I'm going to leave you with. And we'll be back same time tomorrow uh, with the latest in the world of sports at 4 p.m tomorrow okay so look out for the black stars game at 11 in the morning tomorrow and then the black stars light game 8 p.m in the evening tomorrow and later 8 p.m uh, black princesses will be in action so much will be happening at the university of ghana stadium also so thanks for being part of it we're going to see you again tomorrow please do stay tuned to joy prime but enjoy the athletics one wait for the gun to go the final of the men's 4x100 meter relay. And off they go, there's no turning back now. The final of the men's 4x100 meter relay. The Nigerians are going very strongly. Edwin Gadai is already being caught by on their back straight for Ghana. Is uh, Benjamin Azamati from Nigerians. Uh, Okon is also running really well. Look at Botswana, too. Very well run. Oh, Solomon Hammond is being handed over by Benjamin Azamati. Hammond is going up against Alaba Olokule of Nigeria. This is it now. The Ancolite is Shorichi. Oh, the Ghanaians have. Oh, it looks like they were dropping the back but they did it. It's Shorichi against uh, Joseph Paul Amor. It's a race for one and two. Golo, Nigeria. Nigeria have got it. Yes,